I'm officially old now. You are already old. Hey! Hey, you don't look a day over 29, love. <laughs> oh, tap. Happy birthday. Thanks. These came for you. Oh, thank you, Postman Pat. <laughs> so what are you doing later? Oh, I don't know. They're actually dad. Well, the plan oh. is, you have the day off, make yourself look gorgeous, then about five o'clock we'll go to the Rovers, we sigh for a quick drink, and then I'm going to turn you out for a lovely meal. Oh, excited. Right, who's this from? <laughs> it's me dad, bless him. Look at that. Looks like it's second hand. Ah, oh, well, at least I remembered, eh, love? Yeah. Got nothing from Johnny Sotoya? No, but I'm sure they will be later, eh, love? Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'm going to do some last-minute shopping, then pick up the cake. Carl, I want you straight back after your shift. No sloping off. Where to? Eva, I want you to help Betty with the food. I am not stinking in that greasy kitchen all day. Oh. You're making a hell of a fuss, love. Well, Leanne's a nice girl. A bit dull. You barely know her. That was one of hers is a bit of an oddball. Why'd you say that? Earlier yesterday, quizzing me like you were a copper. About what? You mainly. How long we have been together, what your background was. Well, maybe he was just being friendly. Oh, he's friendly and he's nosy. Be friendly with me any time he likes. He is fit. You keep your hands off him. What are you saying? Can you hurry up and change that barrel? Have you two had a wrap? No. The sheet is on pins. Right, it must be this party. No, it's more than that. I'll never understand a female temperament. Yeah, well, I do, and I know my mum summits up. From now on, no more worrying. They've got no evidence. They're just trying to wind me up. Yes, yeah, so don't let them. I won't. I've got a life to live, haven't I, Puppet? Are you sure you don't mind babysitting? No, oh, of course not. Right, well, I'll be back as soon as I finish work. What about tonight? No, I won't go. You just said you had a life to live. Yeah, no, but... No, but. Well, when was the last time you went to a party? Me and Katie can mind up. Anyway, we need the practice. Yeah, it would be nice to wear a dress, put a bit of makeup on. Yeah, good, that's settled then. See you later. See you. Come on, finish your breakfast. We're going to be late for school. Well, that ought to be late if it's your birthday. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> ah, oi. Got a bone to pick with you. You shouldn't have got me them flowers. There was no need. Oh, don't be silly. It's the least I can do. Happy 30th. Oh, can we just say happy birthday? Oh, 30 is a great age. You're old enough to know who you are, but young enough to enjoy it. Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, my 30th is best time of my life. Before that, it was one mistake after another. Oh, yeah, like what? Love, why don't you two, uh, why don't you two get off? I'm just going to grab another cup. Yeah, we're going to add. See you, Pop. Hey, listen, we'll see you in the Rovers later. Of course. I'll have a drink with you. Right, see you later. Bye. You didn't tell her that? No, I don't want to ruin a day. <sighs> no, nor do I. Good, so we say nothing. Agreed? Yeah. Good. Thanks for giving me time. I'm not doing it for you. So... You all right, Mum? Yeah. Come on. 47, 48, 49. Oh, I'm a penny short. Well, I'm sorry we don't do discounts. Oh, come on, Norris. I have another customer to serve. Morning, Sophie. Morning, Nos. Can I uh, put these up, please? It's Norris, and what are they? They're flyers for the charity auction tonight. Yes, well, we don't normally allow pamphleteering. Yes, well, it's for charity. Oh, forget it. Norris hasn't got a compassionate bone in his body. I most certainly have. When was your last act of generosity, then? Well, in 1954. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can leave them on the counter just this once. Ha. Right. Hey, you should come tonight. Oh, there's not much point. You haven't got any money to buy out. No, well, you can talk about your times on the streets. Oh, yes, yes. That, that, that would be very interesting. I, I'd love to know how you came to fall on such terrible times. Uh, well, I, I, I'm not very good at public speaking. You're very good at holding court in the Rovers. That's different. Not really. I mean, you know, there'll be loads of familiar faces. If Norris promises to bid for something. Yeah, well, it's only fair, Nos. It's Norris and there's nothing I really want. Well, it's not about what you want, is it? It's about raising money for charity. Yeah, come on, let's see some of that generosity in action. All right, I'll do it. Good, right, well, I'll see you both tonight at 7 o'clock at Nick's Bistro and you, don't forget your wallet. He'll have to dust it off first. <laughs> Right, it's a barrel changed. About time. You're not even open yet. I mean, Mum, give him a break. Is my hearing going, or did she just defend me? Oh, he's looking for you. Your shift started. Oh, sorry, boss. Just help it out at your pub, because you weren't here. But don't worry. I'm not bothered again. So with him? Out. How's Becky? 
Dunno, don't care. More to the point, where is she? Probably sleeping off a hangover. Hey, she's not coming back to work in here, is she? Over my dead body. And everyone else's. Well, if she does come back, we could turn it into a themed pub. What would be the theme? Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> oh, Heather. <laughs> You don't need to say it. It's one pound eighty. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, well, aren't you a mortgage advisor? Yes, I do. As soon as possible. Well, I'll be there. Thank you. You really shouldn't make personal calls on me. Oh, we were a personal call and we're on to the bank. Right. Or I could have get this afternoon off and maybe a pay rise. Oh, one is struck by the juxtaposition of those two requests. Oh, please, Roy, I'm desperate. They're putting me house on the market and I need to make an offer. By all means, take the time. But I have to say no to the pay rise. I simply don't have a phone. Oh, no, thanks, Roy. You're an angel. Oh, I'm sorry. Good afternoon, Mr. Copper. Dear Stradford, I'd like to ask you some questions about Fiona's state. I'm going to wear my pink dress with the hearts on it. You're going to wear a scarf or a neckerchief? No. Why? Well, it's very low cut. Well, exactly. I don't even know if my party dress is going to fit me. I've not worn it since before I was pregnant. Oh, get away. You've lost all your baby weight. No, not on my tummy. What? Tummy, you're as flat as a pancake. I get muffin top if I wear a belt. Muffin? I've got more of a large Victoria sponge. Nonsense, Julie. It's more like a small Victoria sponge. Oh. I might have to try a couple of things, see what fits. Well, pop round to mine. I'll do my best. Got one. Oh, can I come? Only if you let me accessorise that dress. Deal. Oh. What about you, Hales? I see smoky eyes. <laughs> Hello, Roy. Do not let okay. me drink too much. Why not? Oops. One glass these days, and I'm hammered. Oh, I wish you took me one glass. I oh, know. Imagine the money we'd save. Yeah. Um, I've just got to nip home. What's up? Oh, I love this. the emergency at the cafe. Will you tell Carl for me? Yeah, of course. That's you know right. Yeah, yeah, it's just a uh, problem with the cooker. Come, Quat. I used to see you behind the bars, this Steve. Oh, better with a bad air. Don't worry, she's not here. <laughs> Thank heavens, because I, I was thinking of taking my custom elsewhere. Oh, no, that would be a lot. It is half a mile a day. You must spend what? Ten a week. For the last time, Dennis, I am not a tight-fisted, ungenerous person. Mine's a pint, then. Yeah, go on, I see your offering. <laughs> so, Becky's gone for good, then, has she? Uh, not as such. Have you seen Becky yet? No. There's some lying, even for her. You haven't seen Becky, have you? Oh, I thought she'd gone out. Right. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Hey, do you remember your 10th birthday? Was that my little pony incident? No. When your grand bought you that cake and they'd written Eve on it instead of Eva. <laughs> And you didn't want to eat it because you thought it was someone else's and you thought they'd be missing it. <laughs> oh, bless. I do love you, you know. I know you do. And whatever happens, I'll always be your mum. What's going on? You've been acting really weird. <laughs> Don't be silly, it's nothing. Can we talk? In private? Ladies? Well, I hope she's taken my advice. Which was what? To face the facts. When a marriage is over, it's over. Well? I'm sorry. I've messed up. Well, that's the understatement of the year. I've been ceaseless to this morning, and I agreed to the divorce. Right. Good. Whatever terms you want, I won't fight you. OK. And I'll move out today. Have I missed something here? Have you had a bang on the head last night? Or... I saw myself through some other people's eyes and I don't like what I saw. So I shall go and pack my stuff. Becky. Thanks. If I could just take you back to the night of Chesney Brown's 16th birthday party. Uh, what for? If you want to stay, was there? Yeah, she was. Correct. What time did she arrive? Do you remember? Uh, about six. We all came after work. And what time did she leave? When it ended. It was quite late, I think. Was she there the whole time? Yeah. Mr. Cropper? 
Sorry? Whatever you remember. Well, uh, I don't recall very much at all, I'm afraid. I, I was inebriated, somewhat. I, accidentally, I hasten to add. Yeah. Of course. You sure she was there the whole night? It, yeah. She didn't leave? No. Even for a moment? Oh, well, she, she popped out to look for John, but that were all. Okay. What time was this? Uh, I'm not sure. Could have been about nine? Uh, I don't know, maybe. How long was she gone? I'm not sure. Not long. More than an hour? Possibly. Is, is there any relevancy to this? We have reason to believe that was the night Colin Fishwick was murdered. But you're not suggesting that Fizz had anything to do with it? I'm just trying to establish her movements. Oh, but why can't you just leave her alone after everything she's been through? Steady, steady, steady. I'm only trying to do my job, Mrs Cropper. It's all right. Hey. Hi everyone! Carl, please! Right. So. Oh. We didn't guess, did you? Oh, no, I did not guess you. I was a scarily good liar. I know. Thanks. I don't believe this. Happy birthday, Leanne. You two plotting behind me back. Oh, come here. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. It's a commemorative plate. Well, I thought at the royal wedding can have one, so can we. And there's hooks on the back so you can hang it on the wall. Thanks, Deirdre. It's um... going straight in the bin when you get home. <laughs> and I'm taking you on a spa day. Really? Yeah, massage, facial, the worst. Oh. And no men allowed. Oh, well, that's not fair, is it? You and Ross can babysit Lloyd and your dad. Will you play us? Yeah, and will you stop being a cheeky monkey, please? Hey, did you invite my family? I mean, not that you're not my family. I meant... Oh, oh, oh uh... Les and Janice send their apologies, love, but Toy's coming up from London on the train. Really? Mm. Oh, I love you. Oh. Oh. Hiya, we've not really met, have we? I'm Eva. Mm. Cheryl. So do you know Peter and Leanne well? She's one of my best friends. <sighs> Listen, I'm sorry to ask you this, but I heard a rumour that their marriage wasn't very solid. You what? Something about Peter having a roving eye. Where have you heard that? Norris, I bet. Yeah, that's right. Is it true? Well, he did have. So he cheats on her. Well, he's got a history, but then again, so has she. Like, it was ages ago when he was drinking, he's not now. Right. They are solid as a rock, trust me. And in future, don't go listening to Norris, he's a nasty little gossip. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hello. Hello. How'd you get him to sign it? I just told him what it was for. Even so? Uh, they bit of floating else. Uh, not too much, I hope. The footballers, it doesn't take much. <laughs> Did you go in the changing room? Did you? I am so jealous. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it was for charity. Mm, I suppose. The girl did do good. That could make a bomb, that. So how much think we'll make? Oh, depends. We've got some great stuff. Yeah, this fabric should be worth a couple of hundred. And that handbag, it's nearly worth a grand, thank you. Mm. How much more do we need for the house? Rob said about 20 grand. Bank will lend us a rest. 20 grand? Yeah, but think. We'll make two, three tonight easy. A couple more events like this, Bob's wrong. Suppose. Put it there, girls. Woohoo! <laughs> Please, you get up there. I, I used to. Hey, give us a hand. Oh, don't get into one of your salts, please. I'm not. And smile. It's a party. Oh, no. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'll be quick. I just, uh, I'd like to say a few words. Um, stand up. Oh, God. <laughs> about this wonderful woman here. Yeah, yeah. Now, to stand here and look at Leanne today, it's beautiful, successful, got a gorgeous husband. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be forgiven for thinking that the first 30 years of her life have been easy. But we all know that's not true. We all know they haven't. But then, everyone who meets her is touched by her warmth and her generosity. She has faith in people, even when they let her down, and she gives them a second chance when, when they don't deserve it. And if she didn't, well, I wouldn't be standing here today, that's for sure. Lee, you're my rock. To Leah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.
look at her. It's as hard as nails. It's as soft as butter. Why did we move here? Why well, your mum wanted to. Yeah, I know, but why? I mean, this place is a flea pit compared to the other bar. Well, I don't know. She had her heart set on it. And you didn't think that was strange? Oh, not really. No, what are you getting at? Never mind. What if I've dropped Fizz in it? You have to tell him the truth. Maybe I should call her, tell her what's happened. Uh, let, let the poor girl enjoy herself for a night. Oh. Hey, steady on. You'll do yourself an injury, love. I've got to get it down. Ah, I spoke to the back then, all sorted. <sighs> no, they won't give me a mortgage. Oh, I know. I've got to get it down before Faith gets back. She can't see it. Come on. Let me do it, let me do it. I don't know what to do, Owen. Okay. Well, you'll be all right. If we've got nowhere to live, they're going to take Faye off me and I can't lose her. I can't. You in tonight? Good. <laughs> I'm going to see a man about a dog. What do you mean? Wait, uh, let's get this sign up first, shall we? I'm sorry, Roy. I can't relax. I'm going to have to go and talk to Fizz. I understand. What if it's the police again? Well, we have to answer it. <clears throat> Hiya. Hey. What's happened? I've agreed to a divorce. Oh, Lord. It's all right, really. Can I stop here again? By all means. Thank you. I'll go and get the bedding. Is it really all right? Together. I just can't bear to see her so upset like that. What do you think you're doing? I just wanted to tell her the truth. We had an agreement. I know. But nothing. I'm not going to have you spoil her birthday. You were the one that said you hated lying to her. I know, but there's a time and a place, Stella. And this isn't it. Please don't do this. Now it all makes sense. Even a nudge. <laughs> 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 
Father-in-law. Yeah, I won the prize for the press once. Ah, oh, right. You're not seeing Peter, have you? Uh, I think he ran out of the back with Stella. Oh, right. Jerry, be careful, be careful. I've got a feeling that they're trying to organise a cake. Oh, right. Well, I won't let on if they are. <laughs> Come on, have a drink. Hi. Fancy some company? Uh, no, you're all right. I've uh, got my sausage rolls, Tom. Uh. I knew there was a reason you wanted to move to this hellhole. Eva, it's not what you think it is. All the secret looks, the little chats, all the effort you went to for his wife. Nice cover, by the way. No wonder you were crying at his speech. Eva! And you were a good liar. I give you that. Almost as good as my ex. We're not having an affair. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I have a good mind to tell Leanne myself. Know what it's like to be made a fool out of. Tell her. No, I can't. Why? You were just willing to tell Leanne. That was different. How's that different? like this. It's too late. Now tell her. I think we need to sit down. Love. I'm so sorry. I didn't want you to hear it like this. Oh, so you finally admit it, do you? Admit what? Peter? What's going on? Lee, I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be. Peter? Tell her. Leanne, I'm... It's... It's so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Just tell me what's going on. Leanne. I'm your mom. We said she can't be a murderer. A murderer? She hasn't got it in her. But well, he doesn't believe you. Oh, well, you know what it's like. It's probably procedure. They've got to tick all boxes. No, not everything. this fella. No. He's like a dog with a bone. He's gunning for me. Oh, I'm well, afraid, Taylor. Oh. I don't believe you. It's true, Leanne. I'm your mum. Is this some kind of sick joke? No. Unfortunately. How? Will you speak? To me, how can you be? I didn't want you to find out like this either with you. It's such a mess. So what happened then, eh? With Les. Did you bang your head and suddenly remember, oh, I left the baby on the bus. It wasn't like that. What was it like then, eh? Get off me. Because I know one thing. I know you just didn't jump a ship and start a fabulous new life in LA. You ran a string of grind pubs in Manchester. You were half an hour away and you never even picked up a phone. I wanted to. Yeah, but you didn't, did you? Not on my 16th, on my 18th, on my 21st. There were other reasons. Either was one of them. I don't expect you to understand, not at first. Janice is my mother, end of story. Lee, wait. Whose side are you on? I'm on your side. You've had a shock. Please don't just go storming off yet. And I thought they were having an affair. <laughs> Aaron Peter. Imagine that. This is worse. Don't say that. Too much worse. Hey, they're coming through. Hey, quiet, everybody. Quite right. Happy birthday to you. Please, Leah. Hang it well like some peeping tub trying to no. wear your way back into me life. I just want yeah. to be no. Hey, hey, we'll have none of that, Leanne. A party, for God's sake. I needed this when I was three, not 30. Love, love, this is private me. business. Go on, then. Sweep all under the carpet, mother. Did she just say mother? Janice, she was only just there. I suppose you knew about this, didn't you? No, you gotta be kidding. You moved from the sundial to this dump. What did you think you were coming here for? The views? Yeah, I know, love. I asked myself Stop that it. question. You're a rubbish liar. Yeah, you see, we forget that Janice was only the step. Oh, here, come here. Oh, oh, how deep is it? You might need stitches. Oh, you're shaking, love. Come here. Oh, really? 
one night, one measly night off, and I can't even enjoy that. What's happened? Uh... Fizz, what's up? Will you ever clock off? Policing's a 24-hour job, Mr. Brown. The public seems to like it that way. It's all right. You're turning up with him. He gets uh, free reign in the Xbox, don't you, when you're babysitting? Come on, Chaz, turn it off. We've got a visitor. Is it? Come in. Sit down. I'll sit the kettle on. Carl, have you got a drop of brandy, please? I think we could all do with a drink. No, not for me. So that's it, is it? You drop a bombshell, knock us off for six, sit back and have a bevy. OK, we should go. What about Leanne? We'll get out of your way and all. You should be looking for her. Leanne's not the only one who's had a shot. I just wanted to tell them one by one. Give them time to get their heads around it. Yeah, well, that kind of thing takes effort. Consideration is not your bag, eh, Stella? Hey, pal. Watch your mouth. Not when you've got people like him around to mop up after you. Time you were getting on with your missus. I need you more. Come on. In case you're interested, your daughter's outside. Your other daughter. Carl. She's in bits. We have witnesses who saw you leave Chesney's birthday party. Yeah, I went looking for John. How long? A few minutes. You'd be more precise. Yeah, uh, five, ten tops. Don't take long to get from Rosewells to here. Our witnesses say it was longer than that. Well, I think I'd know. If you were telling the truth. No, why wouldn't I be telling the truth? All I did was nip home. If you were concealing the murder of an innocent man and the disposal of his body. No, that's ridiculous. Eyewitnesses confirm it. What, confirm something that never happened? You were gone long enough to help your husband kill Colin Fishwick and then conceal his body underneath the factory floor. Well, I was gone long enough to run the four-minute mile and all, wasn't I? But it don't mean I did it. My mind was on fruit punch. Someone had spiked it. I swear that's as criminal as it got. You'll get your chance to swear, don't worry. When you take the stand in court. What, on the fraud charge? Because you haven't got enough to charge me with murder, have you? Well, you haven't, though. All you've got is some dodgy tale about how long I was away. You've got no motive, no forensic evidence, nothing. Well, luckily for the family of Colin Fishwick, you're not running this investigation. The Crown Prosecution Service is, and they see things differently. They still used Aaron and now this. Give it time, love. You, you might just get used to the idea. What? Might turn out to be a good thing? I hope so. More gaining a sister than losing a mother, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, right. That's three times in ten minutes. Oh, it's a good job they're not charging, eh? I'm serious. James is the boss. He's the one who should be doing the talking. Yeah. And he is, but he hasn't lived it like you. Daddy, just be yourself and you'll be uh, fine. Friends, neighbours, captains of industry, thank you for turning out in such numbers for Roof and Refuge. Every penny you raise tonight will go towards supporting needy people in Weatherfield. Now, I know what you're thinking. Of course he's going to say that. He's paid to. So, we decided you should get the lowdown from one of our success stories. Ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Tanner. My mother used to say, if I fell in the air, well, I'd come up smelling of roses. <laughs> Go on, Dennis. Except uh, six months ago, I found myself skinned and uh, sleeping rough in doorways. Now, forget romantic notions about solidarity on the streets. Out there is dog eat dog. The cardboard box that you're kipping in tonight could be... Uh, coffin in the morning but roof and refuge changed all that for me there were no questions there were no judgments <clears throat> they gave me a meal when I needed one a hot shower and a safe place to hang about in while I, while I got my life back on track 2010 was a bitter winter and I know that if it hadn't been for Roof and Refuge, I know uh, that I wouldn't have made it. But I, I'm not here to bring you down. 
No, I'm here to thank you. To thank you for what you've already given and what you're about to give. Because be in no doubt that tonight each and every one of you can change a life. Thank you. I'd always known they'd been fellas. Not that many, I love. But a baby. A baby that you had and walked away from when you were younger than me. You've just lost a little respect for me, love. Maybe that was bound to happen. Eva, you were the lucky one. You're the one with all the memories. As far as I'm concerned, that is my whole childhood gone. You've wanted for nothing. Except the truth. You have been doted on all your life. Yeah, now we know why. Because I love you. Because you loved Leanne. That was And you had not in the way of showing it. Did you suffer? Did you ever feel neglected? I do now. Now I know I was the runner-up. How dare you? How dare you feel sorry for yourself when that poor girl's had nothing? A useless lump of a father and a lying bitch for a mother. Hey, 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 come on. This is getting out of hand. Get off me. You're just as bad as she is. Don't burn Carly. Know nothing about this. What are you sticking up for her for, then? Doormat. What I do is between me and your mother, and she's still your mother. She is the one that needs reminding. I've never hit her before. Just leave her. Leave her! Leave her. <laughs> A month of brunch to munch. It's from my jewels. Yeah, but who, who eats brunch right near? I think it just means breakfast or lunch, Harris. Oh, not both. Well, steady on, Norris. Free bacon barns for a month. I'd say that was a bargain any time. Well, what? I'm a pensioner. Half an hour ago, you were captain of industry. Well, yeah, that was half an hour ago. She's still not answering. Have you tried Cheryl's? Yeah, she's not answering either. It won't be personal. Deirdre, it is personal. She just needs time to let off some steam. Yeah, maybe she should have gone back to the Rovers. Oh, no chance of that. It's all the schoolmates. We just walked out and left them there. And that big Paula, she's come all the way from Liverpool. She's a piece of work, that Stella. You go easy on her. You don't know the full story. Married to Les Battersby? Oh, yeah, it can't have been a barrel of laughs. Yeah, Les Battersby. The most feckless, hopeless, useless chancer you could wish to meet. And she left a baby with him. Oh, we've all made mistakes. Yeah, well, I've made a few mistakes, Dad. But this is not one of them. So how comes Leanne thinks I'm public enemy number one? Well, just be patient. She'll hear your side of things eventually. The question is, will she ever hear Stella's? Well, I know one thing. She's not going to forget this birthday in a hurry, is she? Remember you said I could have a sleepover with Chloe, Sophie and Matt? Uh, did I say all three? I've decided we're going to have it in the shed. You are? Everyone has it in the bedrooms. I want something they'll remember. We can have a, a midnight feast and candles. Uh, no. Fairy lights, then. You've got loads in the loft. You don't have to say yeah. Just say you'll think about it. I'll think about it. Yes. Hi, love. Have you got a minute? I promised myself I'd tell her tonight about the move. She only wants to sleep over in the shed. We'll be lucky to have a window box. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I said I'd think about it. Talk about burying your head in the sand. I've decided to buy the house and keep you in as tenants. And you know, thanks. This is all very professional, James. We both said. Yeah, we did. Yeah, and as you know, we had our doubts about the organisation at the start. But look, you were looking out for your daughter. But you didn't need to. She'd run rings around the lot of us. Oh, get lost. <laughs> she drank up half these auction prices. And more, she promoted it. She got us a discount on the wine from Nick. Discount? Practically giving it away. <laughs> and it was her brainwave to get Dennis up to talk. Oh, you really did all that? Yeah, well, we're a good team out there. See? Not only bright, but modest too. She'd be really proud. Oh, Dad, have you uh, seen Leanne? Who? Leah. We're here. Oh, I thought she was having a party. Yes, thanks. OK, next up, a donation from the only greasy spoon in Weatherfield with a Michelin. Tire, that is. It's a month of brunches from Royce Rolls. So he's going to start me off at £10. £10, the attractive lady at the back. 15, anyone top that? 
Twenty. Oh, it looks good, Kim. Twenty, very keen. Okay, uh, oh, twenty-five. <laughs> this house is worth hundred and twenty thousand pounds, Owen. I'm a builder, Jane Morton isn't. So you can knock another ten off her. Huh? Well, hundred and ten, then it's still a small fortune. Well, it's been a good year, sadly. But it's an ill wind, and you'll make a proper tenant. Yeah, I thought it'd be an investment. Plus, you've been good to both of my girls, and I want to repay the favour. Right, yeah. It's a lovely offer. Unbelievable, but... Look, don't say no. Just say you'll think about it, yeah? I couldn't have that on my conscience. Anna, it's not a charity, love. Oh, I, I just couldn't. Well, thank you. Has he gone? For now. Well, ignore him. You know you're innocent. I'm not innocent of fraud, Chess. I'm in it up to my neck. Fiddling a few quid. A few thousand quid. He's a million miles away from trying to off someone. I've proved I can't be trusted with money. Like half the politicians in this country. So why should a jury trust what I say in the dock? Not when the CPS believe I'm guilty. They're going to lock me up and throw away the key. I know. Yeah. And after all I've said about me, Mum, my little hope's gonna grow up without Mum or Dad, just like I did. Don't be daft. You rang me, that was the present. Yeah. Hey, maybe next year I'll make it up to you, eh? Yeah, I love you too. Hi. Who was that? It was Janice. She's in France, washing up pots in some country house hotel. Trevor's doing a bit of pottery and never heard her so happy. Oh, well, that's something, eh? Mm. She remembered it was my birthday. Nipped out especially. Did you tell her? What about Stella? Yeah. What did you take me for? No, I just thought... What? I chuck all the years of mothering back in her face. Sorry. Of course, you wouldn't do that. Yeah, some of us consider other people's feelings. Lee, I found out by accident. What was I supposed to do? Tell you myself? It wasn't my secret to tell. Yeah, well, I wish it wasn't hers. You can stop looking at me like that. She was the one who dumped a baby. No. <laughs> you know, things aren't that simple. They never are. Oh, funny. Because when I was little and all my friends were making cars for Mother's Day, it seemed pretty simple to me. My mother walked out on me. End of story. Love. That's a kid's way of looking at it. And I know it must have hurt you. But you're not a kid anymore. Oh, so stop behaving like one, is that it? Didn't say that. Anyway, she's the one behaving like a child. I think she can squeeze out a few tears and my heart will melt. I've got all the family I need, thanks. I used to say that about me, Dad. I was wrong. <sighs> it's Deirdre and Simon. Do you want me to ask her to keep him tonight? No, I don't. Nothing's changed. <laughs> Hiya, come up, you two. You must have some questions, surely. No, I don't. I've seen her. She's an head worker. Got all the answers I need. Lee. Peter, I don't want her in my life, all right? Hey, hope you've brought some cake. Five minutes, that's all oh. I'm asking. Please, Leanne, just hear me out just this once, and if you never want to speak to me again, I'll understand. Forty pounds, Norrie. It wasn't my fault. It, it, it was a fly. Overwhelming indifference. That voucher was mine at ten pounds. There's something we can do about it now, is there? Shaken down, Sophie. Next to the genuine ladies leather handbag. Oh, be still, my beating heart. Good for it. No, you've not seen my wardrobe. Sandbag okay, so it. for such a stunning item, let's start the bidding at one hundred pounds. Five hundred. <laughs> Five hundred. Five hundred. Good course. Five hundred pounds. Well, that's a very uh, generous offer for this genuine leather Napa handbag. Anyone else? Norris. Okay. <laughs> going once. Going twice. Going three times. So. To the man with a lucky lady in his life. Come to the factory tomorrow, I'll give you the cash. Right? Am I dreaming this? No. 
There you are, madam. Call it an early birthday present. It's not a birthday till January. Well, if you don't want it, I'm sure... Oh, no, I want it. I want it more than my first pair of stilettos. Thank you, Frankie. Thank you. Mm. Nate, feel the weight of that, and that's mostly notes. <laughs> Can you believe this? Well, Janet won't. Well, there you go, darling. And, uh, oh, well done. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. Yeah. Thank that you. is one in the eye for Christy Lee. Yeah, and a marathon and a bath of beans. <laughs> it's official. We won't. <laughs> <laughs> I was 17 when I had you. I don't need all the once upon a time. We were over the moon, me and Les. You were beautiful. She still is. It was me that chose Leanne. He wanted to call you Betty after his mother. Les liked a, a drink. It wasn't a problem at first. He was quite happy to sit at home with us. Then when you started teething, the quick pint after work turned into a sesh. He'd roll in in the middle of the night and, and wake you up. He started to crash in the spare room. I was lonely. Oh, here we go. I was just a kid myself. Not bad looking. I met a bloke. Mike here. Had a car and a few quid in oh, his pocket. Oh, yeah, whatever. Get on with it. I tried to get back to you, but she wouldn't let me. His mother, she took you. Is that it? I begged and I pleaded. I got a kid off the estate to threaten Les. I offered him money. She wouldn't let me through the door. You were scared of a 50-year-old woman. Les was just as bad. You don't leave your kids, Stella, unless you want to. It's as simple as that. Please, Leanne, I am not saying I didn't make mistakes. Every birthday, I waited for a card for you. I sent cards. Toys, dresses. I stood for hours outside the playground railings. I even spoke to you once. You threw your ball over the fence and, and I fetched it. You had a wonky fringe and pumps, not shoes. You had buttons missing in your cardigan. Yeah, well, there's no shame in being skint. They did what they could for me. My Eva was the best dressed kid in Manchester. Oh, bully for her! I'm just saying I was a good mum when I got the chance to be. Could be again. You can get out now. It's Leanne's choice, sorry. I brought this for you. Take it, it's yours. Open it. It's your first curl. <laughs> what did I tell you? Ed Worker. Lee. I know you think I'm being harsh, but I've had to be. You say you got that from me? I don't care, it's history, like you and me. Only if you want it to History. Be. Go on. Get back to your family and let me get back to mine. Keep saying. No, but I am, you know. I've made a complete mess of things. I, on your birthday as well, I could kick myself. Uh, I suppose it wasn't really your fault. She was the one manipulating things. So, yeah, but I think she meant well, you know. There's no harm in talking, is there, you know? Just get to know her a bit. I already know her. Every selfish bone of her. Every selfish bone of who? No one. Hey, might be better hearing it from us, you know. Oh, great. So now she's landed that on us and all. Right, go on then, tell him. Go on. Oh, okay. Hey, do you uh, remember Stella, the lady from the pub? She came round for a meal last week. Yeah, she rescued Liam. Yeah. Well, it turns out that she's um, that she's Liam's real mum. Really? Mm. Cool. Will we get three days now? <laughs> I don't think so. So do I call her around? Uh, no, you don't. Janice is your proper grandma. Does she remember that? It's minging. Oh, no. Why did you buy it, then? Because Deirdre donated it and it wasn't getting any bids. Yeah, no wonder. Well, I could always put it away somewhere. In the toilet, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Good idea, because that way we'll all have our backs to it. Well, you speak for yourself. Well, at least I bought something. You never took your hand out your pocket. It was not there to want it. Everybody had your attitude, Dad. Listen, I do my bit for charity. And anyway, you hit your target, didn't you? No thanks to you. 
Oh well, Robin and Janet are going to be well made up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should go to the Police Complaints Commission. What for? To complain about Redfern, he's hassling you. He's only doing his job. He's trying to wear you down more, right? <sighs> This is the sort of thing you see in films, trying to force confessions out of people. They'll be waterboarding in it. Well, can we just shut up about it? This is bad enough as it is without us having to talk about it non-stop. Sorry, Fizz. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. You're good kids, both of you. Hey, I hope he'll get fed up soon. Oh, he's got you looking after Jack and all now, has he? Oh, well, he's got an appointment at the hospital. He's having his shoulder x ray Seems fine to me. I'd have given him his marching orders. Well, I don't want to kick him out if he's not out to looking after Jack, do I? It's not fair on the baby. Well, just don't let him take advantage. Yeah, don't worry, Tyrone, I won't. Well, so how's he doing then, eh? How are you, pal? Yeah, yeah, he's great. Well, he's crawling everywhere now. Really? I can't believe how fast he's changing. Oh, I know. You go away for five minutes and he's... Anyway, I'd better get him to the child room. I'm going to be late for work. Yeah, of course. Hi, love. Eva, wait, please. I feel terrible about last night slapping you like that. I shouldn't have done it. It's the least of it. None of this changes anything. I love you to bits. I always will. It changes everything. You've lied to me. My whole life? No, I, I'm... Don't split hairs. You're pathetic. If you'd have just told me, if you'd have let me know, then things might have been different. She's not wrong. I was scared of exactly this. Please don't prove me right. You're having a on. No. It's true. She used the word mother. Didn't you, Hayley? I wish I'd been there. So, Janice isn't really Leanne's mum? No. She's a stepmom, do her. That's what she called her, Janice. Oh. I just thought she was being modern. It's like when I found my dad. Do you think I should go and talk to her, help her through it a bit? I don't think Leanne's into group hugs. Kurt's driving me flipping mad. Is he colorblind or what? I told him we need red satin for the trims. He keeps shoving orange at me. Will somebody go and sort him out before I'm throttling? I'll go. Oh, who has used up all my coffee? I thought I made it perfectly clear it weren't for staff use. Eileen, go get me some more filter coffee. Me? Yes, you're the new girl. Go on, chop, chop. Okay, that's what happened. You were right about Redfern. He came round again last night. He wanted me to account for my movements after I left Chessie's party. I'm so sorry. That was my fault. Oh, it is. And Hayley, you were just telling the truth. <sighs> the trouble is, he seems to think I was trying to hide it, but I wasn't. Honestly, I just didn't think it was important. Well, it wasn't. According to him, it is. According to him, it means I could have helped John kill Colin and hide his body. It's ridiculous. Honestly, Hayley, it just feels like everything I say makes things worse. <laughs> I don't know how much more I can say. Hi, love. Hi, man. Bought you bacon butty. Couldn't help noticing you'd left home without breakfast. Cheers. I see you didn't bother bringing me one. No. Bad enough having to feed your husband without feeding you and all. You trying to make a point? No, of course she isn't. Well, it was, actually. What, that it's a wife's job to look after her husband? Maybe in your time, in the dark ages. Things have moved on since then. To letting your mother-in-law do it all. Still, I suppose with your upbringing, you never did learn how to cook. Now, Gail. I can cook. I just don't choose to. Like I don't choose to speak fluent Italian? Fine. I'll do tea tonight. Dave is used to a healthier diet than freezer meals. Come on. You're no stranger to a microwave. Actually, I was going to do your favourite tonight. What, lasagna? Uh, no, you're not. Like I said... I'm cooking. And how are you planning on doing that? You'll have to learn how to shop first. Yeah, well, any woman who leads the kids has got to have something wrong. You don't know the circumstances, though. And she must feel bad about it, otherwise why try and get in touch? Or maybe she didn't. Maybe Leanne tracked her down. Well, whatever. It just goes to show you can't bury your secrets forever. You can try, but the truth always comes out in the end. Are you calling me a liar? 
You what? Try saying it to my face. Fizz. Go on. What's the latest Webster theory? That I masterminded the whole thing? Hey, what's going on here? I wasn't even talking about you. Fizz, she wasn't. Yeah, right. You're all the same. All friendly to my face, then the minute my back's turned, you... Fizz, she wasn't talking Just about you. calm down, everybody. Sally, did you start this? No, I did not. It's all in her head. It's the guilt coming out. Come here, stop it. Need any help? Looks like we arrived in the nick of time, eh? Yes, you did. I could do you for assault. First things first. Can I have a word? In private? Yeah, you can use my office if you like. As long as you're quick. It'll be quick. Shall we? All right, come on, everybody, back to work. What do you reckon they want? I don't know. More questions, I suppose. It's got to be important, though, for them to come here. <gasps> do you not hear what I said? OK, what's going on? They're arresting me. I'm going to go get Chesney. No, you can't do this! No! I am not going to leave my baby! I am not! You leave her alone. Let me take her to the car, please. <gasps> go on, then. OK. OK. What's happening? Casey, Fizz has been arrested again. Where's Chesney? Uh, he's in the market. Oh, you need to get him now. Right, yeah, I'm okay, going. I know, sweetheart. Right. Well, let's just hope they keep her in this time. Sally! This hasn't done out. You could have fooled me. Everyone's innocent till proved guilty. Yes, and that doesn't mean by their neighbours. Yeah, well, you wait. You'll all be eating your own words soon enough. My client been rearrested. Some new evidence has come to light. What? Tell me again how Colin died. Mrs. Stape has already given you her account of what she believes happened. Including that Colin's death was accidental, is that correct? You don't have to answer that. We've had the autopsy results back. It seems Mr. Fishwick had a fractured skull. Not quite death by natural causes, then. I was just going off what John told me, like I keep telling you I wasn't there. Of course. He could still have died of heart failure after he'd been hit on the head. I don't know anything about it. Maybe John was lying. Maybe it runs in the family. Let's go back over what happened. John told you that Colin came round. Hang on, hang on, wait. Colin was beaten up by this bloke. One bloke? He was having an affair with someone's wife. I know because the bloke turned up on our doorstep. He thought John was Colin, you see. So I had to explain to him that the real Colin was working at a bookshop in town. Anyway, apparently this bloke beat Colin up. Apparently? Yeah, Joy told me. <laughs> Don't do that. Seeing as Joy's no longer with us. Oh, it's true. Why didn't you mention it before? I... I forgot. Anyway, it wasn't relevant then, was it? What's this bloke's name? I, I don't know. Would you remember the name of the bookshop, perhaps? No. No, but I know it was one of the big ones in town. Go and check it out, eh? Yes, yeah, and then you'll see that Colin died because of that attack, not because of us. Us? John, I mean. I only said us because that's what you think. I could never kill anyone. You're not a violent person. No. So, this morning when you were about to assault your colleague, you'd say that wasn't violent. That's terrible. Well, the fact they've arrested her again must mean they've got new evidence. Like what? Well, I don't know. The murder weapon with fingerprints all over it. You should wash your mouth out, Sally. Oh, I'm just speculating. For a witness, I suppose. I'm just saying. Maybe it's DNA on the bloke when they fished him out of the canal. Whatever evidence it is, it's wrong. Yeah, you lot, you're like rubberneckers at a car crash. That were Haley on the phone. She, um, she's at the police station. She ain't been able to find out what's going on, though, so I suggest we all get back to work. Hard as it is, life goes on, doesn't it? So do deadlines. Oh, 
Why has she been arrested again? I don't know. Oh, they can't keep doing this to her, it ain't fair. I know. They're just trying to find someone to blame. They can't have steps, so they're after fizz. I'm going to tell them. No, they won't let you. Look, I have to do something, Ailey. And you will. You'll be there, calm and strong for when she comes out. Because that's what she's going to need, someone to lean on. Please, Leanne. I am so sorry. I, I should have written to you first. I asked if you wanted to see me. I not force myself upon you like this. Oh, well, at least we agree there. I've upset everyone. You're the daughter too. I am not your daughter. I will never be your daughter. Lee, come on. No. She gave away that right when she walked away. I've never missed her, never known her, and I don't want her in my life. Maybe it's, um... Better if I left then. Oh, the penny's dropped. Let's talk about Charlotte. What about her? How did you feel about her? She obviously had a crush on your husband. A crush? It was a bit more than that. She was totally obsessed. I mean, getting him to pretend they were engaged. How do you know they weren't? There's a lot of things I didn't know about John, but I do know he loved me. Besides, she was crazy. I mean, someone started doing really weird things, like breaking in and filming inside our house, and John said it was her. She actually sent me the tape. I mean, what sort of person does that to a pregnant woman? So you've got plenty of reasons to want to get rid of her. No! No! Why are you trying to hang everything on me? John's already admitted to Charlotte's parents that he killed her. He didn't say anything about me helping. There's a lot of things a man will say, or not say, to protect his wife. found the bookshop where Colin worked, but apparently nobody can recall any such incident. Well, maybe the manager's moved or something. Did you check? I think we've wasted enough time on this, don't you? You mentioned Joy. Let's talk about her for a bit. Here he is. What did you, um, what did Rob say about our auction? Was he pleased? Of course. Yeah, he uh, said to thank you both. What's up? Did we not raise enough? <sighs> no, no, it's not that. Talking about. We were relying on some charity funding to have enough to buy the house. Only now Rob's found out it's not going to come through to next month. But the auction's in a few days. I know. There's no way we'll get it now. Well, can't we raise it? Was it a lot? 20 grand. 20 grand? It wouldn't be so bad if we hadn't already got a waiting list. How am I going to tell all those people they won't have a home after all? No, but there must be something we can do. Thanks, but there's no way we could raise that sort of money in the time we've got. Oh, the poor girl with a little baby to think of, and I know. Like she's not been through enough. Well, you can't be sure she wasn't in on it. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm not saying she did it, but she must have at least known about it. She was married to the bloke. Hey, Sal was married to you. She didn't know what you were up to, did she? Too Hospital give you the all clear then? None of your business. I hope so, because Sal can't wait for you to move out. Right, I'm off to the corner shop. I want to get the ingredients for Davy's lasagna. Don't bother. Kylie's already gone for something. Well, she did say she'd cook. I thought that's what you wanted, her doing her bit for a change. Not at the expense of my son's health. Oh, dear. Can I have a word? Yeah, sure. Look, um... There's no easy way of putting this, so I'll just spit it out. I've decided to leave. Oh, come on. You and Leanne will sort things out. No, she's made that totally clear. I should never have come here in the first place. Yeah, well, you're right there. Look, Steve, I'm really sorry, but I can't... I just can't bear being around her all. But I know that's it. Yeah. Well, you know how that feels. So, when are you leaving? Oh. Today. I mean, I can work the notice if you like. No, no, no. If you're going to go, you may as well go. I'm sorry, and I have loved it if that's any consolation. No, not really. Oh, just in time. Pack your things, we're leaving. See, I'm trying really hard to believe you. Really, I am. But it doesn't look good. You've already admitted fraudulently obtaining Joy's money. 
and helping your husband dispose of Colin's body, which, incidentally, happened to be buried underneath the place where you worked. They're hardly the actions of an innocent woman. But I am innocent. But innocent people don't tell lies. You pretended not to know about John's identity theft, or Joy Fishwick, or that your husband visited her. You lied about not leaving the party. No. You said Colin died of heart failure. Well, we now know he had a fractured skull. I didn't know that. You even that. made up some ridiculous story about Colin getting beaten up in a bookshop. Lying seems to be second nature to you. And I think you're also lying when you say you had nothing to do with any of those deaths. I didn't, I swear. I think all three of you, you, John and Charlotte, killed Colin to stop him going to the police. No. Only Charlotte was becoming increasingly unstable, wasn't she? You didn't like her and you couldn't trust her. So the two of you decided to get rid of her as well. It wasn't like that. But then Colin's mother comes in. Well, she's already almost on her last leg, so all she needs is a little push and bingo, you're quitting. That isn't true. I like Joy. You're twisting things. None of it was my fault. None of it. <laughs> I know. You love your husband, anyone can see that. You felt you had to stick by him. But he's gone now. Leaving you with all this mess to deal with. You don't owe him anything, Fiona. You don't have to carry all these secrets around anymore. You can just start telling the truth. I am telling the truth. <laughs> Interview terminated, 12.35. <laughs> got stuff for tea. Burgers. We're having a barbie. Is that the extent of your culinary skills? Left to you, David will break out in spots like when he was a teenager. I, I never had spots. For goodness sake, this is like shopping bags at dawn. Gail, I think you should take advantage of Kylie's kind offer and take a night off. In fact, make us all happy. Have a night out. Oh, shh. Look, the food will keep. You can do lasagna tomorrow. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, all right. I suppose it'll be a welcome antidote to her meat vest. Come, on, come in the back, have a cup of Don't get used to this. Two women fighting to feed me. Well, don't. It's a one-off. Ridiculous. We've not even discussed it. What's to discuss? Anyway, I thought you'd be pleased we were going. I know I didn't want to come, but now we're here, we're here. I mean, we've both got good jobs, for God's sake. Well, fine, you stay then. You don't have to come with me. You going then? Yeah. Why am I not surprised? Sorry? No. You're running away again, aren't you, Stella? Abandoning Leanne the second time. Listen, mate, don't you be able to go. Carl, it's all right. I'm leaving because Leanne wants me to go. Oh. She said it, so you believed it. I've got no choice but to believe it. Oh, you have a choice. We all have a choice. So I should ignore what she says. That's hardly going to do me any good, is it? Well, you'll never know if you go, will you? But that's fine. You take the easy option. I'll tell you one thing from experience. The harder one. It's always the one worth sticking with. Are you going to let me go, then? If you're on a state, you're charged with the following offence. This can't be happening. On the 30th day of July, 2010, in Weatherfield, no. in the county of Greater Manchester... No, you... You murdered Colin Michael Fishwick. He's not right! Colonel. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention now something which you later rely on in court. No! Anything you do say will be given in evidence. I didn't kill... I didn't kill anyone! Don't worry about this lot. They've not had the lunch yet. I 
not a bit sharing. Enjoy it while you can. Prisoner Burke, or Little Miss Sunshine as we like to call her, won't be back for a couple of days. Where is she? Hospital. Tried to top herself yesterday. Cheer up. With a cell like this to yourself, you'll be the envy of the block. Get your stuff packed away. I won't be staying. Suit yourself. I'll let you know when your solicitor arrives. Yes, we are. Well, a little help, please. You got lumber then, did you? It's only for a couple of hours. You know, then lower. What is all the kerfuffle about, eh? How'd you do that? Sorry, love. Trade secret. The thing about girls is, you see, you uh, you gotta let them know his boss. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hiya, yeah, just about. Chess. Chess, calm down. Say that again. No. What's when are they letting her come home? Oh, of course, forget I asked. Look, don't worry about me and Hope, yeah? You do what you've got to do. Right, ring me later. Love you. What's the score? Fizz has been charged with murder. They've just left the magistrate's court and they're following her to prison. Well, where does that leave you? I don't know, really. Are we staying? Are we going? Seriously, Mum, I am this close to losing it. Either put the diva back in the box, will you? Oh, I'm sorry. Did the hanger on just say something? Remind me again why Darren binned you. What can I say? People trade down sometimes. Ask me, Mum, she's an expert in that That's department. enough. He started it. Well, started it. Grow up, will Carl, you? give it a rest. Oh, pick on me, why don't you? I need us together in this. You need to stop taking her side. It's called being on the winning team. That's enough! There are two things in this world that I am sure of. The first is I love the both of you beyond, I don't know, you're my life. And the second? I can't run away. Not again. What are you going to tell the bail judge? Basically, what we've already discussed. Oh, um highlight your exemplary character and the fact that you've got no previous convictions. And you'll explain the situation with Hope. Of course. About a prematurity and everything. Absolutely. Yeah, because this isn't just about me, you know. She needs her mum. I'll make that clear. Good. Only I've had to leave her with a 16-year-old girl, you see, and I shouldn't even be here. I'll pursue all lines of argument. That said, there's something else we need to discuss. What's that? It's the, um, possibility of failure. I'm innocent. I know, but... There the... are no buts, Mr Westmore. Fizz, you've been accused of murder. Yeah, and John is responsible, not me. You make them understand that. I suppose you could pray me up a miracle. Ah, God doesn't have a checkbook. No, but my dad does. I cannot believe I've not thought of this sooner. My dad can lend us the money. Come on, Sophie, we're talking about 20 grand here. So, we still got tons left over. Look, it's a nice idea, but he doesn't know us from Adam. Why would he take such a risk? What risk? Next month, the charity funding will come through, right? We can pay him every penny back. Do you really think there's a chance he'll go for it? There's only one way to find out. What? She's cooking for him, if you can believe it. Honestly, that girl couldn't boil an egg. Oh, well, if she's anything like R2, you'll have to put the fire brigade on standby. Yeah, the stomach pump won't be a bad idea either. <laughs> well, I wash my hands. She wants to pay the little woman, it's fine by me. Time she started pulling her weight anyway. So, I take it you're not doing anything then tonight? Nothing special, no. Thought I might pop into the bistro. Well, I've got a better idea. Let's make a night of it and crack a bottle open. Ooh, sounds tempting. Oh, is that a yes, then? Go on, you've twisted my arm, but I'm making tea. Oh. Lasagna. Ooh, now you're talking. <laughs> hey, no. Three's a crowd. David and Kylie don't know what they're missing. Oh, hey, you two. How did it go? Not brilliant. Try a complete disaster. So you and Sean are working for a homeless charity. Down and out types. I prefer to call them displaced people. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, well, it was until the funding for the shelter fell through. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, gutting. Well, I'm really glad you actually feel like that because I need to ask you a massive favour. Come on, Sophie, what's going on? Please, 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 can I loan £20,000? Thank you. 
I'm young and hope. Good. Never better. Thanks for coming. Where else would we be? What would you do without you, boy? Oh. Is Hope okay? Yeah, Katie's got everything under control. Hey, you fell on your feet with that one, didn't you? What's going on, sis? Hey, it's going to be fine. Please. Hey, listen, we are walking out of here together, yeah? You have my word. So come on, still waiting for the punchline. Dad, it'll only be alone. Only, she says. Dad, I will not ask if we want desperate. Sophie, you've got a big heart. I love you a bit, but you're off your head. What your dad means is it's a lot of money. Yes, Mum, but charity is meant to begin at home. Look, there's no way I'm just handing over 20 grand to Joe Bloggs and his missus. Yeah, but these are my friends. I trust them. Yeah, well, I'm your dad to trust me. It ain't happening. <laughs> Maybe we could offer them a smaller donation. It is not about handouts, OK? It's about making a difference. Oh, so it's all or nothing. Is that what you're saying? Look, you can afford it. The answer's no. I'm sorry. You're not sorry, though, are you? Not really. Meat, meat, meat. Potluck. Man food for my man. What about salad? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. How's the boo situation? Well, the beer is taking an ice bath as we speak. Tunes? Biblical. Broke out the Tenerife playlist. You're up for it, aren't you? Yeah, well, said you wanted to make it special. You have barbecue before, right? No. Where I come from, when people want a barber, they just set fire to a chair or something. Anyway, how come you don't know? It's just my mum always does it. Well, I know it's all about getting the heat right. How hard can it be? Besides, I've never had any trouble getting you hot. I'll tell you what. How about we skip the barbie and cut straight out of the party? <laughs> Oi, hands off. You're having the full wifey experience tonight, whether you like it or not. Oh, I like it when you say wifey. <laughs> I like hearing myself say it. <laughs> as soon as I get out of here, we're moving you and Katie into the house. You serious? Yeah. From this day forward, we are a family again. A proper family. Forget this stupid trial. Forget John. All that matters now is us. We're going to get through this together, aren't we? We're going to come out the other side stronger than ever. Too right, we are. It's us against the world. Our kids aren't going to want for anything. How amazing is this, lady? And to think I was worried. It's good to see you feeling so optimistic. John's taken almost everything from me, Ailey. I'm not going to let him destroy my future as well. A laudable outlook. <clears throat> Share the good news, Mr. Westmore. Bail denied. Oh. No. No. I can't be right. It can't be right. I'm sorry. I, I truly am. I'm not guilty of anything. You admitted to concealing the body. Yeah, but John's the killer, not Fizz. She was only trying to protect Hope. I can't live without her. Oh, Fizz, don't say that. I told her that Mummy was going to make everything better. I promised I'd never leave her. What have I done? How's it looking? Got complaints from where I'm sitting. You won't catch your mum doing this for you. Well, I'd be in therapy if I did. Do work cooking. Ooh! <laughs> Limmy. <laughs> Very affectionate. So are Labradors. I don't know, maybe marriage suits David. He looks very happy. Brainwashed, more like. Still have a clue what he sees in it. Well, I can't vouch for the inner Kylie, but. Don't take a rocket scientist to work out what the outer one does for the lab more why. Fizz has been refused bail. Yeah, well, it's, it's a murder charge, love. She's a mother. What happens to Hope? They'll saw something out. Now, Isabel. Not too hot. I'm scared, Dad. What if you don't let her come home? Let's not go there. Come on, she's gasping. 
Oh, she won't take it. Well, maybe she's sensing your anxiety. And make sure the teeth's full. You don't want her sucking in air. I know what I'm doing. There you go. Easy peasy. Am I a natural or what? I never doubted you for a moment, love. I hope John's suffering. I hope he's in pain every second of every day. Anger isn't going to sustain you, Fizz. Not in here. Like this, you're no good to anyone. Especially yourself. What happens now? We should probably talk about your daughter. I take it you still wish I'd join you. You're certain? As certain as it can be about anything. In that case, you and Hope need to be assessed and a formal application submitted. And is that something you can sort out? Then you'll have to apply directly via a liaison officer. The good news is this prison has an excellent mother and baby unit, so you won't need to be transferred. And how long is that going to take? As long as your request is approved and I can envisage no reason why it shouldn't be, we're probably looking in the region of a fortnight. Two weeks? Of course, you'll be entitled to regular access visits during that time. Which brings me on to the subject of Hope's care arrangements. I know it's difficult. Difficult? They're making me abandon my baby. I just feel so humiliated. I mean, impractical laugh in my face and shine if you say I told you so. Whoa. I thought it never crossed my mind, actually. I just can't believe my dad could be so selfish. That's a bit harsh. I wasn't talking to you. Big pardon. Sorry. It was always going to be a long shot, and at the end of the day, it's the thought that counts. Yeah, but thoughts, James, are not going to put roofs over people's heads. Oh, when you stop being so down on yourself, you've done your best. Yeah, which in other words means I blew it. She always is hard on herself. Yeah, pretty much. No, right. I just feel like, like I've just let everyone down. Of course you do. Hard what makes you special. Yeah, well, obviously not special enough, Ed. Sophie, you're a huge part of the team. You both are. Rest assured, Rob is going to hear all about your efforts. All right, well, make sure you tell Rob I've not been defeated Josh yet. Well, that'll be music to his ears. Have you spoken to Katie? I texted her earlier. I suspect she'd welcome our return. Thanks for waiting. The paperwork took longer than I expected. How is she? Coping. Um, I printed this out. You'll find details of the visiting times, etc. Oh, you're very kind, thank you. We should also discuss the subject of Hope's interim care. Thanks, but I've got it covered. Actually, Fizz has expressed a desire for Mr. and Mrs. Cropper to assume parental responsibilities. Come on, Ed. Given the circumstances, she feels it will be too much for you and your partner to take on. I don't understand. I mean, an hour ago she was talking about us moving back in. Well, without stating the obvious, the situation has clearly changed. Anyway, those are your sister's wishes. When you say interim... I anticipate no more than two weeks. Fizz will be in the mother and baby unit by then. I should get this. Um, if you've got any other questions, please don't hesitate to, to get in touch. Thank you. Oh, don't take it to heart, love. Oh, someone's supposed to take it. My own sister doesn't even trust me. How is it? Nice. Not too burnt? No. Only you hear about food poisoning. Ranking it. It's all right, I can take it. Well, I've had better. Have you now? Yeah. Better than me? Oi, I'm really eating that. I think your mum might be right about my cooking skills. I'm much more of a dessert kind of girl. Mmm, I am hungry. Mmm, I'm counting on it. Mmm, I don't know why we bothered coming out. We should have just stayed in the bedroom. We need a bedroom. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. You don't look very sorry. Would you please mind lowering the volume? And maybe your hemline while you're at it. Uh, hello, we're having a party. It's more like an orgy to me. 
I think you'll find we're a bit short on numbers, Gail. Spoken like an expert. Not told her. But I will turn the music down. Thank you. And I trust when I return, the garden will be spick and span? Yeah, you'll be able to eat your dinner off it. There's hot dog going if you're interested. A bit short on plates, though, sorry. Clean it up. What's the magic word? Now. Come on, chop, chop. No, well, we You are joking. Oh. Hiya. Hey, you still here, then? For the foreseeable. Glutton for punishment, me. Well, yeah, it'll get a lot worse before it gets better. I know. Hey, but I'm going to tell you now, if all this goes south, you're on your own. I'm not going to go against my wife. Hey, I wouldn't have it any other way. So, any words of advice? Well, just don't push yourself on her, you know? Let Leanne come to you in her own time. I was hoping to speak to her. Well, I, I'd just give it a couple of days, if I were you. Give what a couple of days? You two really think I'm that easy? Unbelievable. No, just leave it be. My mother-like daughter. Let me do that. I said I'd wash up, all right? I'm not being criticised for that as well. Oh, that woman so hates me. Oh, baby, don't bring this up again. David, nothing I ever do is good enough for her. She's two flipping doors down and she still judged Judy an executioner. Come on, she's having a pop at the pair of us. Oh, please. You might have caught the odd stray bullet, but it's me she were firing at. Well, what can I say? My mum likes Simone. It's like one of a five a day. This isn't funny. Yeah, well, it's not personal either. Of course it's personal, babes. To her, I'm trash. I'm lower than the stuff you find on a plug hole. That's not true. She just hasn't got to know you properly yet, that's all. And she never will. What? All right, I'll speak to her. We'll pass that. Kai, I don't know what you want. I want us to be proper man and wife. Don't get comfy. Right, before we go any further, I... I just like to say I won't be apologising anymore. Well, that wasn't the opening I was expecting. Cos to apologise is just... insulting and pointless. What I did... the pain I caused you... Sorry doesn't even touch the sides. I had all these hopes. Dreams. But I always knew it was going to be a nightmare. Sounds like you should have stayed away then. There's no rule book for this. Love. Oh yeah, there is. It's the one that says you don't abandon your baby. It's right next to don't you I dare call me love again. And uh, what planet are you on thinking you can just waltz back into me life? I know you're angry. Uh -huh. Angry? Angry doesn't even touch the sides. I can't change what I've done, Leanne. I can't not be your mother. There's nothing here for you. You're here. What, and you think by hanging around I'm just going to forgive you? No. But maybe I might forgive myself one day. Right, you've said your piece. took some guts. I don't care. I'm going to get her out of that prison. Whatever it takes, I'm going to get her out of there. And we all share your frustration, Jess. Yeah, it really shows. Sit around drinking tea. All right, calm down, son. I'm not your son, all right? This isn't helping. Uh, might I suggest we take stock of the situation? Well, give it a rest, Roy! Jess, I understand what you're going through, but lashing out... You understand? How? Your dad's sitting right there. Izzy's up the road. What have I got? You've got me. He's not the same, kid. You're uh, not alone, Chesley. Then why do I feel it? Perhaps we should go. Uh, Hope stays. I'm sorry. You heard me. Oh, no, Fizz has made her wishes quite clear. She needs to be with her family. All right, respect your sister and give her back, yeah? This doesn't concern you. Oh, give her back. Or oh, what? We're playing a big man now, are we? Dad. No, this has to be said. Because any idiot can make a baby. The world's full of them. But if you want to be a parent, a father, this is where it starts, right now. So what's it going to be, mate? Good lad.
Just because you do, I don't know, it's it's like, it's the law. The law's ass. Hey, where did you get that from? I heard your granddad say it. Oh, did you now? Well, I'm going to be having a word with your granddad, mister. Happy birthday, Simon. Thanks. I got this for you. Hey, how did you know? Oh, Deirdre mentioned it to me. It's only something little. If you don't mind, do you? Well, it's a bit late if I did. I don't mean to be pushy. It's just my way of apologising. What for? The other night or everything else you've done? Nice one. Do you like it? Yeah. Good. I'm glad. Look, just give us some time. That's all I'm saying. Right, birthday boy, come on, let's get you to school. Imagine it's original character, but it's still badly needed with care. Pack it in. Or what? Or I'll deck you. Come on, then. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, you win. Say it! All right, I'm a lady boy, I'm a lady boy. What on earth is going on? I don't know, but it definitely ain't consensual. This place was spotless last night, and now it looks like a bomb site. You know what you should do, Gail? Get yourself a cleaner. I'm a cleaner. There you go, then. I've had enough of this. Your gran and Mark are coming for dinner tonight, and I am not having this place looking like a tip. Yeah, about that little meal. I don't know if me and Carla can make it. Oh, you'll make it all right. And what's more, you'll clean this place until it's spotless. Yeah. I'm glad you find it funny, because when I've made up a shopping list, you can take it to the supermarket and get me everything I need to make the meal tonight, OK? <laughs> well, actually, it's not OK. Well, tough, because it was a rhetorical question. You're doing it. And if I don't? Well, you know where the door is. Fine with me. No, it's not, Mum. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. You'd better... Should have told her to stick it. What, and have her chuck us out? Look at our own place. With what? We've got no money, all right? So whether we like it or not, we're stuck here. Remember that time you told me you accidentally pushed her down the stairs? Yeah. Tell us it again. Making a spag ball tonight and get back in time. Ooh, if you're making a spag ball, I will. Morning, girls. Catch it up on your beauty sleep. She was. I don't need it. Uh, you can make the coffee for that one. So you're getting your mail redirects for you? Yeah, it saves me going back to the flat. You don't mind, do you? Mm, of course not. It's a bit greedy, if you ask me. What is? Having two addresses when some people can't even have one. Look, if you're trying to make me feel guilty over that loan, you're wasting your time. I just don't see why you can't just think about it. Your dad's right, Sophie. It's a lot of money. That we worked hard for. You won it on a scratch card. Oh, and what about this house? The holidays, after clothes hanging up in your wardrobe. Did we win those? No, we slugged our guts out for them. Yeah, well, you'd get it back. Okay. Here's someone else after the free handout. What is it? A bank wanting me to access my account online. So? So? How much is that going to cost us to check on my own money? I think it's free, Kevin. Nothing's free. Not in this life. Right. I'm going to get Jack ready. Yeah, and I better get off to work. Hey, girls, I'm making spag ball for tea tonight, if you fancy. That'd be lovely. Thank you, Sally. I'm going to go upset. It just winds me up. Cos, I mean, that money could be the charity's last chance. Yeah, well, something else will come up. Yeah, well, if it doesn't? What's going on? You're getting a new cell, mate. Is that the one with stuff that was here before? Yep. So she's not coming back? Nope. Where's she going? She your mate of yours. No. Never even met her. She's going home. Happy now. Sorry. I was just curious. Bad habit to have in here.
Well, that's something I never thought I'd see. Although I don't suppose you did either. So, how long is this one staying then? Because I did not get a wink of sleep last night. Hope will be staying until Fizz gets a place in a mother and baby unit, or until she's released, whichever comes first. Poor little mite. What a start in life, eh? Father a raving loony and mother behind bars. Well, I suppose if you think of it like that, she's almost better off here with the two of you. Still, uh, at least in prison, she'll be with her mother who loves her. At least she'll have that. Oh, sorry, mate, I had to take a call. Oh, it's all right. You heard out from Robin Janet yet? Actually, it was Rob. I was on the phone just now. He's found someone willing to lend him the 20000 So we've got that place, then? It's not that simple. This loan won't be secured till next week either, after the auction. So it makes no difference. We're still going to lose the house. So, because we've shot some money for a couple of days, all these people who think we're helping will end up back on the streets. I hate the thought of this happening as much as you, but there's nothing more we can do. There is. Um, like what? I don't know. I'll just have to ask my dad for the money. Um, Dirk, you've already asked your dad. He said no. Yeah, well, that was different. Maybe when he only finds out for a couple of days, he might go with it. You honestly think he'll reconsider? Probably not, but it's worth a go, isn't it? It's got to the stage where I'm avoiding going home. I keep making up excuses to go into town and stay at work. I'm in my own home and she's driving me out of it. Gail, how? Come on, Kai's a little slip of a thing. How bad can it be? Like a Tasmanian devil in a push-up bra. Causes chaos wherever she goes. I came downstairs the other morning, opened the fridge, and there was a shoe inside. When I asked her about it, she said, I must have put it there last night, but I was so drunk, I can't remember why. Well, what happened to the other one? What? The other shoe. I don't know. You might want to look in your dishwasher. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the ladies who lunch. And I bet I can guess what's on the menu. Do you want something, Davy? Yeah, I've just come for that shopping list. Oh, Kylie was supposed to be doing that. She is. She's just polishing off some old biddy's talons. David! Sorry, she's attending to a customer. Don't let her loose with anything sharp, do you? Mum, she's doing your shopping for you. Why have you got to give her such an hard time? I don't think me and Kylie are ever going to get on, so I think it just might be better for all of us if you find a place of your own. And we ain't got any money. Why not? You're both working. Yeah, and have you seen how much Grand pays us? Do you mind? Look, I know you two aren't busy mates or anything. Oh, you anything. noticed, have you? Yeah, but, you know, she's trying. And this is the closest thing she's got to her family, so, you know, give her another chance. Oh, all right. But I'm warning you, David, one more snipe... Cheers, Mum, you're a star. I don't believe that. I know, I'm a soft touch. No, the cheek of him. I pay way over the minimum wage. Hi, I'm Fizz. They tell me I was going to get a new roommate. Cellmate, not roommate. Sorry, sorry, I'm just a bit new to this. Great, just what I need. This yours? No, it's um, it's the woman's that was here before. Oh right, the one who. Yeah. Why did you do that? I was just going to try and get it back to her. Well, we'll have a job. She's dead. What? She snuffed it during the night. I'm going for a fag. Watch me gear. a branch of mother care than a cafe in here. <laughs> Cheese and pickle roll, please, to, to take out. Coming up. Doesn't that one belong to Fizz? Um, we're looking after it for a bit. Well, where's its mother? Fizz has been arrested. Oh, for, for embezzling that money, I'm well aware oh, well, of she's that. She's been arrested again. <laughs> Not for those murders, surely. You don't have to sound so happy about it, Norris. Excuse me, I'm not happy about it. In fact, I'm shocked, I'm dismayed. I mean, 
fizz it, it, it is many things, I, I know that, but for the police to actually believe she's capable of killing someone. She's only on remand. She hasn't been convicted. They, they wouldn't have arrested her on a whim. They must believe there's something in it. What about you? I bet you think she's guilty and all, don't you? Uh, look, Chesney, I, I can understand you're upset, but the fact look, remains... Look, just show up. I beg your pardon? I mean, who are you to judge a fizz? You've no idea what she's been through. No, 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 that's true. But look, I'm sure it'll all come out in the trial. And you'll be there, won't you? Front row seat. Hoping they find her guilty, just so you can feel better about your pathetic little life. Who do you think you're talking to? Who do you think you are? I'll tell you who I'm not. I'm not some 13-year-old paper boy that you can order around. At least not anymore. And if I ever hear you talking about fizz like that again... Your cheese and pickle. We won't charge you for the cake. Sounds like your steering needs adjusting. Shouldn't take too long. I'll crack on with it first thing in the morning and give you a shout when it's ready. Thanks, mate. I appreciate it. I suppose you could give it a clear out while you're at it. Yeah, looks like your Simon's been busy. I swear he's half squirrel, that lad. The amount of food I've found tucked behind them seats. <laughs> well, at least we won't go hungry if we break down, eh? Aye, this is the easy bit. Wait till they get a bit older. That's when the fun starts. Ha! Girls are a doddle, mate. All you've got to do is buy them a pony, keep them happy. <laughs> a thoroughbred racehorse, more like. What do you mean? Uh, Sophie. She wants 20 grand off us to lend to this charity she's involved in. Like I'm going to hand over that kind of money to a bunch of dossers and drug addicts. Yeah, well, they're not dossers and drug addicts, though, are they? You don't even know where. Sophie, wake up! Calm down, have you? A bit. Hey, I thought you were a chinning back there. No, I don't go around it in old people. Anyway, it's not worth it. Good, I'm glad to see you using your head at last. What's that supposed to mean? Look, I know you're upset, and I know why. You want to help your sister, and you want to help your niece. And what's wrong with that? Nothing. No, nothing. It's, it's admirable. Except this is not about what you want. What do you think your fizz is doing right now? Digging an escape tunnel. How should I know? She's thinking about that baby. Wanting to know she's all right, that thing's back here under control. If you go visiting her in the state you're in, what's that going to do to her? So what should I do? Just pretend everything's all right? Yes. If you want to help her through all this. That smells delicious, Gail. It's part improvised. Someone we know forgot to get all the ingredients when they went shopping. <laughs> oh, speak of the Tasmanian devil. <laughs> Sorry, we're late. We, um, we're locking up and got a bit <clears throat> distracted. <laughs> we're so going to have to try that swivel chair. Uh, do you mind? You're just about to eat in a minute. Good, because I've worked up an appetite. How's the grub going, Gail? Bye. No thanks to you. Come again. That shopping list I gave you, where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. Oh, Kylie, get up. Oh, Jack. Where are these? Well, I didn't realise I had to read both sides. So, spite. That's what this is, pure spite. Oh, chill your boots, Mum. He's right. You want to watch your stress levels, Gail. It's not good at your age. Mm. You are so treading a fine line. Oh, take a chill pill. How many of these little ones are you to see the ones, do you think? Too many. Well, with a bit of luck, it won't be long before you're with yours again, sweetheart. Well, that's if Fizz can wrestle her off you. Oh, no, I'm, I'm hugging her again. Do you want to take her for a bit? Oh, you're all right. Anyway, you're good, lad. Thanks. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry I kicked off at you the other day. I didn't mean anything by it. You have nothing to apologise for. Someone to see you. <laughs> Sweet. Hi, James. It's Sophie. Hi, yeah. Um, I've had a word with my dad, and yeah, he's decided to go for it. 
Yeah. Anyway, um, if you give me Rob's bank details, I'll get him to transfer the money as soon as he gets in. This is terrible. Mm-hmm. Isn't terrible? Perfectly nice, isn't it, David? You've definitely made worse. Do you cook much, Kylie? Ah, can't be bothered. How about you, David? No, nah, it's not really my thing. She's been on to you and all, is she? Sorry? Gail. Getting you to drop a few hints about us moving out. I don't think that's what he meant. Oh, wake up, David. She can't wait to see the back of me. Well, it's got to be better than the front. <sighs> see? She'll only be happy when we split up. And you know why? Because she hates me guts. More wine, anybody. <laughs> she Come doesn't on. hate you guts, do you, Mum? I'll have some. Right, she might be a bit annoyed at the minute, but she doesn't hate your guts. Or else, why would she let us stay here? And why would she give us money for his honeymoon? <laughs> Work for a honeymoon, you div. It were a bribe. What? She gave me the money to jack in the wedding and do a runner. Ain't that right, Gail? She better be joking. Thought I was doing the right thing. For who? For you, David. She's my wife. Right? I love her. How is splitting us up what's best for us? Come on. Where are we going? Anywhere, as long as it's far away from here as possible. And first thing tomorrow, we're looking for a place of his own, however much it costs. Is she feeding all right? Well, I don't know where she puts it. <laughs> I don't know when it comes out, though. <laughs> You're not missing me too much then, hey, darling? Well, I'm sure if she could speak, she'd tell you something completely different. It's OK. I'm glad she doesn't know what's going on. It's better than the truth, anyway. She looks happy enough right now. Oh, that's because she's where she should be. No, she's not. What do you mean? I heard today that there's a place coming up on the mother and baby unit. Oh, this has terrific news. Yeah, for somebody else. I don't understand. I'm not going to take it. I can't. I want you to look after her. Come on, son. I'm in the middle of something. Yeah, well, you want to see what Grandma and Grandad's got you for your birthday, don't you? Hey? She's probably going to give us one of those horrible balls from a pottery class. Yeah, well, if she does, remember, you lie and say it's very nice, thank you. Oh, yeah. Sorry I'm late. Got held up. <laughs> That's all right, love. So, right, are we ready for this big party, then? <laughs> Check this out. Whoa, that's brilliant. Who got you that? Your new mum, do you want to have a go? No, but I'll give you a thrashing on it later, eh? In your dreams. Listen, mate, why don't you uh, nip across to Grandad's and uh, tell him we'll be there in a minute? Go on, come on the road. Good lad. Why'd you let him take it? Listen, love, he's just a kid. <sighs> All he sees is a present. He don't care where it's from, does he? Whatever. Look, if it makes you feel any better, I've told you to back off and just give you some time. Yeah, about another 30 years I'll to do it. Shall I uh, nip across to it, then, to get a nice bottle of plant? No, it's all right. I'm sorted. I'm not the only one who likes a nice drink at the end of the day. <laughs> or needs one. Or needs one. Yeah. <laughs> if a drink a day is good for you, then how come people who don't drink live longer? Well, they don't. It just seems it. <laughs> hey, I thought you were going off to the soup kitchen to see James. Um, well, I was, but I'll come home. Oh, everything OK? Uh, yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Hey, listen... What I said this morning? Oh, Dad, don't worry about it. What, so you and me are mates again? Yeah, of course we are. Yeah, good girl. I know it's a lot to ask. Mm. And I'll understand if you say no. It's not about that, Fizz. We'd do anything to help you. Anything. Hope's yours. She needs to be with her mum. While I'm in this place. We appreciate this. This is hardly the ideal environment to bring up a child, but other women seem to manage it. You're right. A lot of mums do it. The woman who used to have my cell had a little boy. 
Well, was he in here with her? I never got a chance to ask. She hung herself the other night. You see, that's what this place does to you. I've only been here a day and I can already feel it getting to me. So what am I going to be like if I'm still here in six months or six years? That might not happen. Yeah, and it might. Sure. Look at her. She's the most beautiful thing in the world. She doesn't belong in a place like this. Please say you'll do it. Say you'll take her. Thank you. Visiting's nearly over. Start saying your goodbyes. again about that money. No. No, I don't blame you. The auction's today, isn't it? Yeah. Aww. I wonder who's going to get the house now, then. Morning. Hi. Any tea on the go? Yeah, I'll meet you on now. Little so Jack's gurgling away merrily to himself in the car. I think I can afford to leave him another five minutes. Are you going to the shelter today? Yeah. Right, well, come with you if you want. Um, why aren't you at college? No, we're not doing anything now, cos the exams are done. Well, won't they miss you? No, I'll be more use helping you out. Unless you don't want me there. No, oh, of course I do. Here you go, Dad. Well, thanks, love. But you're pleased to see me reading this, aren't you? What? To what you said yesterday about me living in two places, thinking of buying myself a flat. All right. Well, I've still got enough left from that scratch card win for a deposit. And it beats wasting money on rent. What do you reckon? Yeah. Good idea. Are you eating with us, Roy? Uh, no, I, I need to open up in a minute. I'll get something downstairs. What about that one? We'll, we'll leave her to sleep for a bit. Sorry? We don't want to wake her up. Well, then why have we got this racket on? The classical music has a soothing effect on small babies. So, so. There have been studies in hospital maternity units, both here and abroad. Oh, well, it must be all right, then, if they've got studies on it. Well, it seems to be working now. She's quiet because she's got a full bottle of milk inside her, not because she's listening to Beethoven. Brahms, actually, double concerto, violin and cello. Oh, whatever. Can we just keep our voices down? It's all please? right. I'm awake. About time. All right, Ailes, I just sleep. Oh, up twice. Oh, you must be knackered. Do you want to give her a oh, Go on. Oh, baby! Oh, thank you, sweet. Oh, hello. Well, I've certainly got your work cut out looking after that one, that's for sure. Oh, Carl's given me some more time off work. How much more time? Five years. <laughs> I mean, it's all very well in the short term, but what's going to happen then? You both work full time. And then there's the expense, an extra mouth to feed doesn't come cheap. I'm sure we'll find a way. Oh, double violin concerto doesn't seem to be doing much good, Roy. What that baby needs is to be able to hear the sound of her mother's voice. Tough choice to make. Sexiest man of all time. Paul Newman, Brad Pitt or George Clooney? Who would you have? Can't say as I care. You've got to forget her, darling. What? Your kid. So you're brooding about, isn't it? Yeah. You did the right thing, not wanting her in here. You can't just forget your own children, though. Well, if you want to stay sane in this hole, you have to. Have you got kids? And care, both of them. Better off without me. Here, have a thumb through. Fantasy. Get used to it. Can't 
believe my own mum would stoop to that. Well, she did. I'm bribing you to stop the wedding. Why didn't you tell me? Yeah, good question. I didn't want to upset you. I didn't want to spoil the day. Oh, it wasn't because you wanted to store it up and use it to your advantage later on, of course. I didn't do it because I didn't want him to know what low lives his family are. <laughs> Park at Mother Teresa. It's no good getting at her. This is all your fault. I know. And I'm sorry. I accept I made a mistake. Yeah, only because it backfired. I did what I thought was best for you at the time. What well, I'm happier with Carly than what I ever have been. Let's hope it continues. Oh, sure. I mean it. All you want is to break us up. I want my son to be happy. As long as it's with another woman. I will do all I can to help you two make a go of it. Well, it's a bit late for that. Disagree. If we can put all this behind us, I see no reason why you should move out. Yeah? Well, I see a big reason. And I'm looking right at it. OK, have another piece of toast, Dylan. Don't want any. Mark, it's giving me another piece of toast. I'm sorry, I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> Come on, Dylan. Put some chocolate spread on it. Not if you don't want to, Dylan. Uh, somebody mind telling me what's going on? He wants him to do something daft, like get chocolate spread all over his face, film it, and then put it on YouTube. Don't tell him it'll ruin the spontaneity. Well, that's what I call responsible parenting. Does Violet know what you're up to? Give you three guesses. Listen, he is ten times funnier than most of the stuff that you see online. He could be a YouTube sensation. Oh, well, that's all right, then. Put it away. Spy mm. sport. Oh, that'll be Julie. Mm. So, where are you taking them today, then? Museum of Science and Industry. They got some lovely stuff for kids. Oh, that's a great idea. Hi. Hey. Oh, come in. Oh, it still feels strange coming in here. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we used to put a tin bath down there on bath nights. So no bathrooms in them days. Outside toilet, cold fire to eat the water. It's like the Ritz now. Oh, well, didn't go that far. Anyway, guess what I've discovered? Yeah, come on, what is it? She dragged me in off the streets to tell me this. Well, you know, I've been working on that family tree. Oh, my God, sure, there's a mouse on your foot! Oh, where? Oh, is that a joke? <laughs> Which I will now post online. You'll do no such thing. Oh, but you'll be a YouTube sensation. Point taken. <laughs> oh, but you just killed to go on holiday. Yeah. All about the money, eh? Where would you want to go? I can't say I'm bothered. What is up with you today? You've been like this since we got up. Hiya, girls. Hiya. Fantastic news about your dad. Yeah. Look, what made him change his mind? I don't know. Oh, he must have said something. I just kept going on at him till it finally got through. Well, well done. It's an amazing turnaround. So your dad's agreed to give Janet and Rob the money? Lend it. Lend the money. Then why didn't you tell me? Because he doesn't want everyone to know. Gives quietly and doesn't brag about it. I'm impressed. You off to the auction? Um, no, I've got to go to the refuge today. I can't make it either. I'll have to buy Deirdre a birthday present. She's got a party tonight. Nice. Fingers crossed for the auction then, eh? Yeah. See you. And the real reason you didn't tell me. But I can't tell you here, can I? Come on. She can't sleep. Let's hope she has a decent nap. Well, we should sit down at some point and formulate a long-term plan. I know. Might be an idea to contact social services, ask their advice. No way. I know you haven't had a very good experience. You have. No. They'll have that kid out of here faster than you can blink. I thought their priority was to place the child with people it knows. <laughs> well, that's the theory, isn't it? But it never works out in practice. I'm not sure it's what Fizz'd want, Roy. And even if they let you keep her, they'd be round here every five minutes sticking their noses in. Hiya, can I have um, two coffees, please, here? Yeah, of course, because he's helping them up. It's all very well going it alone, but what if we can't manage? Well, nobody's saying it's going to be easy. As my mother says, we both have full-time jobs to hold down and reluctant as I am to agree with her on anything, I fear on this she might be right. So go on. Right. Rob and Janet needed that money, yeah? Your dad didn't change his mind, did he? They needed the money to feed the poor people, like Jesus said, yeah? What have you done, Sophie? made it happen. How? I set my dad's bank account up online and transferred the money over. Without telling him. Here you are, girls. Thank you. How's life down in the soup kitchen? 
Yeah, um, it's great, thank you. I think it's a wonderful job you're doing. You should both be really proud of yourself. Thank you. See, Sean, everybody knows what good we're doing. That money will be back in his account by next week. I've done the right thing. So, if we unpack the rest of them boxes and finish off the painting... Then our dream house will be complete. Mm, I wouldn't say that exactly. <laughs> Ah, you're right. Not bad. How are things panning out with your mother? Mm. That's a turn up I could have done without. Well, I don't want to talk. You're not free for a coffee now, are you? Now we're off looking for furniture. Well, I don't let that stop you. Yeah? Mm, he hates going shopping. Yeah, same as Peter. <laughs> well, look, you can go instead of me if you like and let me get on with the house. Do you fancy it? Are you sure? Why not? All right then, let me go and tell Peter I'll be right back. I owe you one, Leanne. <laughs> She's still asleep. Has been ever since I switched off Radio 3. If I didn't do anything, then we won't be able to buy the house. Stop trying to justify it. What you've done is theft. It's a loan, Sharon. No, it is a loan when someone agrees to it. You will be back in his account next week. That's not the point. You've robbed 20 grand without even asking. Right, then what would you have done, Miss Goody Two Shoes? Well, I wouldn't have nicked it, I know that. I haven't nicked it. God, Sharon, I would have at least thought you would have been on my side. You really don't think you've done anything wrong? No, I do think that, yeah. Right, so you've told Rob and Janet what you've done? Exactly. You've lied to them because you know that it's wrong. And what is your dad going to do when he finds out? Oh, hopefully he'll be back in his account before he notices. And what if the money doesn't come through, so fair? Yeah, well, Rob said it would. But what if it doesn't? Right, so you're saying Rob could be wrong as well now? You still got your dad's login details. Yeah. Well, then I suggest you go back online and cancel the payment if you still can. But then we don't get the house. I don't care. I'm trying to think of all them people who could be helping and they have to go back on the street. Well, I'm having nothing to do with this and I don't want your dad thinking I was in on any of it either. All right, then. I'll face him on my own. Oh, ye of little faith. This is madness. Yeah, well, they said Jesus was mad. Yeah, one big difference, Sophie. You're not Jesus. <laughs> Don't be daft if I can't give my own daughter a quick trim for nothing. Well, thanks for fitting me in. Get away with you. I'll buy you a drink later? Well, I wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> See you then. Bye. Yeah, bye, love. Must be nice. Free haircuts whenever you feel like it. I don't think you do too badly here for yourself, can they, actually? If she didn't like us living at number eight, maybe she should move out. Well, of her own house? Oh, talk sense, you silly girl. We'll get us own place, don't worry. Yeah, but where? Well, I don't know. We've only just decided to get somewhere. How much are flats at Victoria Court? More than we can afford. Do you know if you knuckle down and save your pennies, Cardi, who knows? Miracles might just happen. Hey, uh, sorry I'm late. Oh, don't worry, darling. We're not busy. Oh, Liam's been dead ratty this morning when I dropped him off. Oh, actually, just come here while we're quiet. I want to show you some new beauty products they've sent me on trial. Mm. Same old, same old, in different packaging. That's what I can't decide. <laughs> Don't ask me what I think, does she? I've got it. What? Our next move. Where? Salon flat. But Maria lives there. So, we get rid of her. Smell it, though. That smells good. Well, you was at the soup kitchen. Yeah, I don't feel very well. All right. Best take it easy, then, eh? Yeah. Right, we're just out for a walk. See you later. You will as well? No. You two had a row. Yeah. <sighs> Love's young dream, eh? See you later. Thanks for not saying no. I was tempted. Well, what good would that have done? I've just as good as lied to him now, not telling him. Oh, no, you haven't, Shan. I can't look him in the face anymore. Well, you shouldn't have asked me what I did then. No, you should have told me about this yesterday so I could have talked you out of it. We share everything, Sophie. Why didn't you tell me? Because I don't want you to talk me out of it, Shan. So what are we going to do? Let's just go to the auction and see him buy the house. <sighs> Sean, I can't even stop that money now, not even if I wanted to, because I don't have a clue how to do it. 
Well, I just feel I could be going along with it if I did. In a few months, when the house is up and running, we'll look back on it and we'll just laugh. If it works out, we will. Right, well, I'm going to the auction, so are you coming or what? even telling your fella. Oh, you saw him this morning. He's bought stiff with it all. Yeah, but if he's the one paying for it. Uh, we're both paying for it. Even so, my Peter would come out with me. I don't see the problem. I put it on my new 0% credit card. We'd have to pay it off for ages. Right, so you're going to tell him how much it costs them? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> anyway, it took your mind off things for a couple of hours. Yeah, it did. It was a breath of fresh air. Nice to spend time here again and all. Yeah, let's do it again soon. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is Dad's side of the family and this is Elsie's. Fascinating. Now, if you look here, our father's cousin Armley was also a cousin of Elsie Tanner. Nee Grimshaw, Dennis's mother. Yeah, I, I remember him. He died of hypothermia in the big freeze. My man went to his funeral. Now, does this mean that we are related? It means that you are me and Eileen's uncle. Well, as good as. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Uncle Dennis. <laughs> Isn't it the most exciting thing you've ever heard? <laughs> It's not finished, has it? No. Rob said it started at ten and went on all day. The house wasn't meant to be up for sale till after dinner time. Come on, let's go and ask that man. Uh, excuse me. Um, we're here for the property auction. Well, you've missed it, I'm afraid. I thought it went on all day. Just the morning. Well, could you tell me if that place is in Garden got sold, you know? <laughs> it's been so many. Yeah, it's 17 Belgrave Road. Please, it's important. Yeah, it's for our friend who was going to buy it for um, a homeless charity. Belgrave. Yeah. Six bedroom, three reception. In need of updating? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that was so. Oh, can you tell me it went to, please? Went to a property developer. A property developer? Whoa, N not a couple. Well, he may have been with someone. Can't remember. No. Wait, can you, um, can you tell me how much it went for, please? 55,000. I suspect you'll turn into luxury apartments. Friend will have to try again. But we had 55,000. So you can deliver next Tuesday? Oh, that's brilliant. OK, thanks a lot. Bye. Deliver what? Well, when I went shopping this morning with Leanne, I uh, bought a new three-piece suite. You did what? Well... I was going to tell you, they're going to bring it next Tuesday and take this old one away. We said this old one was rubbish. I know we did, but... And that is why we were going to go shopping. No, we we're going to look at furniture, not buy it. Yeah, well, this one was in the sale and it was the only one there. Didn't think you'd want to schlep all the way out just to look at it. Well, you should have rung me. Didn't think you'd be interested. I'm always interested when it comes to spending money. Oh, I'm sorry. How much was it? 600 It's a special offer. That looks good, I suppose. No, I can cancel it if you really don't like it. No, it looks good. We'll go with it. Sure? Yeah, but in future. I know. I won't do it again, I promise. What have you got there? Some of the old vinyl. I thought I'd put them over there by the stereo. How many have you got? Two more boxes. I thought we'd have a little den in here. Well, they're going to clutter the place, aren't they? Not if I get a bookcase to put them in. Well, I just don't know if that's the look we were aiming for. We said we wanted minimalist. A few records aren't going to make a difference. Yeah, but the covers, babe, they're all tatty. Whoa, I'll have you know, some of these are worth a small fortune. I Spy for the FBI by Luther Ingram. None of your J-Mo Thomas cover versions here. Yeah, yeah, OK. Well, why don't you just put them in the loft for now? In the loft? We'll find a home for them, babe, don't worry. You know what, I'm wondering, Rob? Find out what's happened. That auction here could have been wrong, you know. Yeah, I bet he was. I mean, I bet he sold loads of houses today. You can't remember everything. Answer phone. Hi, Rob. It's, um, it's Sophie Webster. Me and Sharon are just in the auction room. Can you give us a ring back, please? Thanks. We might as well just go to the shelter. Yeah, cos me and Robin and Janet will be there, won't they? Yeah, and if they're not, there's gonna be someone there that can tell us what's happened. He'll be fine, come on. Have you smoked a fizz today? No, have you? No. How's it going with Hope? 
We've had our hands full, if I'm honest. Mm. I still can't believe she don't want to with her. Well, me and Roy have been talking about that. Yeah? We don't know what to do. On the one hand, we have to respect her wishes, but on the other, is that best for hope? Well, how can it be? And then there's the practicalities. We love having her. But we've both got jobs to do. Well, you know me and Katie, you know, but Owen wasn't keen. Yeah, well, that was before yesterday. We're looking longer term now. Truth is, Chesney, me and Ryan need all the help that's going. Then you got it. Thank you. And you are her uncle. She needs all the family she can get right now. Mm, no problem. But I still think Fizz has made the wrong decision. Well, I could go and see her again. See if we can change her mind. How soon can we do that? Well, fairly quickly, I think, when they're on remand. What, like today? I think so. What are we waiting for? If she can give Gail free haircuts, she can give us that flat. She's hardly going to turf Maria and a kid out on the street, is she? Get real. She doesn't have to turf them out. She gives them a month's notice, they've got time to find somewhere else. Then they move out and we move in. But Gran and Maria go back a long way. What, longer than you and Audrey? No, obviously. She's always going on about what family means to her. Let her put her money where her mouth is. She did sign the salon over to me, remember? So she can give you the flat and all. Hey, can you imagine what it'd be like at work? It'd be unbearable. Who cares? Maria can sling her up if you don't like it. Well, I say we just find his own place. And I say we ask Audrey. Um, ask me what? Nothing. Well, it must have been something. No. Come on, you must have told me. We were just talking. About the salon flat. What about her? We think you should rent it out to us. What? Whose idea was this? Oh, we both thought of it. No, we didn't. Well, so I just find somewhere else to live, do I? You're not family. Well, it's still me own, Kylie. Why don't you ask your own parents to help you out? Why don't you go and ask yours? If you've got any. Don't you start slagging off my family. No, no, enough, enough. Now, come on. Maria stays in the flat and that is fine. I don't want to hear another word. Is the answer in his phone? For a soup kitchen? Yeah. You're not the first today. No one tell you that. So does what? The owner's turned it into a new bar. No, we don't know. Well, your boss wasn't the owner, you know. Yeah, we know that. We just had it on a short lease. Yeah, well, he would have told us what was happening. Where is Rob? Who? The bloke that ran the soup kitchen. I haven't a clue, but he won't be coming back here now. If he didn't buy the house, and where is he? Yeah, what's he done with the money? They should stay calm and think. Could we got it wrong? No. Well, maybe there's a reason. Okay, maybe there's something wrong with the house. Oh, so they just didn't tell anybody. No, they was going to. Where? Whenever they seen us. And when would that have been, eh? Because they're not here, and they wasn't at the auctions. They've just disappeared into thin air, Sophie. Yeah, with my money. It's your dad's money. Thanks for reminding me, Sean. Oh, you're going to have to tell him. You know, it would have been a lot easier if we'd all just gone out somewhere. Well, I'd sooner we were all here. I did offer. Uh, we need three more for. Yeah, well, that. you shouldn't have offered. You should have just arranged it behind her back. Oh, I'll bear that in mind for next year. Anybody in? Hello. What's the are? Hi, Sophie. Hey, is this where the party is? It is. <laughs> party? Happy birthday, Grandma. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Uh, oh. Hang on, slow down. Say again. Well, go on, then. Give Grandma a present. I am going to. Don't be in such a rush. Here, Grandma. Thank you. Come on. It's not just for me, it's from the three of us. Oh. <laughs> you all right, Leanne? Yeah, yeah, fine. Uh, can I do anything? No, no, no. I think we have it all under control, don't we? Well, you have. <laughs> I said that we should have all just gone out somewhere. This is going out for us, isn't it? Yeah. I'll come around. I'll be, I'll be about ten minutes. Right, you all right, James, lad? Yeah, yeah, just uh, need to nip out. I won't be you long. see? There's one escaping already. You are coming back, though, aren't you? Yeah, yep. 
Oh, it's a book on pottery. Oh. Fabulous. Oh, I'm really going to enjoy this. Thank you. You have to encourage her. Very hard to buy for. Look, Marie has worked here a long time. Oh, and that counts for more than being married to you, does it? What matters most, blood or water? Blood or water? I don't know. What is it to say? Look, I'm your wife. She's not. I should come first. It's not as though my gran can just kick Maria out of where she lives. Well, she could, yeah. What you're saying is she won't. Well, all right, then. She won't. So what's the point going on about it? Look, all I am saying is I thought you'd be a little bit more on my side. And I am. Of course I am. Funny how I didn't feel like it. Oh. What are you two plotting, then? Hmm? We're not. Just talking about what a weird family this is. Because you won't kick Maria out. I thought we talked about that. Yeah, well, I'm still talking. I'm sorry. Do I understand correctly? Hmm? You are lecturing me on family. Is it a subject you've read about in books, Carly? Because I know for a fact you've had no first-hand experience of it. See how she talks to me. Yeah. And I see how you talk to her and all, and I'm in the middle. Again, I'm always in the middle. I get in it from both sides. And I'm just fed up with it. I'm sorry, but I'm just fed up with the whole thing. Dearie me. I mean, who in their right mind would leave Roy to look after a baby? He can barely look after himself. It'd be his missus doing most of it. <laughs> yes, well, she's not exactly the maternal type. And is this going to be permanent? Well, you tell me. I mean, maybe she's glad to get the child off her hands, let someone else have all the trouble and expense. Were well, you sure talking about my sister like that? Excuse me. Hey, calm down, lad. It's only talk. Jory's life, Fran. Being locked up without hope. Why? Are you going to tell us? It's terrible. It's the worst thing you could do to her. Yeah, I'm sure it is. So just keep your stupid opinions to yourselves. Oh dear, is everything all right? It was, until a minute ago. Are we going? Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. Um, would you mind just keeping an eye on things while you just seem to hop? Yeah, of course we will, love. You go and have your visit. Oh, thank you. Come on, I better get going. I mean, what sort of name is that? Hope. Hopeless, you'll get called in the playground. And worse than that, when they find out her mother's in jail. Oh. Here you are. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You will not guess what I've spent all day thinking about. How you could be related to a fella as handsome as me. <laughs> Might have been once. No, just... What an amazing coincidence it is that we've met up like this. Oh. I mean, or is it coincidence? Might there be some force that's controlling our lives that's brought us together for a purpose? Well, you never know, dear. And what sort of purpose did you have in mind? Oh, I don't know, really. I, I think we would wait for that to be revealed. Right. Mm. Well, while we're waiting for this revelation, why don't you get two more cups of tea for us and have one yourself, if you like? Oh, is that all right? Oh, yes, the proprietress has left us in charge. Oh, right. Are all your new family as daft as that one? Oh, I hope not. I'm well with you there. And, um, as you can see for yourself. Well, you always knew we had to do that sometime. Not today. What's happened to the house we're supposed to be buying that we haven't bought? Well, maybe the bidding went higher than we could afford. Bob and Janet weren't even there. James! Whoa. We don't think there was. And they're definitely not here, so where are they? OK, look, leave it with me. No, she can't do that. She's got to go and tell her dad. No, Shan, I don't have to tell my dad yet. Something. Look, don't worry. I'll go round to the house. There's always somebody there. And I'll be as quick as I can. Are we going to be stopping here all night? No. Well, we could all be out of here much sooner, can if you were to lend a hand. There's nothing else to do. Oh, but... Clean the basins, wipe down the shelves. I'll do all that tomorrow. It's OK, Gran, I'll do it. No, thank you, David, no. But it's not OK, actually. Because, quite frankly, Kylie, unless you start displaying a totally different attitude, I think you and me have got to have a serious discussion about whether you can carry on working here. Oh, oh, hi, am I? Sorry, have I come at a bad time? They're all bad times. No, 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 you haven't. I just wondered if you fancied a drink. Oh, I certainly would. And you couldn't have come at a better time. Right, I'm going. So wipe down what you like and you can leave what you like. Because, frankly, life is too short for this. Or well, mine's certainly going to be if it carries on much longer. Come on. Bye. See ya. Right, fair off and all. No, no, no. Listen, listen a minute. Oh, David, don't start shouting at me. Look, I'm not shouting at anybody. 
All I'm saying is you want us to look for a place on our own, don't you? I do, yeah. Right, so we're going to need some money and we're going to need two incomes which this place gives us. So if you screw this up, you can pretty much forget about moving out of my mum's. When I was first married to your father, I did nothing but fall out with your grandma Ivy. What are you saying? You're turning into her? No! Look, no! <laughs> no! I'm just saying... I... You act just like her? I don't think I'm as good enough for David, and she sees me as finding fault with her all the time. Well, look, one of you's right, and it's not her. Hi, you two. Oh, hi. Hi, Pam. Evening. We're just talking about Kylie. Oh, please, no, no. I have had Kylie up to here. Gail, I'm sorry to have to say this, but that girl has absolutely no manners and no sense. I feel really sorry for David having to put up with her. Funny you should say that, because Mum was just saying it was her fault. I was just trying to see things from her point of view. Look, I like to see the best in people, especially the ones I work with. Right, of course. But her, I can't, and I refuse to say that it's my fault when it's not. It's hers. Oh, thank you. Now I'm going to sit down before I fall over. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> we could have a big reunion, say at Christmas. Oh, you better get your turkey ordered. Well, oh, whenever. I mean, it doesn't have to be at Christmas. Uh, excuse me, I'll just pay a visit. <laughs> now, Dennis and I, we're going to go and have a drink in the Rovers. Oh, can I come? No, and it's best if you don't tell him I said that, because he might think, you being his niece and everything, that he has to invite you. Oh, no, no, he doesn't have to. No, no, that's how I see it. Right, well, while we're waiting, why don't you get those cups washed up? You look in the paper, and there's hundreds of houses for sale, but the closer you look, you realise why they're for sale, because they've all got something wrong with them. Well, there's no hurry, is there? Yeah, I don't want you thinking we're taking root, you know. You'd never get rid of us. Oh, hey, you two. Hi. 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 Hey, Jack's just been asking about you. Oh, we've, um, we've been out. We've just been to the soup kitchen. Bring us any back? <sighs> yeah, you keep saying that. <laughs> oh, no, I've not got many jokes. <laughs> right, I'll put the dinner on, but it might be half an hour, maybe a bit more. Were well, you going to tell him or what? Shh! Shan, I'm waiting for James. What is he going to say that are going to make things any different? Look, right, if they haven't bought the house... Which they haven't. Right, well, we'll just ask them for my money back then. How old do you know, Grandma? I'm 56, but looking 40. Oh. Oh, Peter, please. Well, she does. Well, you must know some really dodgy-looking 40-year-olds. Uh, do you mind? That wasn't very nice. No, it wasn't. Mummy enjoys it. Yes, I think she does. <laughs> <laughs> you know... When we're all together like this... It's we're scary. not, though. Uh, well, apart from James, I know. You know, I don't know why people celebrate birthdays, cos oh, it just means you're getting older, doesn't it? <sighs> so what would you do? Ignore him. No, I'm just saying, look, when we're all together like this, it or really... Ma- at least say that your birthday is the one day that you're allowed to be miserable. Shut up, everyone. Brenda wants to say something. Thank you, Simon. Except don't tell people to shut up. All right. So go on. No, no, I just say, you know, when we're all together like this, I mean, you realise that family is what matters more than anything else in the world. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for once, I agree with you. Mm, wonders never cease. Yeah, but family meaning people who've grown up together, supported each other. As opposed to what? As opposed to somebody just turning up saying we're related. Oh, well, yes, true. Yes, yeah, of course, love, yeah. Hi. I think... You might be right, there is something peculiar. Oh. Have you talked to them? I can't find them. They're not answering their calls. Their house is deserted. So you're telling me they've taken all the money we've collected and just done a runner? It looks like it. Well, this is terrible. Look, I'll just find them, but look, I've got to get back. It's Deirdre's party. Oh, yeah, thanks. Shut up. Look at Do you remember that that money that we tried to raise to buy that house? Mm-hmm. And I said there was nothing doing. So you thought you'd try again. Is that what this is about? Will you just listen? Go on. Well, what happened? I'm really, really sorry. Oh, goodness me. It can't be as bad as all that, can it? Go on. I, um... I took some money. I wasn't... I wasn't going to keep it. And... I, 
I just thought I was borrowing it. For what money? Come on, Sophie, spit it out, whatever it is. I'll tell him. She took £3,000 out of your bank account. What? No. Yeah. What do you mean? Just fuck it? How? I transferred it. It's on your computer. What, you transferred £20,000? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Oh, I can't believe this. You transferred £20,000 out of your dad's bank account into the charity's bank account. Yeah, she did. Yeah, well, it could transfer it straight back. Tonight! Now! I swear it gets a bit worse. No, it can't get a bit worse. Yeah, it can. How can it get worse? They've... They've just disappeared. Who's just disappeared? People that ran it. A couple that ran the whole thing. They've just... They've gone, and it's not just your money they've taken. We think they've taken everything. Gonna do? I'm gonna ring the bank, that's what. <laughs> oh my she's not thanks for coming. Hi hey. hey, Jess. Hey. How are you? All right. How's Hope? She's behaving herself. Oh, well, she's for right. Him and her are getting on like an house on fire. <laughs> How was she last night? Well, uh, we did what you said and gave her a late feed about ten But that's not why we're here. Well, yeah, it's about all, but it's not just to tell you how she's getting on. So what is it to tell me, then? Well, you know that me and Roy will look after Hope as long as you like. But she'd be better will. off in here with you, Fizz. Well, we just think it's something that we need to talk about. And anyway, wouldn't you rather have her in here? I mean, I don't get this. One day you can't stand being parted from her, and the next day you don't want her anywhere near you. You were stealing from your own father. No. I don't... She thought of it as stealing. Well, then she should have. I know, Mum, I know. Did she get through? Yeah, eventually. And, yeah, £20,000 gone out my account. I'm so sorry, Dad. Yeah, of course you are. Sorry you got caught out. She didn't get caught. You! Stay out of it. Sean's right. At least she admitted it. Yeah, because she had to. Do you think we'd be having this conversation if those crooks hadn't run off with her money? No, I don't think so. That's because you would have got it back. Yes, and I'm going to. And what about my ladder over there, eh? James, what does he think? Nothing. He's been trying to find out what's happened and all. Yeah, well, maybe I should go and have a word with him myself. That's not going to solve anything. Oh, really? So what do you think I should do, eh? Just say, oh, it doesn't matter. Do you know what you've done? This is a serious crime you've committed. She knows that now. Oh, God! God, I'm pleased to hear it. <laughs> when Hope grows up, I don't want her ever finding out she's spent part of her life in prison. She wouldn't know. No, but I would. All right, so you can say it for my sake. I've got enough to contend with in here without having to worry about her as well. Yeah, I can't understand that. I don't know what you're saying. What who's saying? Them, in the cafe tonight. What, Rose's mum and Dennis? They think you're using being in here as an excuse for getting rid of Hope, because you don't want to look after your own baby. Oh, surely not. Do you believe that? I didn't then. Nobody does. But when are you saying that you don't want her in here with you? I don't know, do I? I do want her. I want her so much, it's breaking my heart. I just don't want her in this horrible place. It might be horrible, but it's the only place you can have her with you. Oh, forget it. Do what you want, Fizz. I'm going. No, Chesney, no, come on. Can I get out? Somebody. You can go home, you know. You did finish work more than an hour ago. And have another argument with David and his wife? I thought you decided that was all your fault. Well, I've changed my mind. Your gran's right. Kylie's a nightmare. As soon as she moves out, the better. <laughs> uh, now, listen. Uh, say no if you want to, but why don't we go back to my place and I'll cook us a nice meal? I can say no, honestly. Well, if you want to. No, yeah. I don't want to. have to. Business. On a Friday night? Mm. I've got a budget of wine tasting in the Parsons' arms, which, believe me, is even less glamorous than it sounds. Oh. I I'm really, really sorry. Mm. 
so am I. Dad, don't! Dad, James, I know any more than we do! Does he not? No, Mum, stop it! No, I will not. I'm sorry, Sophie, but I'm with your dad on this one. I'm going with you. No, you're not. You're staying inside and you can keep an eye on the baby. Well, what's he going to tell everyone? I'll have to the money. I don't know what he's going to tell everyone. Get inside. Oh, everyone will think I'm a thief! Oh, come on! Hey, Kev, I want to talk to James, if he's in. Yeah, yeah, he's in. Come in, Sally. Oh, hello. Hello. Hey, if you've come for your tea, I think you're a little bit late. It's him I've come for. This is about Roof and Refuge. Oh, you do know? I only know what Sophie's told me, and I am sorry. 20,000 quid out of pocket, yeah. 20,000! What's this, about 20,000? Yes, what is it? What's going on? That's what we want to know. Him and his gang of con men, persuading young kids who don't know any better to leave money for... Whoa, whoa, hang on, Kev. Yes, I think we should. No, Would you no, calm no, down I... if you've just been mugged for 20 grand? I want to know where that money's gone. I haven't a clue. I only wish I did. All right, look, just hang on, hang on. Just come through. Yeah. All right, look, what, what is this all about, eh? What's going on? The couple who run the charity... It's yeah. not a charity! It's a complete enough to con has been all along. Wow. Look, we don't know where they are and there's money seems to have gone missing. Never mind seems. It has. Missing from my account. And you're accusing James of having taken it? Oh, not impersonally, no. No, I, it wasn't. Sophie's admitted it. Yeah, but he's the one who recruited him. He's the man behind it all. All right, all right, all right. Let him speak. Look, okay, we've heard from you. James, go on. Yeah, what do you know about it? No more than anybody else does. You I, must know. I... Well, why are you saying that, Kev? Can you prove it? I can prove the money's gone, yeah. Yes, but are you saying that James has taken it? I'm saying he must know something about it. Who's taken it, where it's gone. And he's saying that he doesn't, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, sorry this has happened, but uh, I'm afraid I don't see how we can help. Yes, me neither. Oh, come on, Kevin. I'm going to find that money. And when I do, I'll be back. I'm sure. Yeah, only next time. Bring some facts with you, eh, Kev? Yeah, all right, Peter. Well, yeah. Well, this is suddenly turned into the best party ever. You all right, James? Yeah. Just some... Sorry it's all happened on your birthday. Yeah, just one question. Are you liable to end up in trouble over this? I don't know how anything's going to end up. I mean, honest to God, I don't really know what's happened. Mm, well, I'm not really sure we can believe that. But Kevin has lost £20,000. That's true, isn't it? I think it probably is, yeah. Well, no wonder he wasn't happy, then. We're going to carry on playing or what? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes, of course we are. Um, who's, um, whose move is it? Uh, it's me. Uh, right. Two of diamonds. Three and chips. Oh. Chesney, we're just upset. Like we all are. All I ever wanted was to get married and have a baby. And be like other people. Now I've lost everything. No. You've not lost hope. She'll, she'll be here waiting for you when you come out. I wouldn't want her waiting. Not if I'm going to be in here for years. But you won't be. Hey, if they find me guilty, I want you to bring her up. I don't want her even knowing who her mother was. All right. <laughs> And thanks again for the meal idea. It would have been wonderful. Look, there'll be over time. I do hope so. I really do. Well, <laughs> I don't normally do that in the yeah, street. Me neither, but uh, I don't mind making an exception. Good night. Bye. did James say? Exactly what you'd expect a con man to say. That he knew nothing about it. Because he didn't? We'll see. In the meantime, I've got to say, Sophie, how... Well, how disappointed we are. Disappointed? Let down? Betrayed? I'm sorry. You were the daughter we could trust. We can't ever trust it again. And this isn't the end of it, either. It's come tomorrow. I'll be ringing the police. You shouldn't be able to transfer 20 grand just like that. Not without doing any checks. Look, it's not my security what he's looking at, pal. He's going to ask you if you calm down. I'm perfectly calm. What did the bank say? They can't do anything unless they get the police involved. 
Kevin, we've been through all this. Yeah, well, she stole 20 grand. Yeah, and she's your daughter. Yeah, don't remind me. But I know what she did was... Unforgivable. It was very stupid, but she's really sorry. Oh, so that makes it all right, does it? No, of course it doesn't, and she does need to be punished, but you can't report your own daughter to the police. Happy birthday, Mum. Oh, thanks, love. Oh, Sal. Oh, forget it. Oh, you already did. Look, I'm sorry, but it's hardly surprising, is it? Given what's happened. Well, I must say, love, it's nice to see your smiling face this morning. Oh, sorry I've been a bit mardy this last few days. Something changed? No, not about Stella. No? What then? Nothing, it's just... Well, life goes on. More important things to worry about. You're going to be all right at this sleepover tonight? Not a baby. That's you told. Hmm. Listen, you don't mind if I head into town this afternoon, do you? Or we could have an afternoon in, make the most of his nibs being away. <sighs> no, I'd just rather have a bit of girls' time on my own. Is that right? Yeah, of course, love. Whatever you want. Thanks. See you later. See you in a bit. Oh, I, I say, here. I uh, hear treachery is afoot in the Barlow household. Sorry? Uh, this charity, you know, the one James uh, was working for, I've been told it was all a front for some criminal network. Norris, James had nothing to do with this, right? And I don't care what Kevin Webster says. You know, I, I never had Kevin down as being that generous. It wasn't Kevin. It was Sophie. Eh? Look, I've... I've said enough. Oh, Grey, I'm starving. Excuse me. You all right? That was mine. Well, it's not hard to make some more, is it? Any tea on? Yeah, stick kettle on, Mum. I'll pour it. Oh, fiddlesticks! Could you iron my shirt and all? Right, that's it. I've had it. You've had what? Anything you want doing in this house from now on, you do it yourself. Cooking, cleaning, the lot. I'm not cleaning, but I have to have used it. Hey! You'll have to. And if you want your own place, I suggest you get used to it. Well, where are you going? Cafe. Someone's going to cook me breakfast for a change. Well, what about my shirt? Ask your wife. Don't even think about it. I feel such a fool. You want to know they were con artists. I feel I should have seen through it. But they were so plausible. Oh, I suppose that's what they do. Take advantage of the gullible. Perhaps I could try and be a little more constructive, love. Well, it's true. I'm sorry, James, but you know what they say. Never look a gift horse in the... No, that's not right. Anyway, look, you mustn't feel guilty. None of this is your fault. Oh, thanks. Buyer beware, that's it. I think you might be trying to say a fool and his money are soon parted. Yeah, maybe. Have you got 20 quid, Ken? I need to go to Fresh Goes. Oh, it's beautiful, so. Thanks, Mum. Shine out the picket. No, it really suits yourself. Well, oh, thank you, girls. So that's it, a cheap necklace and everything's forgiven. Kevin. 20 grand you stole off me, 20 grand. I didn't mean... Of course she did. No, Dad, I thought he was going to give it back. Well, I don't care, he's still stealing. Right, well, I am sorry, OK? I am sorry. What else do you want me to say? That was my deposit for the flat. Jack's nest egg. Give her a break, Kevin. Well, just because he's not your kid. And what has that got to do with anything? Well, if it was your nest egg, a rose is, you won't be so blasé. I'm not blasé. I'm just <sighs> as angry as you are oh, about yeah, it. Oh, yeah, you're lucky. I just don't think shouting at her is going to do any good. You may as well cry, little fella. After what your sister's done to you? Quite finished. I'm taking him to the crash. And as for you, I haven't even started. <laughs> uh, what gets me is this idea that man means slave. And just because you give birth to them doesn't mean you owe them your life. Yeah, well, um, despite all that, I mean, there is this bond between mother and child that nothing can break. You reckon? Yeah, yeah, I do. Right now, I wish I'd never had kids at all. My life would have been a dance like more pleasant. Oh, I said, well, now, thank you both so much for turning up. Thank you for making such an effort, David. Sorry, Gran, what happened again? Not thinking of stepping into my domestic shoes, though. Why should I? I'm no housewife. I'm a feminist, me. Oh, Mrs Pankhurst would be proud. Who is she, my first client? Oh, you think you've scored one against me? Well, you haven't. Me and David are a modern couple, which means he does the cleaning, not me. What? Because I'm a working woman. Yeah, well, I'm a working man. Stop being such a chauvinist. Hang on! It's like women's live never happened to you. 
Well, I only asked you to iron my shirt. Because I'm a woman. No, because... Because what? Because he's too lazy. Yeah? No, hang on, that's not right. Good. So you can make me a brew, then? Yeah, I'll have one and all. Me too. Yeah, go on, then. <sighs> right, better get back. Everyone's allowed a coffee break. Not when they're short of orders, they not. Are you still beating yourself up about Sandish? No, not beating. Kicking's more like it. Carly, your mum died. Cut yourself some slack. Slack doesn't get them more business out, does it? Well, lucky for you, I've got a lunch meeting tomorrow with a business contact, very big in briefs. Oh, well, he sounds like my kind of man. Yeah, I happen to know that the factory that usually supplies him is going bust, <gasps> so why don't you join me, cos he could put a lot of business our way. Ah, uh, I can't. I meet my brother. I've got to talk about the mum's will. Or lack of it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so, man, it's going to be haggling over the bed sheet she died in. You want me to come with you? What about the meeting? And change it. I'd like to be there for you. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you're best off steering clear. You know what I'm like when I'm angry. Get back. Sorry, it's a packet, mate, but that's clutches for you. Yeah, my daughter rides it all the time. It's costing me a fortune. Well, you're talking to the right man there. Kev knows all about that, don't you? Don't listen to him, mate. You have a good day. I'll bring up my private life in front of customers. You just make sure that goes in the business account, right? Because I'll be checking. Meaning what? Meaning now you're short of cash again, you might start getting ideas, eh? Don't put me so. Oi, oi. It's a private fight. Can anyone join in? I'll go for you, Come on, bring it on. Give it your best shot. Come on, let's get it all out in the open, shall we? Is that it? Blimey. Jeremy Paxman has got nothing to worry about. Lost? No, but I could be. Tommy. Amber. So, Amber, what brings you around here? Baby! Hi, man. Yeah! Ready for me lunch? Oh, when I've seen one client, Carla. I've got another till two. Well, maybe you could do a stock check or even the washing or. Audrey, please don't have a pill. Us women, we have to stick together. Oh. Morning, all. Not interrupting, am I? Only a very pointless conversation. Anyway, yeah. How are you today? All the better for seeing you. Um, I wanted to ask you if you're free for lunch. I certainly might be. Good. Rovers? Just give me 15 minutes. I'll see you there. You sly dog. What? Oh, just a friend. Just... Gran. I'm busy, David. Are you going out with Mark? Going out with Mark? No. But anyway, that's my business, thank you. I'm sorry for caring. Oh, now, I'm a big girl, sweetheart. Well, I know there's not much choice at your age, but come on. Excuse me? Well, you know, you, you're well-preserved. You don't have to jump on any bus that comes along. Uh, like you did, you mean? What? Well, just because you chose the creature from the Black Lagoon doesn't mean the rest of us will. <laughs> See, Mrs. McCartley. Sean. Sean. I'm trying to do my work. Sophie, you, why are you being like this? Because I need to get my coursework done. Well, you've not said a thing all morning. So? I thought it was on my side. Oh, Shan, look, you wanted to give to that charity just as much as I did. I didn't steal money for it, though, did I? Yeah, well, I thought we was going to get it back, and you know that. That isn't an excuse, Soph. You sound like my dad. Yeah, well, on this one, he's right. Shan, just because I'm your girlfriend doesn't mean I've got to support you no matter what. Well, yeah, it does. That is exactly what it means. Oh, well. That's what you want in a partner. Then you're best off getting a dog, aren't you? Where are you going? The library. Well, what time will you be back? I don't know. Late. I'm not cooking, David. End of. Right, well, I'll do it then. Defrost first. Is this defrosted? No. Sack this. Come on, we'll go to chip it. Hiya. You're not due to take over till three. Sweetheart, I have got a surprise for you. You finally fixed the washing machine. Better. Hello. Hiya. <laughs> Amber. How lovely to see you. Dad told me you were back together. Yeah, yeah well, uh, a lot's happened since you last year. Yeah, well, I gave her the short version, didn't I? I'll get this. 
Anyway, you look really well. That bit of extra weight suits you. Oh, you yeah. look well too, David. Yeah, so do you. <laughs> well, you know, you look different. I'll take it, that's a compliment. It is, it is. <laughs> I'm Kylie, his wife. Really? Is this the same David Platt who said he'd never have a ball and chain? <laughs> She's not a ball and chain. Um, trouble and strife, then? Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. We've got to go. Keep your eyes and hands to yourself, yeah? Nice girl. What made you decide to surprise us like this uh, without phoning first? Are you not pleased to see me? No, of course she is. The wonderful surprise, babe. Best crack open the bubbly then. <laughs> bubbly. Uh, have you had your hair done? Yeah, this morning at Audrey's. Hey, she's good, isn't she? Yeah, she's all right. I don't go there myself. Oh? No, she's a bit heavy-handed for me. You want to try Claudia, now she is a lady. Whereas Audrey just thinks she's one. Hey, afternoon, ladies. Hi, see you later. See you. Oh, at least somebody in your family is still giving me the time of day. <laughs> hey, do you know what? Leon was really cheery this morning. I think she's coming round. Oh. Did she say anything? Well, no, not exactly, but it's something different, I can tell. Oh, God, Peter, I hope so. Well, you hang in there. Honest you, love. All right. Is it true, then, this charity of yours is a fraud? It is not his charity. Look, I feel terrible about what happened. And he knew nothing about it. And mind your own business. It is my business, because I've been taken in, too. What are you on about, Norris? I bought a brunch voucher at that auction. My money's been stolen, just like Kevin Webb's. Oh, for goodness sake. And what about all the other people who bought something? It's not the same, is it? Poor old Dennis. Take like that. You made a right patsy out of James him. is as much a victim as anyone. Well, I'm amazed you've got the nerve to show your face in here, and you two shouldn't be supporting him. But you know, I'm up to here with a whole pack of them. And now I'm going to shut up because I must be boring you senseless. Not at all. <laughs> oh, you are too kind, Mark. <laughs> Maybe I have an ulterior motive. Ooh. How about I take you out this evening? A proper date? Uh, well, actually, I don't want to rush things. Right. No, it's not because of you. It's just... Well, I don't trust men very easily just now. You don't have to make the excuses. Uh, honestly, I don't blame you. Honestly, Mark, it's not because, you know... No, please, that can't believe me. Look at him. Look at him. Drinking a pint, bold as brass. Who? James... Barlow. Well, is it Barlow? I don't know. What with him being a love child. Sorry, I've got to go. Why? Uh, urgent business call, Italy. I should have made it hours ago. I'll speak to you uh, soon. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Was that, was that me? Uh, no, Norris. For once, I don't think it was. Uh, what is it you're studying again? Law. My baby's going to be a hotshot lawyer, aren't you, honey? Yeah. Yeah, but it's got to be criminal, right? Because that's where the money is. Mind you, business law has got to be good these days with all these firms going bust, yes? I haven't decided yet. Right, OK. If I wanted to cut my employee's pay, do I have to give a reason, legally speaking? Dev. Just hypothetically speaking. I don't know. <laughs> Can we give it a rest? It is the holidays. Yeah, I'm sorry, Angel. I am sorry. I'm just so excited to see you. So I take it this is just a flying visit before you head off somewhere nice with your mates? Actually, mm -hmm. I was thinking of sticking around. Oh. How long for? Rest of summer, yeah. if that's cool. Well, of course that's cool. But we haven't got the room. Yes, yeah, so we'll make room. I mean, I'll show an idea they can share, yes? Why should they? No, if she's going to stay, she's going to have to sleep on the camp bed in the front room. What? Or the floor. Dad! But it's comfy. Camp bed is... it's comfy. Sorry. Same again. Oh, yeah, go on. <clears throat> Everything all right? Being better. Well, if it's any consolation, I love my hairdo. I've had loads of compliments. Thanks. Well, at least that's one thing I haven't messed up today. Oh. Hey, man. Hi. Don't tell me they're driven you out of the salon. Uh, no. Uh, what's up then? Oh, yeah, I think I've been an idiot. Why? What's happened? Mark. I think I might have driven him away. So he's not just a friend? Yes, yes, he is. It... I think he wants more. And you don't? No, I think I do. <laughs> then what's the problem? But we did. It's complicated. Ma'am, from what I've seen of Mark, he's a gentleman. He's kind, attractive, solvent, and obviously really likes you. We both know men like that don't grow on trees. Oh, that's true. I think you should go for it. 
do you? What, what have you got to lose? My heart, dignity, my savings. <laughs> I don't think you need to worry about your savings this time. If you really like him, why don't you just go on a date and see what happens? Just put a fence around your heart, eh? Just for a while, till you're sure. You're right, love. Thank you. Hey. What'd you buy? Just a couple of tops. Oh, no, it's not a Oh, no, no, no. I'll, uh, I'll uh, show you later on. Hey, are you, uh, are you feeling all right? Yeah. Well, I've just got a bit of an headache. Crowds in town, you know. Oh, well, uh, go and have a lie down, eh? Hey? Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Silencing! <laughs> go on, Kev, let it out. Hey, imagine it's then with all your money. Somewhere hot, drinking cocktails. Having the time of their life. All thanks to the Bank of Webster. <laughs> hey, Norris, you see that? That is a man on the edge. Well, I don't blame you, Kevin. I was in the Rovers early with that James and I told him to his face. I said, what about poor old Kevin, eh? All that money gone just like that. Hey, up, he's blowing a gasket. Come on, then. showtime. Oi! Have you heard from your mates yet? Who? You know who. Let me rip me off. They're not my mates. Leave it alone. 20 grand you lost me. It wasn't my thought. Give me my money back. I haven't got it. I don't believe you. I reckon you put Sophie up to it. I didn't. I said it. You brainwashed my daughter. She was a good, responsible kid till she got involved in your cult. We were just trying to help people. Help yourself. Better do something. Right. No, I'll leave do them to something. it. Get off it. Don't just shout. Hey, 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 Come on, come on, come on. Someone's going to pay for this. Yeah, well, James, they're just as much a victim as you. Yeah, we'll see what the police has to say about that. But I'm really sorry. Yeah, you will be. You're right. Lee? Weatherfield Police Station. Dad, what are you doing? What I should have done yesterday. Mummy's ringing the police. Kevin, what are you going to tell them? The truth, but she stole my money. But you can't. Uh, put me straight through. Um, stop him. Oh, give me that phone. Oh, Dad, please. Kevin, why are you doing this? Because she needs to learn a lesson. And so does that James. They're not the villains here. Uh, yeah, I'd like to report a theft, please. Oh. Audrey. I'm sorry. I thought you were the cam. No, it's Argo. Wait, no. Come inside for a moment. Please. You look stunning. Well, if you're expecting me to say the same about you, then... I'm still Mark. I can't do this. Why not? Well, because I want a man who I can look at and find attractive. He's here. Not in a wig and eye heels, he isn't. I thought you understood. Yeah, I do. I do. Sort of. As a friend, fine. But anything else, no, I'm sorry. Audrey, you're a wonderful woman, and I'm deeply attracted to you. And if you want to be friends, then fine. But I'd be lying if I said that that was all that I wanted. I never thought I'd get to this stage and be saying to a man, I don't know what to do. Probably never thought you'd meet a man like me. Yeah, true. Listen, just come out with me this evening. A tester. What, like that? There's this friendly bar that I go to with people who know Marcia. Look, no pressure. No expectations. Just friend. Well, I've spent hours getting ready. Seems a shame to waste it, I suppose. I feel exactly the same way. Why didn't you tell me, love? Well, because I wanted to be sure first. How would you feel if I was? How do you 
you think I'd feel? Hmm? Our own baby. Hmm. Please, God. Why don't you go and do the test, eh? Tell her. What's stopping you? Oh, I've just been so happy these last few days, thinking I might be. I'm, I'm just scared of bursting the bubble. Wish me luck, then. Good luck. <sighs> oh, good! The police. OK, you've made your point, Kevin. Just send them away and tell them it was all a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. Well, it's a bit late to be thinking of that now, isn't it? Oh, you can't do this. You can't report your own daughter to the police. Watch me. An officer. Do you know what, officer? I think we might be wasting your time. Is that right? What I mean to say is this is probably a domestic matter. Come again, Sal. Those scumbags, they practically groomed our daughter. That's a slight exaggeration, Kevin. All right, what would you call it then, eh? They lured her in with some sort of sob story, filled her head full of rubbish, and the next thing we know, she's packed a job and working like a slave. This is correct. Young lady, I'm asking you a question. Is what your dad's saying true? Sort of, yeah. Right. Well, now we're getting somewhere. I knew it was sus at the beginning. Excuse but me, sir. Was... I'll take it from here. Did you have a chance to look at that leaking tap? Hmm. And? No, oh, it's just the, the washer, like I said, you know. Right. So can you fix it? Yeah, yeah I'll fix it. Good, because it's yes, really I'll not... Yes, I will fix it. Right, OK. How much longer is oh, it? It's goes? a minute, it's a minute. A minute. <sighs> Didn't think I'd feel like this. So I'd feel a bit more excited. How do you feel? Oh, I'm not sure. What, you're not feeling anything? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling something. I'm just not sure what it is. Well, that wasn't the reply I was looking for. Well, look, you were the one that said you weren't excited. Yeah, I said that because I didn't want to freak all you right. out, did I? Shh. Yes. It's all new to me and all, you know. My head's all over the place here. Lee, don't. This thing hasn't even turned blue yet, love. Well, what if it doesn't? What happens then? I, just let's not go there, eh? You've not even said if this is what you want. Is it what you want? Love, I, I want what you want. That's not an answer, is it? Right. Right. Go on, then. I can't. You do it. You ready for this? Just get on with it. Go on. Please let it be us. Please, please let it be us. Let it be us. We have liftoff. Oh! A donation was handed over when? Um, last Thursday. 7th of July. Check. Cash. I, um, I did it over the internet. Yep, this is the information they gave Sophie. This money, I assume it was a inheritance of some kind? Um, it was a lottery win. Oh, that explains it then. They've probably seen your face in the newspaper. It was my win and it wasn't publicised. Okay. Also need your bank details, Miss Webster. Um, well, it wasn't in her account. It, uh, it came out of my husband's. All right. Now, I'm slightly confused. Which of you made the transfer? Well, I'm waiting. I sent them the money. I don't understand. Five minutes ago, you were telling me how suspect they were. Yeah, well, my little girl managed to convince me otherwise. He's naturally very charitable. Yep. That's me. All out. Bet I'm gonna be fat. You're gonna be beautiful. But fat. <laughs> More of you to love. This is for real, isn't it? This is as real as it gets. Well, we're gonna need a bigger house. Oh, here we go. Three bedrooms minimum and a good size lounge and the garden. A garden's a deal breaker, you know. I'd love a garden. 
Am I getting a bit ahead of myself? Well, uh, just a tad, love, yeah. I just want to think of everything we've been through. Hey, none of that matters anymore. What's in there? That's your focus. So from today, we look forward, OK? Yeah. Yeah. So it's too soon to discuss names, then? Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank goodness that's over. I don't know about anybody else, but I feel like I've aged ten years. Dad, I'll never... Save it! Kevin, don't be like that! Well, I've lied for that, Anna. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have found the police in the first place. Oh, come again, Sal. But I've been robbed in case you hadn't noticed. Yes, I understand that. But causing unnecessary anxiety isn't going to put it back, is it? Yeah, and what about my anxiety, Sal? That toad rag James is swanning round without care in the world. You can't just keep blaming him. Watch me. His name was Toby. Hmm. As in Jug? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you would have so approved. Yeah? He was good looking, mm -hmm. mega hard working. Mm -hmm. Family had tons of money. Well, now you see, there's a man after my own heart. Mm, so we were like. This is it. Mm -hmm. Let's get married tomorrow. <laughs> but you didn't, right? No. no. Do you see a ring? I don't get it. Or a lobotomy I'm scar? Uh, so what happened? Unless it's too traumatic to talk about. His identical twin brother, Theo, is what happened. Ah, matching Toby jokes. As I was saying, yeah. he just showed up out of the blue. No warning, no nothing. There's a lot of that going around. Anyways, all hell broke loose. Right, now, come on, and let me guess, right? Theo is like the evil twin. Not exactly. No. He's more the incredibly fit, fit, really funny, and hard to resist mm. twin. He didn't, um, you know, uh... Honestly, he had these thighs. <laughs> oh, OK, that's way too much information. <laughs> you wanted to know everything I'd been up to? I think he meant uh, without the details. Fair play. Uh, we should do this over a pint anyway. Well, I thought you were tired, babe. I'm never that tired. Wouldn't you fancy a quiet night in? I mean, we could watch a movie. You are too cute sometimes. Oh. Mandy, you are so jammy. Yeah. Uh, oh, hi, you missed all the drama. What drama? What's she about? Kevin called the police. Are you kidding? Yes, maybe I'll finally get what I deserve, eh? No, it's all for when I said that. Yeah. Well, thanks to Bondo. Give yourself another bonus, you flaming parasite. You owe me 20 grand. Kevin, calm down and tell us what they said. Two words. Do one. The delightful Lisa at customer services reckons I've not got a leg to stand on. Well, that's not right. You've got fraud protection. Exactly. The operative were being fraud. I don't understand. The money's left your account. Yeah, but the police think I'm the numpty who's transferred it, so no crime, no compensation. Yeah, you and your mates have turned me over good and proper. Sure, you're okay with this. Oh, wait for a penny in for a pound. Eh? It's not supposed to be an ordeal, Audrey. We can always come back another time. Ooh, we're here like. now. Besides, I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely gasping. Well, look who it isn't. Long time no see, Marcia. I've been hibernating. Ah, oh, I believe you. Thousands wouldn't. Any chance of an introduction? Uh, sorry. What's he like? Uh, Audrey, meet Jasper. Jasper, please meet Audrey. Pleasure. Likewise. Right, yo, then, what's your poison? Uh, glass of white wine, please. Any preference? Um... Shall I have a glass of the excellent Viognier? Good choice. And for you? Make the usual, please. You have a usual? Of course you does. Uh, uh, gin martini, two olives, dry enough to wear. <laughs> Take a seat, I'll bring them over. Ta. See? No one's laughing at us. Thank you. I'm um, I'm sorry for just coming around like this. I was probably the last person you want to see right now. Hey, none of that. Oh, you're always welcome in this house, Sophie. Thank you. I just needed to speak to someone that don't hate me. Your father doesn't hate you. Really? Because he could have filled me. You called the police. They've been around then? Yeah, about an hour ago. What did your dad tell them? Nothing. He just took the rap himself, said he transferred it and everything. Trouble is, the bank aren't going to cough up now. Oh, because he accepted liability? Sounded like it. You know, what was I thinking? You weren't. You were feeling. I've been there myself. Yeah, well, I'm a thief. Don't you dare say that. The only thing you're guilty of is trying to make a difference. Maybe in retrospect it was foolhardy, but life's about rolling the dice sometimes. Yeah, well, I still lost a fortune. 
I'm as much to blame as anyone. No, oh, this is actually my fault. The fault lies with Rob and Janet, or whatever their real names are. Your conscience is clean, kiddo. Not sure I believe you, but it's nice to hear. Come here, you. Thank you. Right, well, we'll leave you to it anyway. Let me know if there are any more developments. I will do. All Thank right. you. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, well, I'd better get back to the rovers. Deirdre's waiting. Well, I'll catch you up. Okay. Bye. We need to meet. I've never seen you so relaxed. This place must be good for you. Your company is good for me. Oh, listen to you. No, seriously, Audrey. You've given me the strength to be myself again. Oh, Lord. Well, if that is the case, then I'm more confused than ever now. Hiya. Ah. I know we're late. Hi. Blame him and his new fancy shoes. Sorry, these things should come with an instruction manual. <laughs> Hi, I'm Anthea. Well, I'm also comfy with Aaron. Just plain old Christine, I'm afraid. <laughs> so, you're the Audrey we've been hearing so much about. Welcome to our little world. Sophie wasn't acting maliciously. Oh, and that makes it all right. She just made a terrible error of judgment. <sighs> How the hell did we come on this cell? I started to think that lottery wins a bit of a curse. It's not about the money. So what's it about? It's not the time. No, come on, you started it. What's it about? OK, fine. It's about us. It's about our daughter having to go elsewhere to look for role models. Whoa, let me stop you there. I've done everything for that girl. Yeah, everything except be a proper father. You need to take a long, hard look at yourself, Kevin. Because if things go on the way they are, you're going to be losing a lot more than a proxy 20 grand. We both are. I just wish Kevin would see beyond the money and realise that James is just as much a victim as him. Yeah, well, I won't hold your breath. Part of me wonders if he should have let Sophie take the blame. You're pulling me like that. Right? Well, you, you have to wonder if that's the way to go. You know, tough love. Sometimes think we've been too soft on our Tracy. Sophie may be 16, but she's still Kevin's little girl. He'd die to protect her. I'm telling you, when it's your own baby, instincts kick in. I'm just saying. OK, so what do you want? A bottle or a glass? Oh, just a glass. Don't really want a late one. OK, um, glass of red and a bottle of lager for me, please, Sean. Coming up. I'm sorry, I don't you guys are back together. Uh -huh. And I don't care what anyone says. I never trusted that Tara. My round, samesies. She's, um... Hyper. Insane. Different. <laughs> Mature. Oh, that's one way of looking at it, I suppose. She just needs time to readjust. Huh? Or a couple of value. It's only for a few months, yeah? Only. Well, honey, I put up with your arms. Well, they didn't try to head shrink me within five minutes. No, they just tried to find you a new husband within five minutes. Since when did you start drinking orange juice? Well, there's that summer cold going around, isn't there? Everybody's getting it. Oh. Yeah, and you know, with the holidays on the way, I didn't want to ask Simon catching out, so I'm just saying. And here's me thinking you might be pregnant. Oh, my goodness. Oh, great. Well done. Oh, come on, it wasn't my fault. Congratulations. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just excited, that's all. Yeah. We chuff that you chuff, OK? But it's yeah, early it's days. Yeah, yeah, we just don't want to tempt it. Yeah. Goes without saying. Our lips are sealed. <laughs> oh, it's like a dream coach. <laughs> Wonderful news. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Evening. You're late. Oh, I weren't aware I was on the meter. I still don't know why we couldn't meet in a bar. Well, the less folks see us together, the better. Besides, I'm not sure we share the same taste in drinking establishments. What's that supposed to mean? You need to chill out, James. Relax. What I need is to get paid. Oh, so much for small talk, eh? Okay? It's three grand there. Three thousand? Don't spend it all at once, eh? This is a joke, right? Junior partner, junior share. Junior partner? I took those idiots for £20,000. You took? I think you need to be reacquainted with the concept of monkey and organ grinder. I want half. 
And I want to share a Cole's phone number, but I'm not holding my breath. I've been at this for months. And I've been at this for years. Before you met me, you were going nowhere. I gave you direction, ambition. You can't buy what I taught you. Come on, Jimmy boy, I don't want to fall out over this. We've got the perfect setup here. Oh, yeah. I take all the risks, you take all the money. Well, if it's any help, think of it as an apprenticeship. A stepping stone to bigger and brighter things. In other words, you're ripping me off. Well, never hurts to taste the medicine once in a while. And as Sophie had the police around her house earlier. Sorry. And the point you're making is? Thought so. I'm sorry, it's just... I really needed this. I mean, I owe people. Well then, you should keep you fully focused for that next business project. You'll be hearing from me soon. I was thinking maybe Bristol or Cardiff next time. Okay. Yeah. Good man. There's plenty more where Sophie came from. You're having a giddy time in that London. It's definitely an experience. I bet you are partying 24-7. I have my moments. Well, don't worry, I won't tell your dad. As far as I'm concerned, you're a model student. He's dead proud of you now. When you went off to uni, we didn't talk about anything else. Really? It's a dad thing. Excuse me, duty calls. Yes, gentlemen. I didn't know you were even trying. Well, not really certain we were. Well, not properly, at least, anyway. So it wasn't planned? Well, it wasn't not planned, if you know what I mean. I mean, we hadn't been using... Well, you know, I think we both subconsciously thought, well, if it happens, it happens. Well, sometimes I think that's the best way. It takes the pressure off. Have you uh, spoken to Janice? No, not yet. Um, what about Stella? Just tell me you're ready for this. <laughs> Ready as I'll ever be, I suppose. I'm just going to have to take it one day at a time, aren't I? So long as you know that we're behind you all the way. Six pound uh, thirty, please. Yeah. So, oh, and Deirdre would like a packet of salt and vinegar, Chris. Yeah, I'll get them. Thanks, sure. I won't be a sec. Oh, thank you. Hey. 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 You off? Yeah, fancy a quiet one, you? Oh, no, I'm just going to have this and get off myself. Oh. That was me thinking that you guys were celebrating. No, no. Well, I couldn't help but notice a little commotion earlier. Leon's looking well. Positively blooming, in fact. <sighs> my, 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 you have been a busy bee. Do you know, in the olden days, they used to drown women like you. Uh, yeah, well, don't worry. Your little secret's safe with me. Assuming it is still little. Yeah, it is. You know, I've only just found out. Yes, congrats, we're in order. Congrats. Thanks. Listen, I better get back. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> okay, home it is. Listen, I've changed my mind. Why don't we go into town? Okay. Any word particular? Why don't you surprise me? Surprise you? Mm-hmm. The world's our oyster. So that's how we met. You're very lucky. Uh, to Audrey. Come in, Audrey. Oh, I'm sorry. It's still so different. You're doing great, Audrey. Trust me. It's always mind-blowing at the beginning. Ask Aaron. I was a complete nightmare. Really? I chucked him out on his ear when he told me. <laughs> it's just that you seem so relaxed with, with it. Now, maybe, but then. Let's just say I embraced every form of bigotry that it inspires. So what changed your mind? Love. I know it sounds dreadfully trite, but it's the truth. The moment we locked eyes, I knew it was second time lucky. You learn to live with it. You mean ignore? Hardly. Then what? I chose to see beyond the frock and the funny looks. Aaron is the kindest, most giving person I've ever met. And Anthea? A tiny price to pay for paradise. It also helps that we're the same dress size. Because with our taste in labels, we'd be bankrupt by now. <laughs> what are we missing? Oh, just girls talk. Mm, I hope Chrissy hasn't been leading you astray. Your wife has been a wealth of information. Mm, I think we're in trouble. <laughs> okay. Never better. 
I'm sleeping on that. Trust me, Annie, this is more comfy than it looks. It would have to be. Yeah. And it's only temporary till we sort something out. Ah, oh, sparse. What's there to sort out? We may do when my auntie stay. Besides, it's only for a month or two, isn't that right? Absolutely. Yeah, but even so, Annie, you don't want to lose. Dad, it's fine. <laughs> I should be grateful that you're even putting me up. It's all about grateful. You're my daughter. It's a pleasure to have you home, isn't it, hon? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you come back at Christmas, I promise you, you will have a sofa bed. Cool. Yeah. The girl's only been back five <laughs> minutes and already you're trying to organise a life. It's all right. Actually, it's nice to be wanted. Oh. OK, so what now? I don't follow. Well, I thought we could crack open some wine, watch a movie... Or go to sleep. It's ten o'clock. Ah, but early to bed and early to rise makes a person healthy, wealthy, and Incredibly dull. <laughs> Come on, guys, the night is still young. And so are Ash mm. and Ardy. Dad, mm. me and you. Hey. Not too late now, because the kids, they usually stir around about six. And when he says stir, it's more like a hurricane. Mm. Good night. Night, everybody. Hey. Thought you were going to join us. Hey. Uh, can face it. Oh, you missed the big news. Leanne is pregnant. Oh, good for them. <sighs> You've nothing to feel ashamed about. If you say so. Look at me. Everything you tell Sophie applies to you. Nobody holds you responsible. I think you'll find Kevin wants to kill me. Oh, that man's a hothead. Besides, he's already whiter than white himself. Oh. No one ever is. Promise me you won't let him drive you away. Promise me that. I promise. You really believe in me, don't you? Of course. You're my grandson. Always remember, this is your home. What's mine is yours. Thanks. So it's good to know. How much did you drink last night? Oh, I'm not shaking. Just didn't get the bottom of this cup completely straight, that's all. Uh, which will please you no end, I'm sure. <sighs> so, what are your plans for today, James? Well, sitting here feeling sorry for myself isn't an option. Anyway, uh, what about you two? Um, pottery class today? Or... No. No, we've got some jobs around the house to catch up with. Oh, well, in that case, could one of you pick Amy up from school, seeing that I've got a job interview? Oh, smash him. Where? At the florist in the precinct. Good luck. Thanks. Actually, I was going to approach them about some vases. Vases? Yeah, to put the flower displays in and just brighten the shop up a bit. I mean, they are unique, after all. They certainly are. Oh, that's right, Ken. Undermine me as soon as I show a bit of talent and initiative. You could mention it at the interview. It might impress them. Ma'am, I really don't want to be relying on your pottery to get me the job. No, better get your feet under the table first. Um, good luck, anyway, and uh, I'll pick up Amy. Oh, great. Cheers. Thanks. Amy, you're going to be late for school, love. Yeah, it'd be nice to be able to pay my way. I'd hate to take advantage of you. Hey. You got my message, then? Uh, no, couldn't have. Left the phone in my desk. Ah. Woke up in the middle of the night, remember, and I put it in my jaw. Hang on, hang on. You have to meet your brother about going through your mother's things, and the Carla Connor, who is never without a phone, mm. leaves it shut in a drawer. What would Freud say about that? He'd probably say, why didn't that bloke stick to selling knickers? What are you doing here, anyway? I thought you had a meeting with the Crowleys. Yeah, well, that's what my message says. I pulled it forward. In case you changed your mind about me coming with you. Oh, um, why? I'm only going because I have to. I thought you might like to have a friendly face around. Oh. Oh. Well, you know, everything that happened at the funeral, it's kind of calmed down now, so... Carla, if your brother is anything like you, it's only going to take one word, one look, for it all to kick off. What are you saying? If you don't need moral support, you might need someone to hold your coat. And it saves relying on taxis. Now you're talking. Come on. Look, look, I'll be home in five minutes, love, and I can feed her then. I'm no way upsetting when she's grizzling, but she's your mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you were talking about the baby, right? I was joking. Look, look, I've got to go. I'll, I'll, I'll see you in a minute. Right, right, right. Mrs. Collins, Mr. Foster. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, just about this time off I've had to look after Hope. Right. Well, Fizzy's still refusing to have her in prison with her. Oh. 
So you left holding the baby, literally. Exactly. So I just wondered if I could have a bit more time off. It can come out of me holidays. Look, you've not been left with much choice, so you do what you have to do, Hayley, OK? Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll, I'll tell Roy. Thanks. Oh, I love it. Well, we're going to need a supervisor unless you want to do it. Not really, no. Sally! <gasps> hey, no! Supervisor's job. Do you reckon you're up to it? Me? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Maybe only for a couple of days till Hayley gets back. Fine. Whatever. Got loads of ideas. No, you we can don't need me. ideas. We just need... We just need to get going, OK? Thanks, Sally. Well, you won't regret it. OK. Just the man. <laughs> oh, but anyone says that about me these days. Well, um, I nipped into town. Got you something. Today's matinee. And apology for... Ruining Deirdre's birthday. Oh, that wasn't exactly your fault. Not even so. And a thank you for, you know, well, everything. Well, you really didn't have to, especially being out of work. Still got a bit of cash. I thought you could get an early bird meal afterwards, make it a bit more special. Oh. You'd have to pay for that yourselves, I'm afraid. You sure? I can't get a refund now. Please. Better go and tell Deirdre. I mean, even if it is only a theatre matinee, she'll want time to get ready. Huh. Very kind of you. Thank you. No problem. Come on, Eccles. Come on. Hi. I'd like to confirm an appointment. 1 Coronation Street, Weatherfield. Do you take the same trouble with everybody's hair as you do with hers? Yeah. Yes. I try and give all my customers the best cut I can. Well, your lad did mine last time. I had to get the scissors out and tidy it myself when I got home. Well, why didn't you say? He does yours, doesn't he? Actually, yeah. Yeah, you can always tell the best hairdresser in the salon. She's the one with the worst cut. There's nothing wrong with my hair, thank you. You can't see the back. Now, can you fit me in this afternoon for a trim with you, Mag? Yeah. Yes, I'm sure I can. At three o'clock. I'll see you then. Yes, fine. Oh, I've never said anything about my hair being badly cut, though. Ma'am, men don't notice anything short of your dyeing it dark green. And he might be very nice, Mark, but he's still a man. But you said you'd pick Amy up. That was before I knew we were going out. Why book tickets for today when you knew what was happening? I was thinking of Ken and Deirdre, Tracy, sorry. Oh, it's too late to rearrange my interview now. Well, somebody else can pick her up, surely. What about you? I can't, sorry. Oh, what's the matter? My daughter not a worthy enough cause for you. You're not the only one with a future to sort out, you know. Shall I go to the cabin for some sweets? Yeah, I mean, it's not every day we get a chance to go to the theatre. Just nothing in noisy rappers. Hi, Steve. Yeah, look, Amy was saying how much she'd like to have a tea with you tonight. No, honestly. Look, why don't you pick her up from school and take her for a burger? Oh, great. Yeah, thanks. Don't worry, everybody. I've sorted it. Oh, you weren't. Oh, hi. Oh, just a few minutes under the dryer now. Well, these things went out with the R. No, no, still very useful. Oh, there you go. Uh, I'll be with you in a minute. Do you want a coffer? What? I, I can't hear a word with this thing on. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, hi. Do you know, when you rang for an appointment, I thought, well, his hair doesn't need trimming. It's a fair count, but I'm too mean to buy my own magazine. Oh, thank you very much. I thought it was me you wanted to see. Audrey, you're a busy woman. I can't expect you to drop everything, just have coffee with me, so I booked an appointment like everybody else. Oh, well, once I've finished with Sylvia, I'm all done. What's that about Sylvia? I am here, you know. <laughs> it's all right. Do you think this style would suit mm -hmm. Marcia? Oh. No, not keen, no. I mean, the colour's quite good, though. Uh, now, that dress is definitely her. You are not serious. Yes, I am. Marcia has got legs that most women would go for. Well, coming from somebody whose legs must have been praised a million times, I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, <laughs> well, not quite a million. <laughs> well, not far off, I'll bet. Listen, I was wondering if I could buy Madam dinner at a friendly neighbourhood bistro this evening. That would be great. You won't forget about me under here, will you? Chance will be a fine thing. <laughs> what? What did she say? Yeah. Keys. Have you seen them? <sighs> Bedside table? No, oh, I've had them today. Well, they'll be somewhere. Are they with your wallet? Mm. Kitchen windowsill. What? Your keys. Have you got the tickets? Uh, yep. Yeah, it's uh, nearly half three. You don't want to miss the bus. I knew they'd be there. Well, why, why did I have them in there? You didn't. 
I was using them to get the lid off a jar. Well, why didn't you use a screwdriver? Because your back door key always works. Oh, well, that explains why I won't turn in the lock. You bent it. Oh. Right, have I got time for the load? Well, can't you go to the theatre? I mean, you don't want to miss the bus. Oh, so. no, no, it's due any minute. You yeah. have to hang on then. Well, have a good time. See you later, okay, love. Okay. Okay. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> See you, Lord. See you. Bye. Bye. It says something, doesn't it, when the box is more valuable than else inside it? Oh, it's not that bad. You were saying? Yeah. You don't reckon he um, spirited away all the valuables before we got there, do you? No. Mother never had out. Never bothered her. Well, that's a lesson to us all, eh? So, you and your brother. Were you ever close as kids? Oh, yeah. When he wasn't throwing darts at me, and I wasn't telling tales about him to mum dead. Must have been made up. Hey, he didn't like me being there, did he? Oh, that's because he can't cope with men in suits. Don't know whether to mug you or call you, sir. Well, it's done now. You don't ever have to see him again if you don't want to. Ah, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. You are, actually. Right, well, I won't keep you a minute. I've drawn up a new rotor, and now I'm supervisor, and we're machinists down. I think that... Yeah, Sally, you are supervisor, so why don't you supervise, OK? I know, I will, but I... Yeah, I'll, um, I'll catch you later. Thanks, Sally. Oh. <laughs> well, you did try and warn me, I suppose. It's the least I could do. Listen, you don't really have to do all this, you know. You can have to make rearranging your meeting, driving me, being there. Well, just wanted to do something. Watching you go through all this, Carly, you know. I don't like feeling helpless. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what, let's make an art of it. We can go to the bistro, we can have a few drinks from there, have a meal in town. On me. How could I refuse? I'm sure he's on his way because it's... Oh, hang on, I think he's here. This number one, Barlow. Yeah, yeah, it's all right, he's here. Simon Shaw, surveyor. Eternally grateful not to have a lisp. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Problem with rampant dry rot. Well, you're here now, so, uh... No, Mr. Barlow. Mr. Barlow's my granddad. He's asked me to, uh, show you round. Last place. I was there three hours. Was I offered as much as a glass of water? <laughs> right. So, uh, what's the procedure? With the survey? Well, uh, with the money. Um, my granddad's quite anxious, old people, you know? Not my department. I do my stuff. Valuation and so on. And then it's over to the money men. Which takes how long? Well, a week or two, I suppose. But uh, £50,000 shouldn't be a problem. Well, unless I find anything serious. Yeah. Grandad's going to have himself a nice little pocket full of cash. Fine. Fine. Freehold? Uh, yes. No subsidence, flooding? Uh, nope, to both. Sounds to me like there's somebody at the door. Um, uh, yeah, right. Don't worry, I won't be nicking the cutlery while your back's turned. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm supposed to be taking Amy for tea. Right. Only uh, Fat Brenda's rung in sick. Sorry? Oh, uh, she sits on the switch at Streetcar. Well, she doesn't sit on the switch. Damage that, of course. Right. And... Uh, anyway, I've got a stand-in for her, so I can't take Amy. Sorry. Hang if on. you want to tell Tracy, I'll do it another day. See you, sweetheart. Hi, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Will you take me for tea? No, no. Oh! I'll, I'll get you some biscuits, all right? Hayley. Hi, Hayley. I've still got it, baby. It's the pulling power of a... something with right amazing pulling power. All right. So, on the bus, drop dead gorgeous guy gets on. And your eyes met? No. Gets into a barn with the driver. Oh. Who is a right job's worth, by the way. Anyway, Clarky, which is his name, I find out later. He ain't natural. But the driver's giving it all. You ain't getting on my bus in that flipping state. Oh. I'm thinking he's gonna deck him. The driver? Oh. 
park it. And then I'm thinking, what a waste that would be, because I'll have them straight down the cot shot to fall down the cell steps. You know what they're like. Not really. So I'm straight up there, straight in between them, get Clarky off the bus. Dead romantic, that really, isn't it? Why don't you go to your room and I'll bring you some of Grandad's chocolate biscuits and some juice? I want to watch TV. Mummy likes me. Your mummy's not here. Go on, for me. Right, finished in the kitchen. Upstairs. Oh, uh, fine. Who's that? Nobody. It's bad to tell lies. It's nobody that's any business of yours. I'm going to tell Mummy you lied. Look, it's a friend, OK? Now, biscuits in your room? Yes, when you get talking, innit? I just thought I've known you all my life. Oh, that's oh, nice. Is everything all right? We, we need some more nappies. Oh, we've only just bought a pack. Yeah, but these don't stick, you see. Have you put nappy cream on her? Oh, of course, yes, to prevent sores and rashes. You've, you've got it all over its tags. No wonder it's not sticking. <laughs> just like his father, completely cack handed. Well, not to worry. Hey, they've told me that I can take off as much time as I like until Fizz gets home. Bet you're right it's glad about good. that, aren't you, Royston? Yes. The only hope she's got is if the jury is full of people as gullible as you lot. Guilty as sin, you mark my words. Oh, hang on. Shouldn't we be telling Sally to lock up for us? Oh, uh, no, I'll text her. I promise. Oh, come on, I can't do serious anymore today. Right. Especially with Sally Webster. Are you sure? I am sure. Um, I believe congratulations are in order. So, congratulations. How do you know? Sorry, I didn't know it was a secret. Did Peter tell you? No. He didn't call round with the news, if that's what you're worried about. The only thing that worries me about you is having to pass you on the street so you know where you can shove your congratulations. <coughs> oh, dusty old loft up there. Oh. Gets you right in the back of the throat. Yeah, occupational hazard. Yeah. So you done? Everything OK? <sighs> All sound. Uh, so the money won't be a problem? Up to the people who write the cheques, that. Uh, right. Grandad moving somewhere else or just cashing in on the equity? I'm not really sure. Uh, here's my card. Uh, if he is moving, he'll need a surveyor to check out his uh, new place. Yeah, oh, great. Well, thanks. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I can tell him the money should be through in a few days. Yeah, report will go in tomorrow. Right. Then it's out of my hands. <laughs> great. Uh, I think I'll call somewhere. <sighs> Get a cup of tea now. Right. Bye, bye then. Mm. Hey, love. Very chilly. Come here. We've got to try this sauce. What's up? Any normal person, any person who gave the slightest thought to his wife's feelings, anybody who wanted the marriage to succeed, would avoid that woman totally. Wait, I have no idea what you're Carla. talking. She just congratulated me on being pregnant. Oh. Oh. Our most private secret, and you have to go and blab to her, of all people. I didn't blab to her. She was in the pub last night. All oh, right, so who told her then? Your dad, Deirdre? No, she saw us celebrating, and she put two and two together. She asked me what I was supposed to do, lie? Anyway, why should I lie? Er, uh, for my sake, Peter. For our sake. Wine OK? Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's nice. It's nice to have quality for once instead of quantity. No, I'm driving. Get in a taxi. Fine. Oh, I hardly slept last night. Oh, so we're gonna cut this evening short, are we? No. I, no, because I was worried about today, you know, with my brother and all that. But you made all the difference, so thank you. Well, I told you. I was glad to. So, now you've got a choice. We can go into town, get a meal, as planned. Ah. Uh -huh. Or, well, I've got a couple of decent bottles of wine at mine. If you fancy a nightcap. You know what, I just marry. You are so unlike all the other men around here, honestly. I mean, most of them would smell sophisticated with an F, and they <laughs> treat that as an insult. Well, I'll take it as a compliment. Another one. I might know anything at all about wine, but I have to say, I could listen to you talking about it all night. Well, that all sounds positive. Is there a book coming? No, of course there isn't. Far from it. In fact, with you, I've got two friends for the price of one, haven't I? And that's still positive? Yes, it is. I like Marcia. She's fun. In fact, she's somebody 
I'd like to get to know much, much better. Nice one, Ailes. She's got rocking down to a T. Spend years trying to get them into bed, and then when they're older, you spend years trying to keep them out of it. I'll say, I could you talk to you about a new friend. What, you didn't tell me his full name. Um, it's Clark, isn't it? So, something Clark, I suppose. That sort of friend. You know as much about friends as you do about kids, so shut uh, it. Uh, and where did you meet this Clarky? Bus. Oh, driving. Or is it too much to expect that he's doing even as menial a job as that? Actually, I think there's quite some skill to driving a large vehicle and deal with the public at the same time. Do you want to write a list of questions for me to ask him when I go out here tonight? Well, I think it's really nice you've met someone. Thanks. Does he know that you're using him to get back at your husband? It's ex-husband, isn't it, as far as I'm concerned? You... I'm going to have to go and get ready. She may be kidding herself, but she's not fooling me. Actually, I don't think she's even fooling herself. Well, I hope you like this. Oh, it's wine. What's not to like? You're certainly in a better mood than you were this morning, eh? And that is down to you. My pleasure. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. You've been, well, there for me. Didn't exactly do it justice. This last couple of weeks, honestly, I don't know what I would have done without you, so... Stop putting yourself down. You're one of the strongest women I've ever known. <laughs> oh, no, that's front, darling. You know, it's your turn. And I don't admit that to many people. I'm honoured. I could uh, make you some tea if you like, anything you want. Will you take me for a burger? Okay. If you promise not to tell anybody about that man that came today. I didn't like him. He said Grandad was moving away. I don't want him to. We didn't mean that. He's nice. But no one should know about him. Why not? Because he's a secret friend. What's the surveyor? What? He said if Grandad needed one, he was one. I'm telling Grandad. No, you mustn't. I'm telling Mummy and Grandad. No, you won't. And you know why? Because my secret friend can take Mummy away again. Like before, back to prison. She's never going back to prison. She promised. Oh, my friend can make her. And Grandma and Grandad. And he will, if you tell anybody he's been here. And you'll be left on your own, with me. Hello. Mummy! Hello, sweet thing. I thought you were with Daddy. Don't go away again. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, Steve let her down. Just dumped her because he was busy. I was trying to cheer her up, but, well, as you see, I'm sorry. Oh, Amy. Oh, come in here, darling. Oh. Oh. Are you OK? Sweetheart. Oh. Coffee? Oh, I see. That's how you handle these situations, is it? Treat me like a stranger. Hey. Of course I want coffee. Never ever refuse coffee. Oh. I need a glass of water and hold on. Uh oh, water. Therefore pleading hangover. Therefore pleading drunk last night. Therefore pleading mistake. Oh. Or I could just be thirsty. Hmm. No. Well, I could take them both upstairs. Have them in bed if you want. Oh, I want. Mm. But you see, the thing is, I've got this high power job and I can't believe. Plus, the guy I work with, he can be a bit demanding. Can he? How demanding? Hello, love. How are you doing? Yeah, fine. Sorry, where's your lunchbox? It's not in your bag. You told me off if I leave it in my bag. It goes green hair. Where is it? It's on the side there. All right, don't you push it. Hey, you're right. 
Don't take you out on him. Don't take what out on me? Close your mouth, son. Yeah, that's right. Listen to your dad. There are right and wrong times to open your big gob, aren't there, Daddy? The gob's not big. Close your mouth while you're eating. Mm -hmm. Right, go get your school bag. Good boy. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? I'm sorry I told Carla. Well, I didn't tell her. She guessed. But she won't say anything. Not quite the point, is it? The point is, if I was going to tell anybody I was pregnant, the one person I can guarantee it wouldn't have been Yes, her. it's Carla. I know. And I'm sorry she guessed. <laughs> According to you. Look, Leanne. You were drinking orange juice, all right? If you don't have a proper drink over there, you may as well be handing out flyers saying that you're pregnant or you're a recovering alcoholic. Look, I am really sorry, OK? But there's no harm done, is there? Now, please, can we get past it, please? Fine. Yeah, can I speak to Michael Shepard in the men's department? It's Ken... Ah! Outside of smoking, I hope. Huh? Well, whenever I see Deirdre skulking outside looking guilty, it's usually cigarette-related. Uh, uh, no, I was just getting some air. Oh, come with the knuckles. Uh, you're all right, man. I've got to watch my image. I'm not listening to this, no way, of course. Come on. Right, do that laugh again. Come on, smile for Daddy, do the laugh. What is this? Take your kids to work, there. What's wrong? Imagine if it was. It'd be chaos. In fact, you'd be behind a sewing machine, Island. I'd have to take you and all. Oh, I, uh... Do you know what? You did this laugh before. It was so funny, but you won't do it again. Sean, you can't get into laugh on order. Hey, yeah, I'll film this. You ready? Watch. I'm doing it now. Please tell me you are not trying to moonwalk. Oh, here oh. you are. Violet's on the phone. Has Dylan even had his breakfast yet? What does she want? Has he had his breakfast? No, what did Violet want? Sean, if you keep filming him, he'll waste away and then you'll have nothing to point your camera at. Come on, fella, let's get you some cereal. Ugh. Yeah, Sean, I can do now. Sean! Sean! It's about a loan I've applied for. Oh. Sure, uh, if you could get him to give me a ring back on my mobile when uh, he's out of his meeting. There's not a problem with it, is there? Uh, no, no. Right, of course, I'll discuss it with Mr Shepard. Right, thanks. Not a phone in Australia, I hope? No, it's local. I'll leave you 20p if it makes you feel better. Look, I just don't know why you don't use your own phone. It's charging. I'm not a freeloader. Oh, well, that's good. Actually, you couldn't lend me a couple of quid, could you? Take it the job interview didn't go well? Yeah, well, I didn't fancy the poxy little place anyway. And I'm not asking for a wage, just a couple of quid for my bus fare. You'll get it back. Oh, where are you off? Oh, does the loan depend on that? I'm only asking. Yeah, well, I'm going into town for a shoe shop crawl. Is that OK, or do you want to see a business plan? Amy at school, then. Why shouldn't she be? No reason. My wife, uh... <laughs> you know what? Forget it. I'll get Steve to get me a free cab. Clearly, you like to do all your... Charity work with strangers. Oh, you're so kind. Every phone call, she's like giving me all the gory details of every medical intervention. I'm like, Violet, please, can we just keep this on a need to know basis? All I need to know is, am I still in charge of Dylan? She's okay, though, yeah? Oh, I. Well, I hope so. She's not asked us to post Dylan back yet. Marx is thrilled. Oh, bless. <laughs> oh, my. I knew it! She could have picked him up on the way in. Glass of bin? No, miss. Because if you pair a jump to conclusions about me and Frank, I'm telling you now, you'd make totally good detectives. <laughs> CSI Weatherfield. What, you mean you two are... Oh, I'm sorry. Have I just ruined hours of speculation? <laughs> Whatever we you find to talk about now. So, um... Does this mean I won't have to try and keep my hands off you all day? You better. Anticipation, Frank. It's half the fun. Shame. Do you want a coffee? Of course you want a coffee. Oh, I'll catch yeah. you. Be easy for your break. This is a break. No, this is heading to school. Picky, picky, picky. Run cocktail crisps for breakfast. That's not a craving. I don't know what it is. Come on, Malay. What is a craving? Oh, it's nothing, sweetheart. It's just a little joke between me and Leanne. Why is Run cocktail crisps a craving? Just ignore her. She's being stupid. So tell me what it is. It's nothing. All right, I'm going to ask my teacher. Miss Parsons, what's a craving? Why don't you just do as you're told and drop it now? Come on, we're going to be late. Oh, Hayley, what, what shall I get you? You, you look... Um... Haggard. 
Uh, tonight, I shall attend to Holt's wakefulness. Oh, you can't, Ray. You've got to open up early in here. Do you know the best invention for sleeping right through? Is this one of them old wives' tales? Earplugs. I didn't hear her once last night. Mind you, it helps that our lodger has gone walkabout. We are hoping Becky will return soon. Have you always been a magnet for waifs and strays? I'm starting to think so. I am family. Could I have a cup of please, love? Of course, I'll toast your tea, Kate. Oh, shouldn't have switched it on. No, have your cuppa. She's crying. Oh, well. What's... Oh, well. Go on. Nothing. Come on, let's hear it. Shall I bring your tea on? I want to know what it is that I'm doing wrong. Look, I'm, I'm not judging you, Hayley. It's just you have to think what you're teaching her. First whimper, you rush to her side. She's training you. She is seven months old, and her mum and her dad have been torn from her. I can't see that ignoring her crying is entirely fair. Slippery slope. I could say the same about taking any notice of you. Mm. Tough love, Roy. Carla is being unbearably chirpy. Ooh -hoo. I do not want to be here when Maria finds out. Why do you reckon she'll be jealous? Maria? Good grief now. In what then? Um. Well, just be weird ones <laughs> Oh, and Blimmin' G. What? <sighs> Search for a star. Fresh girls are looking for their new young face to front the new season of adverts. Boys and girls under the age of four. <gasps> oh, that'll cheer Maria up. How old's Liam? Uh, Dylan? You said yourself he's gorgeous. <sighs> when is it? It's today. Oh, no, this is last week's paper. <laughs> Carla, I need the afternoon off for um, compassionate leave. Who's dying? Me, if I don't get Dylan to search for a star. Work really just is an interlude between dramas for you, isn't it, Sean? I could work through dinner today. No, I... is he? These tea breaks are getting longer and longer. In fact, Sean, round everybody up and get back to work. Please. Oh, come on, Mrs. C, you don't mean that. Why don't you spread some of that lovely new rosy glow of yours? <laughs> now. Now, listen, I don't want you to think I've been researching this all morning. Oh, I. Or that it's a tenuous link. But there's a business conference next week. I think we should think about it. Nice little tax deductible excuse to go away for a couple of nights. What business conference? Maximising human resources. Human resources? It's in Rome. Oh. <laughs> You're prone to be a bit volatile at the moment. How did I know that? How did I know you'd side with Leon? I'm not siding. You can't blame her for being upset about Carla finding out. Not when it's so early in the All right. Enough. Hi, hi. Silence on approach. You make me paranoid. Oh, really? And here's me thinking you could have uh, private conversations in a pub. Should we written down a list of topics and handed them in for your approval? I'm only teasing you, Peter. You have to make me own entertainment when it's quiet. Sorry. You're going to have to be a bit more tolerant if you're going to get through this whole pregnancy. Leanne is supposed to be the hormonal one. Tell me about it. Yeah, well, you've got the easier job. Wait till you're holding a hand in the delivery room. This row is all that's upsetting you, is it? What's that supposed to mean? There's nothing else? No. Well, why should there be? I've got to get back to work with you expecting the dinner time. No, 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 have another, have another. Leanne can handle the punters. She's very capable. Yeah. Makes one of us, then. You don't think you're capable? Is that what this is all about? Oh, come on. This is the most stable you've been in years. You've got me and Deirdre around to help. You fancy starting all over again? I mean, from scratch? Of course. Well... It's not like we've got much choice. No, exactly. It's no choice. It exists now, so decision made. Only there never was a decision, was there? I'm gonna have a fag. I thought I'd sent you all the documentation you asked for. Two utility bills. I thought it was one. <sighs> no, 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 it's fine. I'll um, post it out today. Um, you do return all these documents once the loan's set up, don't you? Okay. Great, thanks. Bye. <coughs> Tracy, I, I thought you'd, um... What the hell are you doing?
when's the next bus? I don't know. So this is where the disaffected youth hang out these days, is it? I don't know. Shan will be here in a bit. So you're waiting for her bus? Are you like one of these psycho possessive girlfriends? No. There's just no else to do, that's all. And besides, I don't want to be at home in case my mum and dad come back for the dinner. You know, I've got no job, no money, and I owe a fortune. Yeah, I heard about that and all. Yeah. Well, I'm paying it back, don't worry. Every single penny. What with? Exactly. Who's going to give me a job now? Tita, where the hell are you? I thought you said you were going to take over here. And why do you always turn your flaming phone off? <sighs> Talking of psycho girlfriends. I don't think I'd like to work in there. Full of gamblers and that. Well, what's wrong with going back to our shop? Oh, yeah, your dad's really going to give a thief a job back in it. You reckon you could refuse his face? You mean you'll talk to him? Family photographs. Well, I didn't even know you lot existed till last year, did I? I wanted to learn more. Right, so you root through drawers of personal stuff. You don't think of just asking? But no one was in. I thought no one was in. I... I didn't know Amy had been sent home. Hey, she wasn't sent home, OK? She wasn't feeling very well. Right, so did you find any of these photographs that were so urgent they just couldn't wait? No, but, you know, if you know where some are... I... Amy, how are you doing? Amy, James asked you how you're feeling. Yeah, I heard you weren't so good at school today. I feel better now. Oh, well, that's great, sweetheart, but you don't need to whisper that, do you? You tell James you're feeling better. Actually, I should go. I didn't realise how late it's got. Oh, well, what about these photographs, then? Not so urgent anymore? Oh, look, I'm sorry I went looking, OK, but nothing's missing. Check if you like. Bye, Amy. Amy? You don't need to be shy of James, sweetheart. I'm not shy. I thought I might, uh... Dip to Portsmouth, you know, just for a few days, catch up with some of the lads. You're just as responsible for this baby as we are. Yeah, I know that. I'm not stupid. I'm only talking about a couple of days just to clear my head. Your wish becomes a week and then you catch the eye of some girl. Next thing, you mess your life up again. Have some faith, will you, Dad? It's a pattern of yours. Look, I just think that... I think Leanne could do with a break from me right now, that's all. You, know, you say you're not stupid. Well, nor am I. You've got cold feet about becoming a father again. It's normal. That's Leanne. I bet she's got misgivings, too. Yes. How do you know? You wouldn't think you lived next door. You could buy a drink some fresh girls. Sit in your own yard. Save yourself a fortune. Does Steve know you're shooing customers home? Hey, someone's put a tenner in the jukebox. At least come and exploit the free music. Now there's an offer you can't refuse. You're behaving like a spoiled child. You said it yourself, this baby already exists. But if you've got doubts, either talk it over with your wife or shut up and get on with it. One or the other. What do you think your dad would say if I took her back, eh? Sorry, Sophie. It's fine. No, it's not fine. That's 2.59, please. Right. You all right, Healer? How much did she say? 2.59. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I can't think straight today. <laughs> Some relationship. I'm sorry? Are you not allowed to make any of your own decisions? That's your change, Hayley Tarr. Thank you. Thanks. And thanks, Sophie. Could do with you following me around today. Sorting me head out. <laughs> no, you cream. See? <laughs> do you have to run every decision you make past Sean? Well, no, but that's... See? Independent. I wasn't saying it was his decision. OK, it's fine. Tried. Okay. Um, she's only after paying her dad back for a mistake. Mistake. Come on. I'm sorry, Sunita, if I've caused any trouble. I wish we wouldn't have gone in now. Shh. Keep walking. Don't look back. Sophie! Bingo. Hey, can I have a quick word? Fine. You can have your job back. <laughs> Thanks. What about Dev? I'll deal with Dev. And in case she's wondering, yeah? It was you who persuaded me, not her. Oh, thanks, Anita. Really, thank you. You're all right. I'd be lovely to have you back. Yes! <laughs> I knew she'd curve. She's such a soft cow. Right, I'd better go find some more good deeds. And save up some karma while I'm in the mood. 
So I can be utterly debauched later. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Connor? Where are you slinking off to? Oh. Oh. I was hoping for a lunch date. There's nothing in your diary. Yeah, well, some of us didn't make it home last night, so I'm going back to freshen up. And surprisingly, I didn't write that in my diary. Mm. I'll give you a lift. Well, and other workers dart off early while we're not looking. No, thank you. Oh, listen. Sorry, I'm not stalking you. I just wanted to let you know I've booked the flights to Rome. <gasps> oh, goody. Well, you can tell me about it in the Rovers and later. Ciao. Ciao. A boy or girl under the age of four to front our new telly ad campaign. Yeah, but fresh goes. Don't be a snob. Dylan can pick and choose Hollywood projects when he's got his portfolio. Oh, a portfolio now. Yeah. Imagine, though. Wouldn't it be lovely to see his little face on an ad on the telly? Well, to embarrass him when he's 16. Of course! Our little dilly daydream preserved forever, but for that witch, Carla Connor. Well, he's in nursery today, anyway. Well, that's that then, isn't it? Opportunity knocked. Meanwhile, little Dylan is too busy blobbing potato prints. <laughs> Don't laugh, it's not funny. It's the dream over. Unless you took it. Hello, right, mate. Hey, Sean, I've got it. Ready? Watch. Oh, go on. Oh, oh, sorry, love. Yes, you will be, young man. <laughs> what can I get you, Jason? Uh, I'll have two bee putties, please, love. All right, I'll take a seat. Cheers. Have you switched this off? Well, Roy's with the baby, isn't he? So? Well, the whole point was for you to have a break. You have no right to mess with this. You're being overprotective. There's too much technology these days. Actually, I'm going to swap back with Roy if he's going to get busy. Anymore. I'll do a stint with the baby. You stop No, down thank here. you. Oh, you don't trust me. Well, we'll need you down here. I'm good enough skivvy, but no great shakes as a mother. Hmm? Hope has been entrusted to us. Is that Roy? Ah. Trust Roy to sing Little Boy Blues for a little girl. <laughs> hey, I could do with that one for my Dylan. I didn't know he knew it. That was one of mine. <laughs> Me, the mother from hell, used to sing to a baby boy. I'd have thought it. Hey, love, everything okay? I'm done, you said. Yeah, right. When's that ever happened with her? Who? Sorry, I'm going to have to close up. Sorry, fella, I'm going to close. Just for two minutes. Sorry. Right. After you finish this, I'm going to take you back to school, OK? No. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's the way of the world. Amy, come on. You said you were hungry. Amy, what's the matter? Is something happening at school? Come on, sweetheart, you can tell me. I don't want you to go back to prison. I'm not. Amy, if somebody said that to you, why would it be going back to prison? If somebody said that to you, then you have to tell me, OK? Look, babe, I can't help you unless you tell me. Look, shall I tell you something about secrets? If you cross your fingers like this and somebody's told you a secret, then you're allowed to tell your mummy. No, it's true. Go on, cross your fingers. Right, so now you're allowed to tell me who's upset you. The man. The man? Amy, what man? James said the man can take you back to prison. And Daddy too. James said that. You're a good girl for telling me, Amy. It's good that I know, OK? So are you going to tell me what this is about? Take a wild guess. Lee, just tell me. Carla. Carla? We've had this flaming conversation. Oh, yeah, I remember it. Don't worry about it, Leanne. No, I'm done. And then she virtually goes and tells Simon about the baby. She tells him? <laughs> virtually. Oh, so she didn't tell him what? She was going on about cravings, flaming prawn cocktail crisps. What did she expect me to say? Well, the size's going to find out sometime. Don't you dare stick up for her. All right, OK. I will have a word. What, with Carla or your son? Oh, my son. Size so my son now, is he? Second class now, there's a, a baby on the way. Come is on, that how it's going to be? Well, that's what it, it sounded like. <sighs> she has no right to get him asking questions. All right. I'll speak with her. You'll stay away from her. <laughs> how am I supposed to get it sorted then? <sighs> she wasn't supposed to know anything in the first place. Oh, what now you want me to do? Go back in time? One conversation, OK? And I will sort it. Yeah, but you're not capable of one conversation, are you? That's a problem with an addict. You're not capable of one anything. Let's just hope this baby takes after me and not you. Peter! 
차! 
And then I met Roger and I thought, oh, new chance, <laughs> last chance. But I couldn't risk Roy. Maybe uh, I was, I was, I was too hard on him. It must have been very difficult. It was. He doesn't really talk about when he was young. Oh, I'm not surprised. It was a time we'd both rather forget. There must have been some good times. No, not really. Even when he was a baby, I couldn't cuddle him. Whenever I picked him up, he'd go rigid as if he was... as if he was resisting me. How do you love a child who does that? Please. Please. Right. We could do it with some more eggs. She didn't mean it, you know. Yeah. She was talking about the past, not now. Like I said, we, we could do it with some more eggs. Oh, do you know, you are both as bad as each other. Pig-headed, stubborn and belligerent and flaming hard work. In fact, looking after hopes a doddle in comparison. Gonna be a long wait, Dills. Still, you can't rush fame, eh? Marcus! Hello. Uh, oh, fancy seeing you here. Hey, Lou. <laughs> Is Sean not with you? No, oh, you can't get the time off work. We only found out about it this morning. Uh, Actually, uh, if you hadn't been reading the Gazette. Yeah, and I would have mentioned it to him, but I just didn't think he'd be interested. Right. <laughs> so, is there anyone else here that we know? Um, no, I don't think so. Looks like it's just these two. Well, may the best man win, eh? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Leanne! Leanne! Um. I will! J just try and stay still. I'm gonna get help. Right then, I suppose we'd better get back to the grindstone, hadn't we? Oh, I'm so looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, well, you've got time to look forward to first. Oh, how fun. I meant dinner. <laughs> what do you fancy? Surprise me. Uh, oh, call an ambulance. Hey? Leanne's had an accident. I think she's fallen down the stairs. Oh. Tell him to come to the flat. You think we should help? I think we'd better. How did you find her? I was just passing and I heard a groan through the door. Oh. Leanne? Oh, no. Lee? She's stuck behind the door. Oh. It's all right, love. It's an ambulance on its way. Look, we need to open this door. No, we shouldn't move her. You know, best wait for the ambulance. She just lies still, Lee. What do you think happened? Leanne's had a fall. Is she okay? We don't know yet. It'll be all right, love. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm really sorry. Thank you. I'll be in touch. Well, I must say, you're very brave venturing out amongst these mothers. Oh, well, if a kid's got talent, you can't hold him back, can you? <laughs> Do this little star, then. Dylan. Dylan, eh? It's an unusual name. This is Leo. Yes, very popular name, isn't it? So your wife not with you then? Uh, my partner, no. He had to work. All right, a gay couple. Yeah, wonderful. Head office is uh, keen to revamp Fresh Girl's image. They want it to reflect a change in modern society, you know. Well, I'm a single working mother. Yeah, isn't everyone nowadays? Marcus. Anthony, store manager. Oh, loving the shirt, Anthony. Oh, yes. And do you, um, want to come through? Hey, excuse me, I was first. A little give little, um, Lee time to prepare? It's Liam. Brings it all back being here. What's that? The night of the tram crash. The hours we spent waiting, wondering what we're going to be told. I do know what you're going through and how helpless you feel. Difference is, you had nothing to feel guilty about, did you? No, don't torture yourself. Let's just wait and see. 
We thought we'd lost you, but against all the odds, you came through. You know, if I was superstitious, I'd say I brought this on her. Just as well you're not, then. Not your fault. Mr. Barlow? Yeah? I can see your wife now. Is, uh, is everything OK? I'd like to come through. been pleading. The doctor just examined me to see if um, the baby... Yeah. And what did he say? He's coming back in a minute. OK. Hey, try not to worry. Lee, are you OK? Just a bit bruised. Yeah, well, thank God, eh? You could have broke your neck. So what happened anyway? I was coming after you. To say sorry. Holy. Oh, wants to miss me footing. I should never have stormed out on you, love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, this is Peter, my husband. Hi. Hey. I'm sorry, it's not good news. You have miscarried, I'm afraid. Oh, love. We'd like to keep you in overnight to monitor your blood pressure. But she's going to be OK. Absolutely. I'll speak to you both later. Okay. <laughs> Here, I'll help. All right, I can manage. Two hands are better than one. It's fine, thank you. Oh, well, if you're going to sulk. I am not sulking. Of course you're sulking. I can't say I blame you. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, yes, that was always your mantra as a child. No wonder I gave up. Yes, well, it's too late to start trying now. You always could bear a grudge. A grudge? A, a grudge? Do you know what my abiding memory of my childhood is? No, but I suppose you're going to tell me. Dinners eaten in silence at a ridiculously long table with you and Roger at one end and me at the other, 12 feet between us. I measured it once. It was not ridiculous, not when we entertained. Well, I wouldn't know about that, would I? Because I was banished to my room. You were not banished. You chose to go. You didn't like people. I was not comfortable with them. There is a difference. Well, I was one. And it hurt. Of them. Sorry? You cannot be a people. You have to be one of them. Oh, for goodness sake. <coughs> well, do you want a hand or not? Do you have to do that in here? Well, unless Ken's going to build me a workshop. Yes, I do. Oh, yeah. How dare you threaten my daughter? What? Now, Tracy. Amy has told me everything, you little creep. Look, that's enough. Just calm down. But who's this bloke you brought back to the house? W one of the volunteers, that's Who all. Who volunteered to put me back in prison if she told? Look, I really have no idea what she's on about. Liar! That's what you threatened her with! Look, I'm sorry. There's no way I'd ever talk to Amy like that. She must be making it up. You what? Well, perhaps she's attention-seeking again, you know, like with the milk. How dare you blame her? Tracy, just shut up. Maybe he's right. What, are you saying you believe him? OK. If he's so innocent, what was he doing going through your stuff? Oh, stuff? In that cupboard, all your personal papers. I, I wasn't. Do you know what? Maybe it's not Amy. Maybe it's her. You've never liked me, have you? <sighs> Ken, Tracy's got hey, very old... Hey, threatening, Amy! Been... Been... No, no, shut up, shut up. I don't want to listen to your petty squabbles. <sighs> Leanna's lost the baby. I can't believe how you flirted with him. I did not. Oh, come on, Marcus. You were all over him. I'm loving the shirt, Antoinette. Well, I was. Oh, lighter. Uh, you're just annoyed that we turned up at all. If you had your way, it would have been just you and Liam. It's rubbish. Well, anyway, probably neither of them will get a look in. See that little girl with the yellow ribbons? Yeah, I swear that was a wig. Yeah, and she was wearing makeup. Yeah, I know. It's sick, isn't it? Hey, yeah. Uh, how'd it go? Well, I reckon they took a shine to your Dylan. Were you there? Yep, yeah, Liam was auditioning as well. I bet he did brilliant. Well, I'd be surprised, but we'll see. No offence, but my Dylan is 
very photogenic. Uh, camera shy more like, after the amount you've been filming him. Hello? Hey, gonna come over for a drink? Oh, no, Tasha, and I've got to get the tea on. Blimey, really? No, 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 that's great, yeah. Thanks very much. That was Anthony. Anthony. The manager of Fresh goes. They've only gone and picked Dylan. <gasps> oh, I knew it! I knew you were a superstar! Oh, mwah. Sorry. Ah, oh, don't be daft and made up for you. Well done, Dylan. Hey, that's not all. Oh. They want me to be in the advert as well. The main thing is you're okay. No, the main thing is I lost our baby, Peter. Look, it's not the end of the world, is it? We're happy enough, aren't we? Three of us. Hey. Did want this baby, didn't you? Hiya. Hey. How are you feeling? Fine, what do you want? We start who found you, love. You remember? Hmm? Remember your voice, I think. I was just passing and I... I heard you. She came to get me and Dad. Carl called the ambulance. Oh, right. Hey, well, thanks. It's the second time you've come to me rescue. I'll have to buy you a white horse. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm fine, just leave me alone. If there's anything I can do... Yeah, you can get the hell out of here. Tracy, give it a rest. We've got enough to cope with. Yes, it would be nice if just for once you could think about someone other than yourself. I'm not thinking about myself at all. I'm thinking about my child. Yeah, and if you just at least let... you have a child. Yeah. And I'm sorry for them too, but... Yeah, yes, there's always a but with you, isn't there? Anyway, I better go and pick Simon up from the after-school club. I told Peter we'd have him for tonight. Oh, yeah, I'll come with you. I'll drive if you like. Oh, sure. Yeah, of course, I'll be oh, glad to. Thanks, oh. love. We'll get our coats. Right. You might have got them twisted round your little finger, but not me. I know you're up to something. Well, I'd love to know what it is. So when you find out, tell me, OK? Yeah, and if you dare to threaten my daughter again, I'm going to have you. Is everything all right? Yeah, fine. Yeah, it's fine. OK. I don't suppose you'd like to feed the baby? What? Well, then I can help Hayley with the cooking. Oh, um, it's just like a... Riding a bike, not that I'm very good at that, but uh, you just got to keep the bottle yeah. tilted so, so that she doesn't swallow, swallow it. Ah, yes, I remember. Come on, <sighs> sweetness. Come on, Bubba Louise. But don't stand there watching me. Go and do your cooking. Stop. Hiya. 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 The wanderer returns. Yeah, well, not for long. You know this, uh, Clark, eh? Well, the, the boy you went out with? Yeah, well, I'd only come boy. The boss twice, like, but, um... Yeah, he's off to Crete for a fortnight and he wants to go away. Um, and you're going? To right, I am. Yeah, we fly tomorrow. You don't even know him. I do, I spent a night with him, didn't oh, I? You're equivalent to a long courtship. Who asked you? Uh, um, I, I, I would prefer if you didn't speak to my mother like that. Oh. Actually... Hey, uh, do you want one? No, thanks. She's not all right, is she? Oh, she's a... Uh, she's a bit battered, a bit bruised. I, I know there's something you're not telling me. No, no, don't be daft. I saw the way you looked at each other in there. And she'd been crying her heart out. Anyone could see that. She's in shock. No, it's more than that. OK, it's none of my business. No, it's just... That I'm an interfering old busybody. No, uh, uh, a bit full on, perhaps. I know. I'm sorry, I, I wish I wasn't. It's just that I've got all this love inside me for her that I've just been carrying around for years and it just all seems to be spilling out and I just can't stop it even though I know I'm pushing her away. Hey, good job you are, though, hey? What? Interfering old busybody. Otherwise, she could still be lying there. She was pregnant. Was? Yeah. Oh. 
I am exhausted. It's probably all that posing. You are. Well, it can't be that hard, can it? Looking down a camera. Well, no, but the queuing is. And dealing with the three-year-old all day. Well, you got your reward in the end, didn't you? Is this about them asking me to be in the advert? Well, I have to say, I just don't think it's very fair. I mean, you're not Dylan's dad. I might not be his dad, but you're perfectly happy for me to cook for him and clean his clothes and take him everywhere. I wasn't saying... Yes, you were. You were saying it's fine for me to act like a parent as long as I remember I'm not one. I didn't mean it. I'm going up the pub. What about the tea? You make it for a change. I thought you'd gone. Peter told me what happened. Yeah, well, he had no right. I'm so sorry. Morning. I've uh, just been out for a walk. Couldn't sleep? Uh, no. <laughs> Best time of day. Nice and quiet. I wish I could... Stay away from me. Stay away from me, kids. It's not a bill you're after, is it? I'm waiting for good news. I delivered a letter once to this bloke. He won half a million quid in a competition. Yeah. Bought me a watch. Mm. It cost 400 quid. It was rubbish. Yeah. 499. Never missed a beat. Oh, this is the one. <laughs> My work here is done. Oh, hey, you're early. Oh, sorry, you made me jump. I was just um, looking at the photographs. You okay? I'm fine. You know, you're not the first person to end up getting conned. And I'll let you into a family secret. You take everything Tracy says with a pinch of salt. I don't tell Deirdre I said that. I just wish I could take something from this terrible situation that would make me feel better. You will. You will. You're a good man, and I'm sure things will turn around for you very soon. Come on. You can help me do breakfast. I promise Simon sausage and beans before I take him to see Leanne. No, it's quiet in here. I mean, no skin off my nose. I like it. I mean, when do I get peace and quiet in this house? Well, if you want to know why we're not talking, ask him. What's that supposed to mean? I wasn't talking to you. But you are now. I knew it was too good to last. <clears throat> he knows why I'm upset. Oh, really? He shouldn't be upset. He should be proud. What? Proud? Proud of the fact that my boyfriend is so blinded by the world of celebrity that at the first opportunity he gets, he stabs me in the back. I won't lie to you, I had a really great day the other day and I'm really looking forward to the photo shoot today, but it would be a hundred times better if you were there. Oh, ignore me. I'm just jealous. He's not wearing that top, is he? Oh, no. I thought I'd put him in that blue one you bought him last week. Ah, yes, very good. Good uh, choice. With the little shorts and the little sandals. Make sure you brush his hair back off his face. Dylan, show us that smile. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how long do you think we're going for? Excuse me, your case is heavier than mine. Oh, you've not snuck some golf stuff in there? Why would I need golf stuff when I've got you in a luxury five-star hotel to keep me entertained, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Stella, um... Any news on Leanne? She's OK. No bones broken. They're keeping her hospital just in case. Oh, because she's pretty. Um... She's not us, baby. I, I shouldn't really say anything. No, no, it's okay. We won't say anything. We used to be close, you know. Well, um, 
us on our sympathies, will you? No, don't do that. You're going to upset her. I, I shouldn't have told you. No, you didn't. I do still care about you now. But it's just tough at the moment. Maybe one day we'll rebuild them bridges. I hope you do. See you. Oh. Poor thing. to you last night then hey well one minute i'm talking to you the next minute you're snoring like a slobbery old dog what can i say you brought me to sleep do you feel any better love not really okay hey i said it would be okay if stella came in today i mean but if you don't want to see her i mean i can always tell her not to bother she understands it's all right okay good I'm really sorry about the baby. Hey, come on, love. It's not your fault. It's okay. It was just bad timing. That's all. Simon, come out of there. He's not in there. Oh, hiya. She's in here. Hey. Oh, 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 careful. Your mum fell all the way down the stairs. Careful. It's all right. I'm pleased to see you. They've got some big bruises. I have, you. Yeah. Can I see him? <laughs> hey, what's he like? Happen you'd like to watch an operation while you're here. Can I? Why, where do you think you're going? What? How can you do that? Go sneaking off without me. Do you not care about me at all? Oh, Eva, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh. Don't look so worried. <sighs> Unless you have forgotten. <gasps> me? Forget a shopping trip with you. It's what I live for. I know, Mum. I, uh, I've got a few things to do first, and I thought we could meet at that cafe you like, you know, with that dishy barista. Uh, yes, please. 11.30. Hit the shops, then a bit of lunch. Mum, I've seen the most amazing shoes. Shh. Tell me later. Don't spoil it. See you in town. OK. So do you want pickle on that? Oh, yes. So how's the fountain going, love? Ah, oh, well, I've got Phil and Kirsty on the case, you know, three bedrooms, en suite, south-facing balcony. You New know, York loft kind of thing. Well, definitely selling, eh? Oh, it's not me, it's Jerry Martin, and he wants a super quick sale. He's even dropped the price again. Hey, maybe you could buy it. Live next door to your daughter. I don't know. Well, someone's going to get themselves a really good deal on my house. Hello? Yeah, that's me. Really? And what are you saying? What did you mean before when you said it was bad timing? I meant what I said. Just... Bad timing. Why was it bad timing? Don't understand. Love, is this really going to help us, you know, to keep going over this again and again? I just feel like I'm more upset about losing this baby than you are. That's not true. I'm upset. Really? Yeah. W what do you want me to do? Would it be easier if I broke down in tears? If I went back on the booze? I mean, would that prove it? Would that prove to you that I'm truly heartbroken? But you said it was bad timing. Why? You're not going to let this go, are you? Well, we're married. We're together. We talked about having another child one day. Yes, one day. One day. One day. Not now. So why don't you want a baby now? Oh, I didn't say that. Do you trust me? Do I trust you to do what? Stay with you. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. I know how much I hurt you with Nick. Oh, please. Not this. No. And then there's Carla. Waiting in the wings. Lee, please don't do this. I feel like you haven't forgiven me, Peter. I feel like I'm still on trial. That's not true. I feel like you think that this isn't going to last. And that's why you don't want us to have a baby. Or maybe it's not that you don't want to have a baby. It's just that you don't want to have a baby with me. I know what this is. This is your medication talking. Is it Carla? Are you keeping your options open? Is that what it is? Nothing happened. How many times do I have to say... She admitted she wanted you. I have never cheated on you since we've been married. No, but I cheated on you, didn't I? And that's why you don't want me and you to have a baby. All right. What do you want to hear? It's easier to forgive than forget? Well, maybe that's it. But it's not easy, Leanne. It's not. None of this is easy. You don't want me. I do. I don't want your pity. It's not your fault, it's mine. You hurt you too badly and you can't forgive me. Why should you? <laughs> That's what this is all about. I think you better go, Peter. Lee. Lee. No, Lee. please. It's all my fault.
but no matter how deceitful I might have been in the past, I need somebody better than somebody who's just sticking around, treading water till something better comes along. You're not thinking straight, Lee. If you don't leave now, I'm going to push a button and I'm going to get somebody to chuck you out. OK, fine. But you're wrong. Do you know that you are dead wrong, Leanne? Peter, is something wrong? She kicked me out. Why don't you do that? I don't know, Stella. Ask your daughter. I imagine the nurses will move them if they're in the way. Right, do you need anything else? Magazines, books? No, I'm fine, Ty. You don't look fine. Yeah, that's because I fell down the stairs and lost my baby. I saw Peter leaving as I came in. I told him to go. Yeah, he said. He didn't say why. It's complicated. OK, but he seemed pretty good up. Join the club. I don't think he would look that upset if he didn't care about you. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the problem in our relationship is more me than him. I brought you a chocolate chip muffin. Oh, oh right. Thank you. If it's too big, I can help you eat it. Don't worry, Wolf Town, a donut and two biscuits. I worked, Peter. He had stuff to do at work. Oh, I got him a bacon bomb. I love it. Do you know, I think you've got worms. Anyway, ten more minutes and then we need to take you to school. But I want to stay with Liam. No, you need to go to school. Should probably go. Oh, no, stay, please. Oh, you've got stuff to do, you're busy. No, I want to stay. I just need to make a quick phone call. How could they do it so fast? I'm going to be homeless by tea time. Right, what exactly did this date as you say? Oh, God, and I've got to tell Faye. How am I going to tell Faye? Sorry, I just wanted Nicole's cake and a coffee. Oh. Well, just, just give us ten minutes, yeah? No problem. Take ten. Hey, look at it this way, OK? You're not losing a house, but you're gaining a fresh start. You know, you're unfair getting your own place. How many times has that kid been moved on? I don't know. And every time she gets settled, every time she feels at home, it's bang! Everything's thrown in the air, it's pack your bags, you're back on the merry-go-round again. So she's used to it. I wanted to give her stability. Well, there's no rush, is there? Just because the estate agent's got a buyer. You're selling houses takes time. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. That's why I've not told her already, but the sale's done. The new owner's got your sight unseen and they're coming round this afternoon to measure up. I'll have to tell her today. Oh, hey. How's Leanne? Just keep walking, eh? Not today. I'm really sorry about the baby. How do you know? Well, Stella told me. Well, no, she didn't mean to, I guess. Listen, I told her not to tell Leanna, no, I didn't. What do you want? What do I want? Oh, I just want to get me a bit enough for caring. What do you want? I just want to smoke a fag without having to spill me guts in the street. Mm hmm Someone else happened? Yeah, we had a row. A row? Yes, a row. And I know most couples row all the time, but when we row, it's different. Oh. Well, listen, I offered to take you for a coffee, but the cafe's out of action. Waitress on the end of a nervous breakdown. We could go upstairs for ten minutes. Hey, I reckon I owe you some support. I'll make the coffee. Hey? Okay. Okay. Cheers. Hey, Shell! Mama Kate, we're on. I've just had the police on the phone. They've arrested that Robin, Janet. You know, the con artist who brainwashed our Sophie into stealing 20 grand off, eh? Really? Will you get your money back? Well, I don't know. They're questioning him now, so maybe he will. It's brilliant news. Yeah, how do you say that again? I was thinking about Sophie. Oh, yeah. Maybe for both of us. Fingers crossed. Hello. What's up? You look smart. Nice top, great sandals. Oh, just a little something we put together. Tell me, who's got the biggest wardrobe? You or your dad? Oh, uh, well, technically, I'm his dad's boyfriend. Well, that's close enough for us. Um, Marcus, this is Grant. Hey. Hey. You've got a great-looking kid there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and the two of you look just fantastic together. <laughs> oh, are you sure about that? Absolutely. We need you in the picture. Uh, Dylan's a very cute kid, but cute kids don't come into fresh goals on their own. OK, I'm ready when you are. 
You know what? I can murder a whiskey. You know, sometimes I get these cravings. They're so strong, I can actually... I can taste it. Yeah, well, have a glass of water. If that tastes like whiskey, you're a cheap day. Oh, it's not the taste I want, now. Are you sure Leanne's OK? Yeah, she's fine. They're just going to keep her in for observation. It's me. It's me that's not OK. Yeah, I know. I can see that. So what was this row about? Me. <laughs> oh, it's me, me, me today, isn't it? Look, just, just go. I was joking, Peter. No, I mean it, Carla. Why are you here? You shouldn't be here. I don't need you. Yeah, well, you need some it. Just go. No, I'm not leaving you on your own. Look, it's my flat, Carla, and I'm telling you to get out. So you can drink. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I could throw you out. No milk, two sugars. So open, eh? He's been grumpy all day. He's soaking. All right. I am not sulking. Yes, you are. We've got kids. We know all the symptoms. Mm, where's he can sulk for England? Still not going out of that. Jason sulked for a whole year once. I wanted to call Guinness Book of Records. Oh. Well, I've got every right to. It's not fair. Dylan got chosen to be the new face of Fresh Goes. So Marcus has taken him to a glamorous photo shoot. Well, poor old Sean, he's got to stay here with us working. Oh, well, if it's any consolation, you're right. You're bound to feel terrible. I used to hate it when I miss sports days and Christmas concerts and stuff. Childhood goes by so quickly. You're very right to be sulking. Do you know, you're right. Of course I'm right. But I'm not going to sulk. I'm going to do something about it. I am not going to miss my son's childhood. Uh, you can't just walk out of here. Cover for me. Sean! Hi, Lenny. Have you seen Carla? I think she might have just nipped out for some coffee. Yeah, that was half an hour ago. Where's he going? Dentist. Yeah, he's um, chipped his tooth on a biscuit. She thinks I haven't forgiven her, that I don't trust her, that I don't want a baby with her because, of, well, apparently I'm not committed to marriage. So why does she think you don't want a baby with her? Hmm. Do you want to have a baby with her? It's too soon. Too soon after what? You know after what. OK, well... And maybe she's right. Maybe you don't trust her. Maybe you think she's betrayed me once, she can betray me again. Maybe having a baby right now is too much commitment for you. Do you know what? I'm so sick of all this. What? You've always had doubts. Maybe this has just brought them to the surface, that's all. Your wife's in hospital. She's fallen down the stairs. She's lost a baby. Why am I here with you? Why? Listen, if Anna Windas hadn't been crying into a coffee, I'd be over there right now. Sometimes stuff just happens, Peter. See, I can be quite profound when I want to be. Look, just go. You know, things are bad enough with me and Leanne. If she knew that I was here with you... Then I are... haven't said what I think yet. Did I ask you what you think? No, but I think you owe me a couple of minutes, don't you? Have you seen the state of this place? Yeah, but the landlord's sold up and he's kicking you out, so why should you care? Well, if I'd just bought a house, I won't want to step through that front door for the first time and see the place looking at it. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, Faye. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. OK, but I need to tell you something. What? Well, I'm really sorry, lovey, and I've tried everything I can, but it's not worked and we've got to move. Move? Move where? Well, I don't know right now. I don't want to move. I like it here. I know, but the landlord sold the house. You too? Why can't we buy the house? We can't afford to buy a house. We were just renting, but we'll find somewhere nice and we can go and look at places together. I guess that's the new owner. Oh, I better get it. Listen, everything's going to be fine, yeah? Afternoon. Afternoon. Oh, I'm sorry, Owen. This is a really bad time. Jerry Morton sold the house. And Faye's really upset. The new owner's due to come round and measure up at any minute. Can I come in? Looking good. Um, you sure you never done anything like this before? No, never. Yep, yeah, look at me. And keep those smiles coming. Lovely, Dylan. Really nice. That's great. Hey. OK, coming through, coming through. Excuse me. You see those cheekbones? You got them from me. See that smile? Got that from me. OK, how about this? I'm the real dad and I'm ready for my close-up. Everybody say cheese. Peter, I think you're confused. It's not, not about you and Leanne after what happened with Nick. 
I think she's not sure how she really feels about you, and she's not sure how you feel about her. She thinks you don't trust her, and I think she's right, darling. And I think that's why you're beating yourself up over it. Well, thanks for that, Dr. Connor. You can go now. Thank you. I've not finished yet. <sighs> well, just make it quick, because I should be at the hospital. I need you to know that there's one thing you can be sure of. What's that? Me. I know what I want. I've known for a very long time. I've just never been sure anything could happen. Carla. Look, just listen to I me. I know no, what you're going to No, 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 you don't know. You see, you don't know. You think you're a bad man because you can't forgive her, but you're not. You're just human. I know you're a good man. You've saved me more than once. Please don't do this. I'm sorry I've got to say this. I love you. I do. I love you, Peter. I, I know you as well as anybody else, and I do. I can't help it. I love you. No. Look at me. How low can I go? I... I'm making a play for another woman's husband while she's lying in hospital after a miscarriage. You said it. Yeah, but I'm not planning. I'm not analysing or scheming. I'm just telling you the stone cold truth. <laughs> now I really need a drink. Why? Is the idea that frightening? I'm not frightened. Yeah, well, you look terrified. I know who I am. I've just opened my chest and shown you my heart. Question is, what are you going to do about it? You mad? You know that? Completely mad. Okay, well, tell me to go now. And I will. You know, Peter, sometimes you just have to make a leap. Make a choice. I should be flying to Rome and Frank today, but right now I don't care whether I ever see him again. I feel selfish. Right now, nothing in this whole world matters to me but you. stuck in a saucepan. I didn't think kids really did that. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. That's all right. Listen, you don't have to stay if you've got things to do. I don't like leaving you on your own. I might have to get used to that. Whatever you and Peter argued about, I'm sure it can't be that bad. Can it? You can talk to me, you know. There's nothing to say. I might be able to help. I doubt it. Oh, thanks. No offence, but it's not really any of your business. I am your mum. You don't even know me. Then tell me something. All right, I don't take sugar in my tea. How's that for a kick-off? Maybe I'll come back later. You need some rest. We fought about the baby. I don't understand. About how he wasn't bothered about me losing it after all. He said that. I didn't need to. It's written all over his face. Look, Leanne, you're tired, upset. Are you sure you're not making a mistake? What if he cares so much? 
Where is he now, eh? I'm sorry. Yet yeah, you keep saying that you're going to give me a complex besides. What have you got besides for? I'm the one that threw myself at you. What are you looking for? My handbag. It's here. Here. Against my dignity, was it? Look, don't. This was my fault as much as it was yours. And what was I thinking? I'm married. And you're with someone. Yet here we are. Or were. Look, Carla. I really like you. You know, if things were different... Yeah, well, then not, are they? So, why don't you save your breath? Besides, I've heard this all before, I remember. Leanne needs me. Yeah, we'll go to her then. Either that will decide what you need. I still, I still don't know what to say. Well, you don't have to say anything, love. Or you could communicate your gratitude by blinking twice if it makes <laughs> you feel any better. Oh, and please don't start going on about charity, me doing you a favour. I changed my mind because they dropped the price. It's too good a chance to miss. Luckily for me. As far as I'm concerned, it's a sound investment. Gets you lot out of the hole and everyone's a winner. Well, you've made a young girl very happy. Have I now? I meant our fate. Oh, right. But I would like to thank you. Properly. How do you mean? Well, why don't you come over for your tea? I'll get Gary to bring Izzy. See if Katie and Chesney want to come. We can sit down and have a family meal. <laughs> they make a mean shepherd's pie. Well, how could I say no to an offer like that? Eh? <laughs> you fancies her. What are you all about? Owen, you fancies her. You can tell it's dead obvious. How is it obvious? Because the way you look at her and how he smiles every time she says something. He never normally smiles. Yeah, you can say that again. Look, he's doing it now. He so fancies her. Yeah, well, even if he does, he's backing up the wrong tree. You're supposed to be at work. Oh, they can manage without me for an hour or two. Besides, he needed to be here with my son for his big moment. Oh, nothing to do with having your face on a billboard, then. Hmm. Anyway, Dylan, don't you be scared by all these lights and cameras. You've just got to look adorable, which you can do standing on your head. Eh? Actually, that's not a bad idea for a photograph. I think we're ready to go, then. A tiny bit of a problem here. What? You. I'm sorry? Um, it's really not working. Can we just go back to how it was before? Oh, yeah. So when I was stood over there, yeah? OK, no trouble. No, he means before you got here. What are you saying? You don't want me on the photograph at all? Finally. Why not? Because he's more photogenic. You mean you fancy him? I didn't say that. Although I have just come out of a long-term relationship. Right, can, can, we just, can we just try a couple with the three of us just to see what it looks like? Oh, are you a photographer? You are. Are you a photographer? <laughs> no. Then why don't you just keep quiet and leave all this to me? No. No, it's OK. I get the message. I'm going. Hey, Dilbert. You'd be fab. Remember, big smiles. Right. Let's make magic. Sean, wait. No, it's fine. I'm all right. No, you're not. Neither's Dylan. Come on, son. Where are you going? We're going home. Tracy. What? I'm trying to read. Oh, stuck on a big word, are you? Actually, it's the music. Oh, don't you like it? No, I imagine you're more of a Lady Gaga man. Oi! Why are you being like this? Like what? Hostile. I've already explained to you about what happened with Amy. Look, you might have my dad and KD Lang over the road thinking the sun shines out your backside, but not me. I don't like you, and I never have. Have you got it? Yeah. Good. So turn that back up, get out of my face. I know, I know. We'll just give you a bit of a I was wondering where you got to. Oh, I just had to nip back to the flat, so. Everything all right? Yeah, fine. So how are we coming along with the order, Sally? Uh, well, we're working on it. Yeah, well, it doesn't look like it. How long till it's done? Well, we're going as fast as we can, Mrs. Common. We are short staff. How long? It'll be ready tomorrow afternoon at the latest. OK. Make sure it is. That was a little bit harsh. She does have a point. And I have a business to run. 
Yeah, well, in a few hours' time, we're going to be sat in business class, quaffing complimentary champagne on our way to Rome, and this place will be a distant memory. If we ever get out of here. Well, I'm pretty much done for the day. I'm just going to pop out, get a couple of bits for the trip, and then we'll be ready to hit the road. You could look a bit more happy about it. <laughs> How's that? Needs a bit of work. It'll do for now. Oh, hello, love. Hiya. Yeah. You just back from the hospital? Yeah. How is she? Oh, getting there, you know. We'll go over again tomorrow morning, see how she's feeling. Um, can I have a word? Uh, why don't you take Sam outside? Oh, yeah. I'll, uh, okay. I won't be long. So, what do you want to talk about? Have you spoken to Lizzie yet? Yeah, I tried calling, but she's not answering. I'll go and meet her from work, make sure she's still coming. Fine, nice one. Well, that's for the adults. I've had wine loads of times. Well, not this time. <laughs> Don't know why you're going to all this effort, ma'am. It's just my way of saying thank you. You have to admit, Owen's done us a real favour. It's funny that, because I never even done as the caring sharing type. What do you mean? Well, isn't it all a bit weird, this him just buying the house like that? No, he's a businessman. What's weird about it? Do I have to spell it out for you? Oh, it depends. I'm busy. How many letters has it got? Look, he's a man on his own. And you're a, well... You're my ma'am, but you're still a, a, a woman. <laughs> and now that Dad's out of the way, maybe he fancies having a pop. Having a pop? You know what I mean. Uh, yes, I do, and I don't want any more of that talk, thank you. Just worried about it. Well, don't. He's our landlord, Gary, that's it. All right. Understand? All right. Good. Now, come on, help me get this one away before it starts going off. Hey, sign not with you. Deirdre's looking after him. All right. That comes. Because I didn't want him to hear what I've got to say to you. You've been speaking with Leanne, have you? No. Stella. What's Stella been saying? Well, that apparently you told Leanne you didn't want this baby. I never said that. I never said that. You're making this sound like, you know, I wanted this to happen. That was my kid as well, you know. So, what did you say? I just said I wasn't sure that we were ready. That's all I said. No, so we're back to that again, are we? Back to what? Well, Ricky over the past and what happened between her and Nick. Oh, sorry if I'm boring you. For the sake of your marriage and for the sake of your sanity, you've got to trust her. I do. I do trust her. Well, so what's wrong? I'm just not sure if I trust myself. <sighs> Peter, what have you done? Nothing. At least not yet, anyway. Do you know if Izzy will be long? She's already gone. When? A couple of hours ago. And when'd she go? Well, that's what I'd like to know, seeing as we're so short-staffed. Oh, yeah? How short-staffed? Well, I am practically running that place single-handedly. Not that I get any thanks for it. Bye, Sally. Bye, Mr Foster. Have a nice holiday. Oh, we'll try. Excuse me, mate. You've got a sec. Thank you, Isabel. Bad day. Yeah, and it's not even over yet. Anything I can do? You can buy me a drink. I'll tell you that. Give us a few minutes to lock up. I'll buy you a couple. Who is she? Does it matter? If she lives around here, then yes. Oh, she doesn't. You don't know her. And how long has this affair been going it's on? It's not an affair. Nothing really happened. But you wanted to? Yes. No. That's hardly a definitive answer. Well, that's the best answer you're going to get from me, so... Do you love her? I don't think so. And what does she feel about you? Oh, she's made it clear she wants to be with me. I don't know. I don't think I know anything anymore. Sorry, is this not the bit where you're supposed to point the finger at me and tell me to stop being an idiot, go back to Leanne? I can't tell you what to do. And since when have you ever listened to me? I'll try anything once, me. Well, for what it's worth, 
I like Leanne. And despite any mistakes she might have made in the past, I still honestly believe she's the best thing that's ever happened to you. And if you haven't acted on your feelings for this other woman, then maybe deep down, you know it too. You got good at helping her. <laughs> Get the fiver for it. Uh, you are not. Quit then. <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> Cheers, love. Cheers. Sorry I missed your calls. I had my phone on silent. Just wonder where you got to. Oh, I went to the doctor's. I had to renew my prescription. You okay? Fine. Are you? Yeah, I've got some good news as it happens. Oh, great. What is it? I'll tell you later. It's sort of a surprise. Yeah. Hiya. We're not late, are we? Oh, no, come on, I'm just dishing it up now. Grab a seat, everyone. How was Fizz? Uh, she's OK. Not great. Still not changed her mind about having the baby with her, then? No, but you can tell she misses her life mad. All right, makes you realise how lucky you are to have your family around you, doesn't it? Come on. You no, know, I've already given you my details. Y yes, I've received all the documents back. All I want to know is when the cheque's going to arrive. But tomorrow... Yeah, just make sure it does. Hi. Hiya. Uh, pack the white wine, please. Coming up. OK, will you get these on? I'll be back in a sec. Don't start anything, Kevin. I won't, I promise. I'm not interrupting, am I? Oh, of course not. <laughs> Only I've had the police on. They've got Rob and Janet in custody. Picked them up in Leeds. Really? Well, that's great news. Hopefully. 20 grand's worth of great news. Well, I'm pleased for you. Uh, and Sophie. Good. Thanks. There you go. Cheers, Stella. Oh, Tal. Oh, are you, love? Did you get my message? Yep. A couple of hours late, but never mind, eh? Did you get your shoes? Did you see any bags? Why not? Well, by the time I'd finished waiting for you and got to the shop, somebody else had bought oh, it. Oh, I'm sorry, love. So it was a big emergency anyway. Well, I'm not going to lie to you, up. I was with Leanne. <sighs> Should have flaming known it. Have a nice time, did you? We're at the hospital. Well, I thought she was OK now. Well, she is it. It's a bit complicated, that's it. Maybe you can tell me about it when you've got the time, yeah? Oh, Eva. Hiya, Leanne and Peter. And Simon! I'm not here at the minute, but if you'd like to leave a message, we'll call you back. I'm not a rubbish dad. I just get a bit carried away sometimes. I ruined his big day. I mean, I know I didn't mean to, but if I hadn't showed up, then everything would have been fine. Well, he's all right now. Yeah, because you're here. You're the one he listens to. You're the one he runs to when he's upset. Well, that's because he knows me. I just need more practice. He's probably still awake. Why don't you go in and give him a good night kiss? Do you think he'd like that? I know he would. Oi, how about one here first? Oh, all right. Yeah. Didn't expect to see you again today. Uh, this is somewhere else we can go, you know, somewhere a, a bit more private. Depends what you've got in mind. I need to talk to you. Oh, well. Everybody's gone. And I'm guessing you're not here to look at Minica, so what do you want? We can't keep doing this. Doing what? This just dancing around each other. Where's the bread and ginger? Look, Carla, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say that I don't have feelings for you. But this, does it? It can't carry on. It can't happen. Not now. Not ever. Are you sure about that? Yeah. I'm sure. OK. So, what about earlier? So, just a mistake. It didn't feel that way to me. It felt like two people who knew exactly what they wanted. You're not going to make this easy for me. Or well, I... maybe that's because I think you're the one that's making a mistake. Yeah, well, I'm just going to have to live with that then, aren't I? And so are you. Because I'm going back to Leanne. I'm going to make it work. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, yeah. Go. Yeah. Here. What did he want? He came about Leanne. Oh. Is she okay? Oh, yeah, she'll be... She'll be fine. Good. So, you ready to go? 
Yeah. Yeah. Tell you what, why don't you go and wait outside and I'll look up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, yeah, we'll bring him round tomorrow. Bye. Bye. That was Peter, wondering if we could keep Simon tonight, so I said yes. Well, him and Amy have already half trashed our room. It'll give them a chance to finish it off. Any news of Leanne? He didn't say. Hi, love. There's some tea in the oven if you're hungry. I'm, I'm all right. You sure? Yeah. Actually, there's something I uh, needed to tell you, and since you're all here. Oh, well, spit it out, because the suspense is killing us. I'm going to be leaving tomorrow. I thought you said you'd changed your mind about that. I've been here a while now, much longer than I ever intended, and I don't want to be a burden. Oh, don't be ridiculous, you're not a burden. Well, you say that. Traitor. You no, know, she's right. You know, it's time for me to move on. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done for me. You're welcome. You'll always be welcome. Well, I better start getting my things together. Give us a shout if you need a hand packing. You felt it kicking the other day, didn't you? Yeah, it's really weird feeling this thing poking out, not knowing if it's an arm or a leg. Or something else. <laughs> what else could it be? <laughs> See what you've done now. Hey, you still haven't told us if you're going to find out what you're having. Um, no, I think I'm going to keep it a surprise. Oh, believe me, it's going to be that all right. <laughs> that reminds me, what's that news you said you had for us? I'll start saying later on. Tell me now? No. Oi! I'd tell her if I was you, it's easier. <laughs> well, before things start getting too ugly, I think I'm going to have to get off of Oh, you're leaving already? Yeah, I've got a really early start tomorrow, but once again, thanks for the meal. It was fantastic. <laughs> well, let me see you out at least. See you, Dad. See you. Travel. See you later. Hi. See you. <laughs> so, I'll, um, I'll see you soon. First of the month, I'll be round to collect the rent. Oh, don't leave it that long. I mean... Call in if you're passing by the cafe. Or whatever. Thanks, Al. Bear that in mind. <laughs> at last. I went as quick as I could. No, I mean at last. Just the two of us. with me anymore, is it? It's bigger than that. What can I tell you, Lee? I'm a screw-up. You know, my whole miserable life, anything good that's ever happened to me, I've just always managed to cock it up. You know, I nearly lost size, so... when you told me about the baby, I... I don't know. I guess I just panicked. Yeah, well, you can relax now, can't you? You're off the hook. Don't say that, Lee. Please... Please don't say that. Why? Hurt your feelings, have I? Well, tough. Because you know what? I needed you, Peter. I really needed you. I know. And you weren't there for me. And do you know how lonely that made me feel? I'm here now. It's too late now. No, it's not. It's not. I love you. And if you don't believe anything else, you've got to believe that. I want you to come home to me and sigh. And I want us to try again. What do you mean? I want us to try for another baby. You know, when the time's right, when, when, when you feel ready. No, you can't just say that because you think that's what I want to hear. You have to mean it. You have to be sure. I am. I swear to you on my miserable, screwed up life. Please, Lee. Please come back.
Theo, are you all packed? Yeah. So we can't change your mind? Uh, there's just too many people around here who've got it in for me. Oh, only Tracy and Kevin. Yeah, your daughter and the father of a young girl I work with. It's not like they're people I can ignore. Yeah, but by leaving like this, you're letting them win. But you know what? I'm past caring. I mean, life's too short, I'm afraid. Oh, well, if you're absolutely certain. Where are you going? Uh, to stay with a friend in Chester. A nice place, do you know it? A, a bit. You know, it's amazing to think there was a major Roman settlement there for 400 years. Do you like history, James? Sorry, sorry, am I boring you? You, Dad, boring? Perish the thought. All right, then. Pubs. There's some real gems in Chester. Yeah, well, don't forget that James is squeaky clean, has never put a foot wrong in his whole life. He might not approve of sinful places like that. It's remarks like that that are driving him away. It's all right. Well, then you should be thanking me. Well, I just hope you're pleased with what you've done. I'm thrilled. Are uh, Sam and Amy all right upstairs? Yeah, they're happy playing. Expecting something? No. It's for you, Dad. Thank you. What is it? Oh. It's on the gas board, explaining why they're increasing their charges yet again. How wonderful. So what is this surprise? Wouldn't be a surprise if I told you. You said you'd tell me this morning. You'll just have to wait for a little bit longer. Have you bought me some work? Why, what would you like? Have you booked us an holiday? Hang on. Let me write this down. What? Is he Armstrong's wish list? <laughs> Stop playing games. Is it some of the flat? It is, isn't it? Is it a new telly? You're not going to get it out of me. Huh? See you back there. Hey, how you doing? You all right? Are you all right is the question. Well, I'm uh, a bit bruised and battered after going through hell these last few days, but now I'm out the other end, to be honest with you. Don't ever think I've felt better. Have you come to a decision? Yep. I'm gonna stay with Leanne. And the other woman? Oh, no, that, that was over before it started. And not just that, we're gonna start trying for another baby as soon as we can. Oh, that's a big jump. You didn't want any more children a couple of days ago. Yeah, I know, you know, but my head was, it was all over the place, but I do now. Are you absolutely sure? Yeah, I am absolutely positive. Yeah, I'm delighted, that's wonderful news. Thanks. So, is Leanne out of hospital yet? Yeah, I'm gonna pick her up later. And she's okay? Yeah, she's uh, she's feeling a bit fragile, but she'll be all right. Listen, I just wanted to uh, say thanks, really, for all the advice you gave me on this. Don't think I said anything, man. Ah, you listened. You know, that, that really helped me to get my thoughts in order. Well, speaking as one father to another, it's all part of the service. Here, you've gone ten minutes without asking what the surprise is. What's the point? You're not going to tell me anyway. You don't have to walk me to work, you know. I don't mind. Haven't you got a job this morning? Yep. So why aren't you doing it? Uh, it will be in a minute. What? You are being weird. I'll see you later then, yeah? Morning, Isabel. Uh... Hey, did you ever read that book? What's that noise by Isabel ringing? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, Kurt, one of these days I'll die laughing at your jokes. It's not that funny. It's all right, you see? Gary is being so peculiar. Why? He keeps saying he's got a surprise for me and then he won't tell me what it is. Oh, I love surprises, me. Yeah, I don't. What are you doing in here? Morning, Gary. You made it, then. Yep. Well, if you'd like to follow me, Kirk, I'll show you what you'll be doing. You've not got a job here. Gary is our new man in packing, everybody. Oh, nice one. What, permanent? Surprise, surprise. Um, You're sure you sent that check? First class. Well, it's not here. I mean, did you get the address right? Yeah. OK, thanks, Paul. Oh, hi. Uh, what time are you planning on leaving? I could run you over if you like. There's been a change of plan, actually. Really? Yeah, uh, that was my friend in Chester. His uh, spare room won't be free till tomorrow now. That means you can stay another day? If that's all right. Excellent news. Well, for me, anyway. <laughs> um, Pat took his out for a meal this evening. Uh, sure. Oh, hello. Have you gone for James? Yeah, is he in? He's right here. Hi. All right. Yeah, not bad. I'm um, just about to make some coffee, girls. Would you like some? Yes, please. Thanks, Ken. 
My dad said he spoke to you about Rob and Janet. That's right, yeah. We don't know whether or not to go down to the police station and make a statement. Well, you've already told them everything, haven't you? Well, yeah, but I don't know. They might still want to know something else. Well, I mean, they know where to find you if they do. Yeah. Why would they want to talk to you again? Rob and Janet have been arrested. Really? When? Well, we found out yesterday. Did you know that? Uh, yeah. 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 So hopefully my dad might be able to get his money back. Well, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, fingers crossed. Oh, isn't this lovely for you, Izzy, working under the same roof as Gary? Yeah. Ah, oh, it's sweet. Oh, every time you need a boost, you can just gaze across the shop floor at your beloved. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, that meeting of the eyes, that sudden thrill. It would be like when the cake order arrives. Ooh. Only times a ten. Then, when you've had your love batteries recharged, oh, you can go back to sewing your gossips with gay abandon. Oh, Gary, we were just saying, must be so lovely you and Izzy working together. Yeah, it's cool. Mm. Have these been through quality control yet? I don't know. Ask her, close, Sally. They were over in that corner. Like I said, I don't know. It's not my department. All right, all right. Have they got little green stickers on the labels? Uh, yeah. And they've been passed. Do you want me to take your packing on that? Wouldn't be a bad idea. Come on, then. How romantic is that? Oh, I bet you've got butterflies, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye. I'm surprised you never told me about Rob and Janet. Why was that? Because I'm sick of talking about them, that's why. But this is a huge development. Rob and Janet are why I'm having to leave here. All the more reason to tell people they're being arrested. I mean, if he's got to clear your name, I'd be shouting it from the rooftops. Well, that's where you and I are different. It's just so depressing having to do things like that to make people believe you. Well, you prefer them all to think you're guilty? They'll find out the truth eventually. Then how bad they feel about falsely accusing me will be down to them. Oh, I don't know if that's a saintly way of looking at things or a perverse one. Whatever. It's how I am. That doesn't explain why you didn't tell me about Rob and Janet. I mean, I never falsely accused you. As I say, I'm tired of talking about it. Will the police want to speak to you again? I've no idea. Oh, hadn't you better give them your new address, just in case? Yeah. Maybe I should. I'll uh, go around this afternoon. I'll come with you if you like. No, I'll, I'll be fine. What's going on? Just sorting out my last box from when we moved in. Yeah, well, there's a pub out here trying to run itself. You've got Betty. Exactly. Hey, it's 11.15. Keep your hair on. I won't be two minutes putting this loss away. Oh, chucking it away. Hey, that's sentimental value, thank you. Well, I'd need to have... Ooh! Authentic Dutch cooking. That's what got me started, looking for my old cookbooks. Thought I'd make Carl and Eva a nice dish for the tea. Mmm, sounds nice. You looking for an invitation? Nope. Honestly, why do women have so many clothes? Are you going to stand there all day, carping? <sighs> Hang on. Oh, what now? Today's post, that's what. Oh, sorry, uh, I've come in and hurry and put my stuff on top of it. Yeah, after you check whether there was anything for you first. Oh, have I missed something? Yeah, Ken Barlow lives next door. Can you uh, make sure he gets this after you've sorted out your valuables? Never know, it might be urgent. Sorry. So, what do we think, then? about Sally running the place. Well, you know what? I don't think she's doing too bad a job so far. Yeah, I'm surprised. What I've always found is, once somebody's elevated to, you know, a top position, they become much less of a pain. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like they don't need to prove a point anymore. Exactly. No more seconding commandite, as I call it. Mm, be right. I suppose she's a bit better this morning. Hiya. Yeah. I've been looking all over for you. Don't sit here, Gary. Yeah, cheers. There's no need. No, it's all right. I thought you'd have waited for me. Oh. Finishing up that job? Well, I've only been five minutes. So do you come here every day? No, we like to ring the changes. Where are you going tomorrow? I don't know. Oh, you just can't bear to be apart from her, can you, Gary? And what's wrong with that, eh? Mm. You manage, love. I haven't broken my legs, Peter. No, I know, but even still, you have to take Just get these... my bag out of the bay, will you? Get your bag, yeah. Nice to see you back. Thanks. How are you feeling? Yeah, not too bad. 
anything I can do. No, I'm fine. Thanks. See you later then. Ken, sorry to bother you. Stella, come in. Oh, come um, in. this came to the pub for you earlier. Sent to the wrong address. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I would have brought it earlier, only I got a bit sidetracked. Yeah, well, I think there's a relief postman on this week. Doesn't quite know his way around. Oh, Peter just brought Leanne back from the hospital. Oh, good, good. I'll uh, I'll give her time to settle in before I go around. Right, well, I won't keep you any longer. Oh, thanks again. Uh, See you next time. Bye. Bye. Please, were you surprised? Don't you mean shock? Why, what's up? We spend enough time together as it is without working under the same roof and all. I thought you'd be happy. I wish you'd told me. But I'm your boyfriend. Yeah, and I love spending time with you. Don't mean we have to live in each other's pockets every minute of the day. You need a break no, sometimes. I don't need a break. Then you're weird. Thanks. Gary, is he? Back to work, please. Don't want you being a bad influence on him. So much for Sally's new enlightened attitude. Oh, yeah, that didn't last very long. Well, what did you expect? Oh, darling, don't take it to heart. It's not her, it's Gary. Oh, I thought you'd like him working here. Well, that was the one place I could get away from him. Is he not going too good? No, it's fine. He's just a bit suffocating sometimes, that's all. What you can do, then? Not what you can do is... Uh... That's that done, then. You went to the police? Uh-huh. And what did they say? Uh, nothing much. Just gave my details to some bloke on the desk, and that was it. So, Deidre out? Uh, she was spending the day with a friend. She should be back soon. Uh, you OK? As a matter of fact, I'm not, no. Why? What's wrong? I was given this a couple of hours ago, just after you went out, delivered to the pub by mistake. I wondered if you knew anything about it. Oh, look, there's Daddy. Hey, hello, sweetheart. Are you having fish and chips? I am, yeah. Why? You should cook yourself something nice at home. I uh, seem to get elbowed out these days by the family and residence. Well, it's worked out well for you then, hasn't it? Giving her the job instead of me. You need a shave. Yeah. Mm. Come and have your tea with us. Oh, I've ordered this special now, so I've got to pay for it. Your funeral. Can we have fish and chips with Daddy? Would you like that? Okay. Be a nice treat, won't it? You don't mind, do you? No, no, no. Why would I mind? Well? It's addressed to you. Why would I know anything about it? And that's all you've got to say? <laughs> well, you've borrowed money against the house. What do you want, my opinion? Except I did no such thing, as I think you know perfectly well. Oh, come on, James, I've had two hours to think about this. I rang the loan company. The house was valued on the day you sent me and Deirdre to the theatre. The surveyor met a man who was acting for his grandfather. Do you want me to go on? Was he the man the day me saw? Is that why you've been jumpy these last few mornings every time the mail comes? And is that the reason why you're staying an extra day? All right. It was me. Why? I felt bad about Kevin losing his money. I wanted to pay him back. Oh, so you thought you'd rob me? I was going to return every penny. And that makes it OK? And in any way, you didn't need 50,000 to repay Kevin. Wh where is the cheque? I believed in you. 
I put my neck on the line for you, against your father, against Tracy. I gave you shelter. I know. And this is how you repay me. I would have just about understood it if it had been an opportunist thing, but to plot it in such detail, stealing my passport, the deeds to the house. Borrowing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's fine then. If you just borrowed it, let's shake hands and forget it ever happened. Whatever possessed you? Was it that scam in the soup kitchen that gave you the idea? You didn't have anything to do with that. Oh, please God say you didn't. Oh, no. Hey, you How are you feeling, eh? Oh, I'm not too bad. Was Cheryl okay about picking Sire? Si yeah, yeah, everything's fine. He's just playing in his room. Right. Can I get you anything? No, not really. That means yes. No, it doesn't. <gasps> yes, it does. Well, I won't mind a cup of tea if you can be bothered. Ah, you see. Do you have a good day? Oh, yeah, I'd say so. I come straight with you, aren't I? Are you still sure about trying for another baby? Why? You're getting cold feet. No, it's just... Well, I don't want it unless you're absolutely certain. It's a big thing. Yeah, I am, I'm certain. And if you're still worried that you're too old to be a dad again, then now's the time to say it. Hey, we had this conversation last night. Yeah, we did. But you've had another day to think about it, and if you have changed your mind, I understand. Lee, look, I just had a little wobble, that's all. Pretty serious one. Yeah, but I'm over it now. Love, I promise. Does this mean I might have a little brother or sister? All that fine talk about making the world a better place. Was that a front or what? It fools most people. I thought you were a good person. The man with the dream, like I was when I was your age. You're no better than a nasty little crook. I'd rather be a crook than a sad, old, boring hypocrite like you. At least I'm under no illusions. I can't believe I'm hearing this. It's about time someone told you the truth about yourself. Well, I might be a pathetic old failure, but I'd never use a charity to con people. And that's a stealing from your own family. <laughs> oh, give me a break. Family? Well, aren't we? I don't have a family. Oh, we all go through phases of rejecting our parents. Oh, spare me the lecture, will you? It was your half-baked 1960s brainwashed apology for a brain that started all this. What? Sleeping around, moving on to someone new when the old girlfriend wasn't doing it for you anymore, regardless of the consequences. I never knew your grandmother was pregnant, if that's what you're getting at. All I know is I'm like I am because of my lousy father. And he's like he is because of you. So what's this, revenge? And what are you saying? Nobody's guilty of anything. We all just blame our parents and do what the hell we want. If you like. Well, that's a complete abdication of moral responsibility. Sorry, this is too intellectual for a nasty little crook like me. I'm going to go get my things and go. And do it again to someone else? Probably. You really have no remorse, do you? The only thing I'm sorry about is getting caught. Who are you ringing? The police. Bad move. No, it's something I should have done straight away. Give that to me. I'm sorry. <coughs> Jack, this is a serious Give fraud. Give it to me, you stupid old fool. Oh. Oh. <coughs> These things aren't as simple as they might sound, you know. Yes, but you were talking about it. I heard you. Because you can try for babies and sometimes, well, it just doesn't work out. And all that. So, would you like a little brother or sister? Do you choose which to have? No, unfortunately, that's the one thing you can't do. Which would you prefer? Boy, of course, girls are stupid. Well, that's a chance you have to take. But I'll put up with a girl if that's what comes, I suppose. So, all told, then, you're in favour? I won't say no. Well, that sounds like a seal of approval to me. Well, if you're serious, you better hurry up and get on with it, aren't you? <laughs> Why do you save your fish till last? Because it's the best bit. That's why you eat it first in case it goes cold. It's not daft, is it? So how many years have you been eating it the wrong way round for? <laughs> how often does it go cold, though? Hardly ever. No, because I eat it first. <laughs> you know, you are looking for trouble. Daddies don't like to be in the wrong. And they eat little girls. Oh, my God, look so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is nice, isn't it, Amy? Having tea with Daddy, the three of us together. Yeah, I love it. Hey, it's Amy's sports day tomorrow. Will you come and see me race, Daddy? 
Well, I'm meant to be working, but I'll see what I can do. Oh, fantastic. Hey, you could come round earlier if you like. We could make a day of it. Oh, oh the queues in Freshco's. And I thought nobody had any money. Ken! What's happened? <sighs> My loving grandson. Boy, he did this to you. After nearly conning me out of fifty thousand pounds. Right, so I'll give the job up, and I won't go in. So if you can just tell them, I don't know, I'll tell them what you want, but I won't be working there anymore because you don't want me to. Yeah, okay. And so what if it means I don't have a job? Well, we've managed till now. We have. So you're happy now? Yep. Good. Because that's all that matters. Mwah. And I'll get another job. Eventually. I just wish you'd told me and then we could have talked about it. I know, I should have. Then it wouldn't have been such a shock. I know. But you didn't and now I don't want you giving it up just for me because then you'll feel badly done to and I'll feel guilty. So, what do you want? I want to be able to turn the clock back but I can't so... Just leave things as you are, I'm sure I'll get used to the idea. And what is it? Is it that you don't want me talking to you while we're at work or...? No. Just tell me. I want us to stop being like this, to stop having to keep apologising to each other. But you don't mind me working there? I will if you keep asking I'm me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry that I'm apologising again. Right, I'll just shift this lot, yeah? Still can't believe it. Well, I can. Really? Yeah, I always thought there was some... At not quite right about him. And I never believed that Goody Two Shoes performance. Perceptive of you. Do you want a paracetamol? Oh, what good will that do? Well, don't you still have a headache? So, are you going to report him to the police? Well, what will that achieve? I think he's made a big enough mess of his life already. So, you're sticking up for him like you've done all along? I'd just rather that his fate was in the hands of other people, not me. Anyway, haven't you got Amy's sports day? Yeah, but it's not until this afternoon. Yeah, and when you do, could I ask you, don't go telling everybody about this business with James. It's something I'd like us to keep to ourselves, if at all possible. Right, so I am right. You are still sticking up for him. I'm asking you not to broadcast a private family matter to the whole world. So is this Ports Day just for children, or have parents got to join in? Well, I shan't, but uh, Steve can if he wants. I don't want you telling Steve. I won't. How do I look? Well, we're talking. After a job or a fella? Both. Oh, OK, so you're going to go to two different places. No. Oh, so the job and the fella come as a package? Yeah, called Nick Tilsley. Oh. So, be honest, do I stand a chance? Well, I think you should be asking, does he stand a chance? Eva, you look great. Well, I didn't want to look too tarty, and then I thought, well, he might like girls that look tarty. Do you really fancy him? Yeah. Why? Should I not? Oh, what's wrong with him? Something wrong with his little brother, but you know, hopefully he doesn't run in the family. <laughs> Let me know how you get on, yeah? Yeah. So I said to your gran, come round two hours and I'll make us all a nice meal and we can celebrate your birthday together. Sorry, she says. Mark's taking me out. Oh, uh, what? You don't like him? Well, I don't dislike him. I just think she should put her family before some fella she hardly knows. Oh, I say good luck to her. Hope I'm still getting strong at her age. <laughs> Fortunately, I won't be around to witness that. Sorry, we're not open. Hi, Nick. Hi. Um, somebody was saying you were looking for bar staff. Oh, uh, were they? Yeah. And, well, I'm experienced. I'm available. And I can start whenever you like. You're not looking for bar staff, are you? Uh, not this minute. Oh. Sorry. You're being misinformed. But we might be looking to take someone on, uh, you know, in a week or two. All right, OK. So you'll keep me in mind? Oh, yeah. I'll keep you in mind. Great. Thank you. Oh, look. I've walked all over your nice, clean floor. I'm sorry. I'll get out of your way. So you can do it again. Bye, Nick. Bye. Well, I hope you won't be thinking of employing her. Or doing anything else with her, for that matter. Yes, Mother.
Have you uh, got any free samples? What are you on about? Knickers and stuff. Working in there, bet you could get me loads of freebies and nobody would ever know. Yeah, but if they did, I'd lose my job and my girlfriend. No chance. Scared, are you? No, just not as daft as you seem to think I am. No, couldn't be. Sorry, Izzy, but this is just not good enough. Why not? Seems real crooked. And is that you saying that? Has Carla run from room? Well, whoever's saying it, what difference does it make? Carla's my boss, you aren't. I'm the acting supervisor. Oh, so it is just you saying it. Sounds that way to me. Do you mind? This has got nothing to do with you. Oh, come on, We're all on All with you? I want these redone. I shall be looking at all your work today. There's no wrong with them. And I'm saying there is. And I'm saying who do you think you are? I'm the supervisor. Acting. And I'm doing my job, which is to supervise your work, which, if I might add, is a bit on the shoddy side. Whoa, now, now. Sally! So, even before you were supervisor, you've been inspecting my work, have you? Not inspecting, I just couldn't help noticing. Yeah, and I couldn't help noticing you think you're better than everybody else. Don't matter whether you supervise or chief washer up. Uh, what's, what's going on? Oh, so your boyfriend's going to give us his opinion now, is he? Is she having a go at you? Just leave it, Gary. It's not to do with you. Yeah, well, that's something we agree on. Oh, look, if someone's having a go at you. Do not. Just go away. Oh, don't worry, Gary. It happens all the time. We all love each other, really. I said. Okay. okay. That's another thing I should be speaking to Mrs Connor about. What? That people who are married or partners shouldn't be working together. Personal relationships shouldn't be brought down on the shop floor. Oh, right. Nobody could accuse you of that, could they, Sally? Thank you, Sean. Right, I want these done again and I shall be looking at everything else you do today. Ignore her. Yeah, like we all do. It's not her that's the problem. Of course I'm disappointed. Of course I'm hurt. Of course I feel betrayed. But, well, the one thing that hasn't changed is still my grandson. Which I would have thought would make it worse. Well, maybe there's something in what he said, you know, about me never having been there for his father. But how could you have been? You didn't even know he existed. Even so. Yeah, I think that is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard in my life. Him blaming you for everything. He's a thief. He's robbed people. He came damn near to robbing us of this house. I do know that, thank you. Which we've only got because of my mother. None of which alters the fact that James is it's still my grandson. grandson. Yes, I know. So does that mean you won't be going to the police? Yeah. Because that will be betraying him. And what's that? Tit for tat? Old Testament justice? I prefer New Testament. I'm sorry, you've lost me. Forgiveness. Condemn the sin, but embrace the sinner. Who's he embracing? Oh, sinners. Tracy, can I ask you once again? I don't want what's happened to yeah, James. Yeah. Broadcast to all and sundry. Give Amy a big cheer from us. I will. See you later. Bye. Besides, I suspect that right now, James is suffering more than any of us. How'd you work that out? Guilt. Remorse. Regret. You want to think that, love? You think it. Oh, and I'll be very disappointed if you aren't entering every single Father's Day event there is. And so will Amy. Yeah, well, I'm a bit out of training. I don't care. You'll be doing it for our daughter. All right, Tina. Hi. Oh, did you see Nick? What happened? Yeah, he says he's not looking for anybody at the minute. Oh. What about his mum? Gail. Mm, she's all right, eh? She used to be my stepmom. <laughs> One of them wicked ones, if you ask me. <laughs> Can I have an orange juice and a packet of crisps? Yeah. Oh, Hi, Leanne. Are you all right, love? Yeah, getting better, thanks. Well, glad to hear it. It's a shame for you, though. Hey, do you want to sit down? Yeah, in a minute, I'm all right. What are you having? Just a uh, lime and soda, thanks. Usual for me, Steve. Oh, and have you heard about James? Or you haven't, I can tell by your face. What? He only turned out to be a con man. Tried to raise money on our house by pretending it was his. And before that, he was involved in that charity scam that took thousands off Kevin Webster. No. And when did this happen? Last night. Dad found out about it and James thumped him and ran off. He did what? He thumped him. Thwack. Is Dad in? Yeah, but... Right, I'm going to go and see him. Hey, hang on, Peter. This isn't one of your jokes, is it? Oh, Leanne, I'm just not that funny. Um... So you're saying James is a con man? Yep. The biggest and the best. He has to know where I am and what's happening to me every minute of every day. Because he loves you. I wish somebody loved me like that. No, you don't. So you told him to back off then? Yeah, and he says he will, but we saw what happened this morning. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to join you. <laughs> hey, is he? He's still following me in here, though. And he'll be keeping his eye on us. Don't worry about that. 
So he tried to rob you and then physically assaulted you? He pushed me. Well, whatever he did, your dad's forgiven him. Oh, you haven't. I just don't see the point in us all calling him names and talking about him like he's the devil in disguise. Did he actually hit you, though? He was trying to get away. So where is he now? I have no idea. I'm going to find him. And when I find him, I'm going to kill him. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Deirdre, where is he? Oh, Peter, I've got no idea, because if I had, I'd tell you. Look, I'm sure he's having a bad enough time on his own. Maybe he's gone back to Leeds. I don't want anybody pursuing James or trying to take revenge on him. Look, <laughs> I know he's let down a lot of other people as well as me, but I brought him into this family, so it's my decision what we do. And that decision is, we do nothing. Thank you. Oh, hello. Come to offer me that job, have you? Uh, no. Just fancied a pint, so I didn't have to pour myself. A pint? Well, you should have been in here earlier. Why? Well, you know Peter, that owns the bookcase? Well, of course you do. And you know his wife? I don't think I want to talk about that. Well, it turns out somebody called James had tried to con Peter's dad out of his house and then had him beaten up. So, meet here about seven and then we'll mosey on into town. Mm, but, but I'm not going clubbing all night. Oh, no. Besides, if we did, my Marcus have something to say about that. Can I call? Yeah. About... Oh, tell him. I'll say I'm going to our caters. <gasps> what if you find out? I won't. Anyway... I need a bit of time away from me before I go mad. So should we say in here at seven? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm coming. Please, I'll need to go to packing and be boxed up. Gary. And you're not here to chat to your girlfriend, so just ignore it and do as I ask, please. What's up, babe? Hey, did you hear what I said? I'm going to go around to our caters tonight. All oh, right. So I thought I'd let you know in case you want to go out with your mates. Yeah, cheers. Sorry, Sal, I'll take these through now. Do you know what? I'm going to have a word with Mrs. Connor and suggest that we shouldn't imply couples, because you've just proved my point. You've spent all your time talking together. It'd be interesting to know what Mrs. Connor says, wouldn't it? What with her having a partner working here? Yeah, now, let me see. There was Liam, and then there was Tony, and then there was Trevor the bin man. Yeah, I mean, there is a danger, Sal. She might think you're getting it at her. Mmm, yeah, be careful. Oh, just get on with your work. Oh, no, you shouldn't have a come to our for presents. No, we take it. No. Oh, sweetheart, that is lovely. Thank you so much. The stuff at the salon get you anything? A uh, box of chocolates. Though I suspect Maria did the remembering and the buy, and the other two just stuck their names now, on. tell me, ma'am, what you were just telling me. You weren't supposed to enjoy then it. you shouldn't have told me. You know my feelings about that, okay, well, look, uh, Ken found out that his grandson, that's James... The new one. Yeah, yeah, was trying to con him out of a load of money. So he challenged him... James thumped him and ran off. Oh, no. uh, must be like the monkey out at the zoo oh. over there. Excuse me. Oh, that'll be Mark. I said I'd be here. Oh, how is poor Ken? I mean, he's older than me, you know. I don't know. I mean, he can't be too happy, can he? Hello, Mark. And he took the lad in because his father practically yeah. disowned him. Come on in. Thank you. Someone looking for the birthday girl. Hiya, Nick. Hey. Hi, sweetheart. Mm. You look younger than ever. Oh, come on. <laughs> Things are so. <laughs> Go, sit down for a bit. Go and get your coffee. And Thank then you. we're just going to call in to an old friend of mine because it sounds like he's going through a bit of a bad time. Oh. Oh, I love that. Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> right, you. Get yourself on that sofa. Yeah, I think I will. What's the matter? Dad's hurt himself. He's pulled a muscle and uh, not just any old muscle. In the leg. Close. Oh. <laughs> How'd you do that? Father's sack race. Only he injured himself just getting in the sack, so he didn't actually make it to the starting line. <laughs> Never mind the finishing. Mm. Looks painful. I'll be fine. I just need a rest. We'll look after you. Right, Amy. Come on, let's go and find some ice, eh? Lots and lots of freezing cold ice. No. <laughs> You've got visitors. How are you? I've been hearing terrible things. How your James tried to rob you and then beat you up. Uh, is it true? Hearing from who? Well, uh, our Nick were telling us. Why, have we got it wrong? No, you haven't. Did we? Well, they haven't. Look, Ken, people are going to talk. I don't care what you do. Audrey, sit yourself down. Oh. And uh, can I ask how your Nick came by this information? Oh, I, I don't know. I've no idea. No. The important thing is, though, that you're all right. You've got no broken bones or anything. I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh. Well, his bones are. 
Look, to be honest, this whole business is something that I'd rather not talk about. He means he'd rather other people didn't. Well, what would you prefer, that we were first up on the national news? No, but you can't keep pretending it hasn't happened, Ken. Like, it can all be swept under the carpet. Who's pretending that? You are. Do you know, I think you would prefer it if James had got away with his nasty little scam. Then we could all still think of him as a saint who's dedicated his life to the poor. I'm going for a fag. Right, I'm going to have a shower and get changed. Well, hang on a sec. What? How can we, shall I? To our Katie's, to talk about what it's like being pregnant and all the things my dad's been saying. And a whole load of other boring stuff. Well, you two can talk and I'll just watch telly. It won't be the same, though. Why not? Well, come on, Gary. She's my kid's sister and she wants the two of us to have a good gossip on her own. If you're there, she'll clam up. I know she will. Well, I'll come with you. But then I'll pop across and see Mum. And afterwards, we'll go for a drink, yeah? I might not want a drink after. Then we'll just come back here instead. Oh, anyway, she just walked out, left us with Ken looking furious. Right, so James hadn't tried to steal from her. Oh, I think he had. Oh, sure he had. He just didn't want to talk about it. It's like he felt the family honour was at stake. Right. So, there we were, having to uh, make our excuses and get out. Well, you can relax now. Can I get you a drink? Uh, two glasses of your excellent Merlot. Thank you. Come in right up. Oh, Martin, I'm so sorry. It must have been embarrassing for you. You hardly know him. Well, I think that's what made it worse for Ken. Mm. It's funny. He is such a lovely guy. And then all his family seem to have turned out to be wrong ones. It's like they were separated at birth and not really his. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. I can't understand why my dad don't want everybody talking about it. But they will. Well, yeah, but well, there's one or two who'll do a bit more than just talk, isn't there? Remember Deirdre's party? Kev Webster came in all guns blazing. What, do you reckon he'll be around there again? Well, I don't see what's going to stop him. And then my poor old dad's going to end up getting another slap. Oh, no, right, we're going to have to do something then. Well, maybe I should talk to Kev. I'll read him no, the riot no, act. No. Why not? Because then your dad will think that... He's your dad. You know him better than I do. Think I'm taking over? Well, yeah, he will, and he'd be right. All right, well, I'll talk to me dad before I talk to Kev. Yeah, you should. I don't know which is harder. Right, should we go or what? Oh, well, let's just give her five more minutes. I bet you Gary has put his little foot down and said, I don't want you to go, I want you to stay here. Oh, he's only doing that because he loves her. Well, he should try loving her a little bit less. Oh, hello. Message from Amy. She says she hopes your groin's better. She wouldn't say that. Oh, she did? Well, tell her thank you, and yes, it's fine. Oh, really? So why are you sitting on Betty's stool? Why shouldn't I? Hmm. Right, what shall I have? Let's see, what's going to make you move about and stretch? Hmm, I know. Vodka and orange. OK. <laughs> Look at you, you're walking like an old man. Am I? Mm. So I'll tell Amy, no, your groin's not better. She can get all her little classmates to make you get well cards. <laughs> She's here. Great, I thought you'd gone. You were seriously thinking about it. Gary decided to watch to come with me. I had a premonition. What did she say? Well, he thinks I'm going to Katie, so I had to try and convince him he'd be bored to death, all that. Yeah. But then he was still saying he wanted to come with me. Oh, no. But finally, I persuaded him that Katie won't want him there. So he said, OK, he'll stay home and watch the telly. And I was out of there like a shot. Oh, you see, now I wouldn't dare do that. Well, she's got a lot of nerve as this one. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. But can we go now, straight away, please, before anyone sees me there and tells him? Of course we can. Come on. I'm coming, I'm coming. Put that chair into top gear. Oh, who on earth? If that's another neighbour come to view the scene of the crime, you'd better keep them on the doorstep, otherwise they get a much ruder reception than they bargained for. Oh, it's you. Hey, I won't ask if he's in, because I can hear him. Oh, I've been hearing him all day. Hey, Dad. Oh, sorry, I thought we might have been Norris or, I don't know. Now, look, you may not like this. Well, he'll let you know if he doesn't. But I've... I've been talking to Leanne, and we both agree that if there's one person outside this family that should be told what's happened, it's Kevin Webster. Why? Well, you know why. Because Kevin's daughter and her mates been involved in this charity scam all along, and Kevin lost a load of money to him. Which he's been at great pains to tell us about. So you think I should tell him that James is part of the gang? No, what I'm suggesting is that I tell him. Because, you know, Kev can get a bit excited, right? And I don't want you getting knocked about twice in two nights. I think that's a good idea. 
Yeah, yeah, well, you may have a point. Good. I'll go see. No! No, 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 this is something I have to do. Dad, come on, look, you know what Kevin can do, be like. I do, I do, but I don't want you doing my dirty work for me. I'll go. Come on, answer. Come on, Izzy, pick up. Oh. Right. If that's how you want it. Look there, told you. Oh, terrific. Sorry about this. I know I'm wasting time. Oh, it came out that fast, I didn't realise I forgot my money. Ah, well, that'll teach you not to tell lies. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, we'll be a minute. You want in this? Yeah, but you were in first one. Oh, no, no, no. You go. I'm in no rush. Oh, well, cheers. Hiya. Is he with you? Is he? No. You're joking me, yeah? She isn't. Mind if I have a look? Gary? 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 Is she hiding from me? Of course she isn't. She's not here. She said that she was coming round. That you'd asked her to. No, I've not even spoken to her today. What are you doing? Cheers, darling. Get off, that's mine! Get off! No! Is it? Are you okay? Sean, help us in the chair. Oh. Rotten scumbag, that's 50 quid he had. I'm phoning an ambulance. I don't need an ambulance. Come on. Julie, I said I'm fine. I don't need an ambulance. Will you hang up? No, but darling, Izzy, your face, it's bleeding. Look, honest, I'm fine. Please, I just won't go home. Hi, love. I'm gonna buy you a drink. Oh, cheers, yeah. Um, white wine would be lovely, please. Stella, uh, white wine and another one in there, please, love. Right. Yeah. Hiya, can I have a pipe for Steve and a glass of red wine for me when you're ready? Don't suppose you'll be paying for him. He does own the place. Do you know what I take my hat off to you? Oh, yeah. Well, first time I came here, you two were at each other's throats. Now look at you. Hmm. Well, we have our ups and downs, but he'll always be Amy's dad. And what with all the misery Becky's putting him through, just trying to bring some normality into his life. Oh, bless. And I think he might just be daft enough to fall for it. Hey, hey, Gary, you all right? Has uh, Izzy been here? Not seen her. Why? Uh, she's going to Katie's, but I thought she might have popped in for him with the factory lot before. How's Faye? Yeah, she's good, Ta. Huh? She's having a sleepover with her friends from school. Oh, it's a look, Chase. It's a lovely school, you know, his bestie street. She seems to be really settling on. Do you want a pint or are you uh, waiting for someone, mate? Uh, yeah, a, a pint would be great. Cheers. Are you sure you're all right? You've got no nausea, no dizziness? Oh, look at the matron. Listen, is it? I still think we should pop past A&E. Since when has anyone ever popped past a and I don't want to sit on plastic chairs surrounded by drunks for four hours. You guys go out. Gary's at home. I'll be fine. I'm not in the mood now. And what are you going to tell your Gary? Because as far as he's concerned, you were round at Katie's. Come on, little Gary. Look, I'll drop you home and I'll meet you at the Rovers later, yeah? There's no need. There is every need. Now, Tom. What's so funny? <laughs> it's the card I gave her. Uh, can I have a look? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, is it too personal? I was showing marks on the old photo albums last week. And when she wasn't looking, I pinched one, <laughs> scanned it and put it on a card. <laughs> oh, yeah, I I have gone actually red opening that. Why, you look stunning. <laughs> you still do. Come on, I'm putting it in my bag. That's an end to it, honestly. Don't know whether to kiss him or kill him. <laughs> Enjoy your food. <laughs> How's your uh, margarita? Mmm, oh. gorgeous. Fancy making another? <laughs> Has your uh, mum said anything about Leanne? Um, she's home, so she must be fine. 
Right. Your grand's a game old bird, isn't she? Certainly is. Or in the family, does it? <laughs> Don't know about that. She leaves me standing at the starting line, that one. Look at her. Gone 17, knocking back the vino with a toy boy, not a care in the world. Wish I was more like her sometimes. Well, Emily, I must have done some number on you. What? My mum runs the local boozy. You can't blame me for hearing all the gossip. Right. That's ancient history. I'm wondering if I should do something special here at weekends. A bit too quiet here for my liking on a Friday night. Oh, what, like karaoke or something? Uh, hey, hey, Gary. Tell them I do a lovely Lady in Red, don't I? Uh, yeah. Isn't that a bit weird, a woman singing about Lady in Red dancing with me? It's a song, girl. Not a declaration of love. <laughs> Or a basse. I love belting out a basse. Hey, I bet you could do a smashing Tom Jones. Come on, no way. Come on. A couple that plays together stays together. Oh, no, no, we're not a couple. He's my landlord. Yeah, we're, we're mates, really. Oh, family connections. Sorry, I, I just thought... You right, Sean? Gary. What's wrong, love? Um, Have you seen Izzy? She's at home, but she, she was on the way home. But you said she was at Katie's. What's wrong? What's happened? We went into town and she got mugged. Mugged? Well, robbed. Um, her chair went over and... Oh, my God. Is she all right? She banged her head a little bit. Hang on, is she home now? All right, come on, you. Hey, to do this to you, Doc, but we need you. What's happened? Is has been attacked. Uh, why didn't you take her to hospital? She said she was fine. Julie's with her. She, she said she was fine. Oh, come on, let's have a drink. Ah, that's better. Nothing like a nice long soak. You fancy relaxing with a nice film tonight? I think that misery's on. Sorry. You know, that one where the woman keeps the writer hostage till he writes her a new book and then she smashes his feet to bits with a mallet. Hardly relaxing. Huh? Where are you going? Peter's right. I need to go and talk to Kevin and Sally. What now? Well, they need to know about James. And they're just as much victims in all this as we are. What do you want? To your head. Would it be all right if I came inside? Yeah, yeah, come in. Kevin needs to hear this too. Oh, are you okay? Um, sit down, please. No, I, I won't, thank you. This isn't a social call. I should hope not, not after what your grandson's Kevin, done. Kevin, shut up. I'm absolutely mortified to have to say this, but uh, I'm afraid James was involved in the fraud at the shelter. I'm so sorry. I flaming knew it. Oh, it's Sean again. Well, it stopped bleeding anyway. I'm more bothered about my chair and the 50 quid that robbing little tour rag had. Off you go. Oh, what is it? You're going to tell him. Just have to come clean, yeah? Play it down, okay? Is it you okay? What happened? What, Dr. Carter? You should be in A and E, love. Well, I did say. What that are you all doing here? Well, Sean said that you've been attacked. Why didn't you pick up? Oh, my phone's been switched off. Right, can you tell me what happened, Lizzie? She was mugged. That cut looks nasty, Doctor. It's nothing. Shall I make everyone a brew? A brew? What are you even doing here? That's enough! This is exactly why I didn't want everyone knowing. I've been robbed, I've bumped my head, I don't need all How this. How do you know? You're the big expert on head injuries all of a sudden, are you? I'm an expert on hospitals. You should know that better than anyone. The amount of time I've spent in them waiting rooms, wheeled down to x-ray, being prodded and poked. I just wanted to come back to my own home and forget all about tonight. I should probably get off. Yeah. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you all should. Look, I've told you I'm fine. You can frown all you like, my love. But I'm not going until he's had a look at your head. I'll make sure the doctor looks at her. There's no need for you to stay. It's the best offer you'll get. You phone me as soon as he's done, all right? Yeah, of course. What I don't get is why you were in town anyway. You said that you were at Katie's. I'll talk about that later, yeah? How about that brew? 
I can only apologise profusely. And he did that to you? He didn't mean to. We argued and he pushed me. It looks a lot worse than it is. I actually can't believe it. I can. The wrong conniving All right, wrong. Kevin. Well, I said all along that lad was a bad one, but no one listens to me, did it? This is not about you. Not about me? That con man robbed me at 20,000 quid. Never mind lowering me daughter into God knows what. Law me into anything. Are you listening, you stupid girl? James had his eye on you the second he found out about my lottery win. Dad, I am sorry. I thought he was genuine. I actually thought he cared about people. When all he actually cares about is himself. Big surprise. I'm so sorry, Sophie. You must feel terribly betrayed. Oh, you reckon, do you? Kevin, he's trying to apologise. Ken's been hurt just as much as any of us. Look at him. He's been harbouring a flaming con man under his roof. For all we know, he could be in on it. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, I should probably go. Yeah, you probably should. I can't speak to Ken like that. Why not? He's always thought he's better than everyone else. How come that big brain of his? There seems to be a blind spot where his own family's concerned. I understand why you're so angry. Just do one, eh? Yeah, please. Well, she seems fine. Yeah, if you can try and get her to A&E over the weekend. Yeah, I'll give it a go, but she's just not one to be told. Yeah, I know. Well, she can pop into the medical centre on Monday if she likes, but if you notice any headaches or dizziness... Then I'll take her straight in. Listen, Doc, thanks. Be all you want. Treating your own grandfather like that. I know. He seemed like such a nice lad and all. I was dead polite and everything. Yeah, all well, that about trying to help people and give something back to the community and all he wanted was money. Yeah, well, thanks for nothing. What did the police say? Thank me for the information. Said the inquiries was ongoing. What about the money? Well, oh, fat chance of getting that back. Thieving posh kid's probably on his way to some beach with it now. Laughing at a lot of us. Dad, I'm really sorry. <sighs> I've been so stupid. Oh, listen, love, if he could fool Ken Barlow, what chance have you got, eh? Do you know what? I'm glad you're such a trusting person. You shouldn't let something like this make you lose faith in other people. What sort of thing's that to tell her? Look, you can just leave it. Sophie's clearly upset by all this. Oh, you'd rather her be cynical and suspicious like you are, reckoning everyone's out to get him? Might be a bit more realistic, yeah? <sighs> I'm going up, Dad. I'm really sorry. Can't you see how upset she is? Oh, she was daft to get involved in the first place. Oh, just go, Willie. I'm sick of looking at your miserable face. Yeah, well, I was right. Don't forget. Yeah, well, sometimes it's more important to be kind than to be right. She's hurt and guilty. And all you're doing is going on about your flaming scratch card money. Why didn't you just say that you wanted to go out with him? What? And you'd have just waved us off with a cheery, have a good time? You'd have insisted on coming along. And what's wrong with that? You're my girlfriend. We live together. And work together. Leave the house together. Have our dinner together. Yeah. Every but... time I want to do some on my own, it involves these endless negotiations. It's doing me head in. I go to the loo at work. I expect you to be waiting outside when I'm done. So it's easy to lie? Yeah, it is. And look what happens. What? I wouldn't have got robbed if you'd have been there. Because I would have been with you the whole time. But that's just it. I don't want a bodyguard. Somebody looking over my shoulder every minute of the day. I feel like I've spent the last few years of my life trying to get my dad to understand that. And now you're doing the same. It's because I love you. No, you do. And my dad does too, but I can't live like that. Suffocated, spoon-fed. Do you know what? I'm glad I was robbed tonight. You are? Because I'm all right. I handled it. Till you lot came charging round like an angry posse in a western. You could have been hurt. Worse. So could anybody. I'm no safer, no more in danger than anyone else just because I'm in that chair. Look at Quinny, boxer, hard man, fit as anything. He was a soldier. He knew the risks. Bad stuff can happen anywhere. Even on the high street, you don't have to be at war. You can't protect me from life, even if you could. What kind of life would that be for either of us? What I don't get... Is what Sean was doing. Gary, stop it, please. Leave it. It's over. 
I'm sorry I lied to you about where I was. But at least now it's out in the open, eh? Maybe we can move on. I might get some fish and chips. I've not eaten. Good idea. I'm starving myself. Are we okay? Yeah. We'll talk some more when I get back. Ah, oh, well, I hope you enjoyed your birthday, Graham. More than I can ever remember, sweetheart. The food was fabulous. Almost on a par with the company. I'm glad. Can I get you a cab? Uh, no, it's okay. Thanks. Um, I hope you're not thinking of driving after all this, uh, Jeffrey Chandler. No, of course not. No, I, I was wondering if you might fancy a nightcap at my place. And you didn't want Nick to know we were getting one cab instead of two. Well, he's your grandson, after all. Mm, you are such a thoughtful man. And yes, I would love a nightcap. Thank you. Nick, I'm really sorry about that crack I made about Leanne before. I could kick myself. Oh, forget about it. It's public knowledge anyway. It's just uh, still a bit raw, you know? Uh, yeah, of course. And I'm not normally the bitchy type. <laughs> Just trying to get my head around all this secret half-sister stuff. It's not easy. Yeah, I can imagine. Like I said, forget it. Oh, it's again sweet. Mm. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Good night. Bye. Now, um, we can get a cab at Street Cars. Mm, very cloak and dagger. <laughs> Who did they think they're kidding? Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm not interrupting anything, am I? What are you doing here? I just thought I'd come and see if you're OK. It uh, can't be much fun. Mm. I'm obviously not the fit, sporty athlete I thought I was. Steve, you were never the fit, sporty athlete you thought you were? Mm. You know, I've been sat here thinking, and what on earth has happened to my life? I mean, my marriage is a disaster. I've driven me mum away, me dad into prison. I share me home with three virtual strangers. And this bag of frozen peas is the closest I've come to an intimate encounter in months. <laughs> but you've got a little girl next door who thinks you're the best daddy in the whole wide world. Oh, did she say that? Mm. She was talking about you in a sports day until she fell asleep, bless her. Mm. Thank you. Hey, get a room, you two. Oh, get your own pub. Everything all right out there? I'm on my own, but I need changing. Oh, I'll do it. No, I'll do it. You go on. Oh, OK then. And uh, thanks again for today. It meant the world to Amy. What? I'm saying now. There you go. Thanks, sir. Thank you. you feel a bit better after your bath? Oh, got some bruises I can cope with, but if you could have felt Kevin's absolute fury at me. Oh, well, you can hardly blame him. Yeah, I suppose not. An old fool like an old fool. Oh. Uh... oh, you're not still feeling sorry for yourself? Oh, Tracy, will you have a bit of sympathy? What, do you think I like the fact that James did this to Dad? Lied to him? Made a fool of him? Then beat him up? He didn't beat me up. Look, he caused those injuries like he's caused everything else that happened. Listen, you are not to blame. You saw through him, didn't you? Yeah, you had his measure right from the start. I just thought he was a rat-faced little weasel. I didn't see all this coming. But if a bang on the head is what it took to get a shot of him, I say that's a small price to pay. Small price to pay? He conned 20,000 pounds out of the Webster's. Exactly, the Webster's, not us. Happy days. Happy days? Ma'am, will you stop repeating what I say? Look, I'll say it one more time. You are not to blame. Tell that to the neighbours. Oh, I will. And a lot more besides if I hear anyone saying anything bad about you. You're in a good mood. Yeah, well, it's been a good day, all things considered. Oh, you should have seen Amy. And mum and dad together, getting on, having a laugh. Oh, we were all so happy. I'm glad. <laughs> ah, me too. There's been precious little of that lately. Mm. Right, I think I'll get myself an early night. Night, dad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, you look after him. Yeah, I will. Have you been putting anything in her teeth? 
All right, love, will you take it easy and I'll be around first thing in the morning? No arguments. Yeah, all right, night, love. So she's all right, is she? Yeah, give me a right scare, though. You know, I don't know which one of them girls is going to give me grey hairs first. Oh, I know the feeling, believe me. So Lizzie's all right, then, is she? Yeah, she just takes a fuss, that's all. I got her settled at her place, nice and quiet, and our resident drama queen is, and the cavalry round. Don't blame me. I walk in here and Gary asks me if I know where Izzy is. What was I supposed to do? 5.40, please. What the hell do you two think you were playing at? Eh? Oh, God, here come them grey hairs. Scheming with Izzy behind my back, making her lie about going into town. Can you back off, please? We're as shaken up about what happened tonight as you are. No, 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 I doubt that. All right, Gary, I know you're upset. No, Mum. Hey, we are not going to take the blame for this. Look, if Izzy has to lie to you because she wants a night out with her mates, well, then that's your lookout, not ours. No, I know what you like. Filling her head with all sorts. She's a grown woman. She can make her own decisions. Exactly. And for your information, she has to come out with us. So if you are so insecure... And it's... Oh, Come on, say it again! Oh, well, well, what do you think you're doing? Get you left now! Can we leave Offy? I want him out! You monster! How could you do that to Sean? He has been nothing but concerned for Izzy! Because he's lied to me! And he's got my girlfriend hurt, now you two stay away from her! Do you understand me? Come and sit down. I said I want him out! Just get out, you nasty little bully! Just let him calm down, love. He's had a shock tonight, all right? He's had a shock. Have you seen poor Shawnee's face? <coughs> oh, do you know, I can honestly say this is the bestest, bestest birthday I think I've ever had. I've had a wonderful time, oh, too. I just don't want it to end. doesn't have to. Listen. I know this whole Marcy business oh, is difficult for you. I'm not with Marcy, am I? Hmm? I'm with Mark. And right now there's nobody I'd rather be. Say. I think I rather would. Yes. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday, me. Must have dozed off. The uh, place around the corner was shut, so I had to go to the one by the roundabout. You still look a bit shaken up. Yeah, I'm fine. Just frightened about what could have happened to you tonight. Are you sure you're okay? Come here, you daft thing. I got robbed, that's all. Could have happened to anybody. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you ever again. Not ever. Take my chair in there. Well, it won't be open yet, will it? Oh, I know the guy who runs it. He's always there early. Oh, I could give him a call, get him to open up special. Just relax, will you? Right, what do you want for breakfast? Uh, we've got some Cheerios, or I think there's one crumpet left. Oh, I best phone work. Well, no, I'll do that in a bit. Well, you, Sally's number. Don't make a big deal out of it. Tell her I'm fine. But you're not fine, are you? You've been mugged and you're up all night reliving it. No, I wasn't. I was up all night listening to you, gnashing your teeth and swearing to yourself. Because I couldn't stop thinking about how much worse it could have been. But it won. I survived. I'm sorry I lied to you, Gary, but you're all over me. I might as well be tagged. I just wanted to go out once on my own without you monitoring me every move. Yeah, and look what happened. The only thing that's broke's me, chair. It's done with. Not else to say. Or is there? No. No, there's nothing else to say. You're going to run up the town hall steps this morning? I don't understand. It's a reference to Rocky. Did it hurt? No. I was numb with shock. Well, shock's the best anaesthetic there is. Mind you, when the shock wore off, didn't half sting. Mm. Has Dylan seen it? Only in the dark. I went in and opened the curtains and then left in profile. What are we going to tell him? I don't know. Um, 
If it's not cleared up by tea time, I'll make some up. Say, I stood on a rake. Yep, suits you. Is it your first? Second. Tell you what, I'll be able to come up with all those macho cliches, won't I? Like, oh, you should see the other bloke. You want me to have a word with him? With Gary? No, no, no. I'm keeping my powder dry. What for? Out of, um, cowardice mainly. It's really shaking me up. I'm not surprised. Uh, Jason says, do you want him to smack Gary for you? No, I do not. <sighs> do you want me to smack him? Ali, no, for Izzy's sake and for yours, no thank you. D Dylan, are you nearly ready? No, uh, Rosie's trying out some blusher on him. Well, as long as she's washed it off before he goes to nursery. Eccles, wait, wait. Good girl. Amy. Hi, Dad. Morning, sexy. Hello, Tracy. How's the groin this morning? A bit tight, actually. <laughs> well, you know spring chicken. Hey, if you want somebody to give it a rub, I'll be more than willing. I'll bear that in mind. Fancy spending the day with us? I can't. I'm behind the bar. Oh, we'll get Tina in. She's in tonight. Mm. Amy would have loved that, wouldn't you, Amy? Yeah. Well, I'd have loved it too, but a man's got to work. Oh, she was after showing you a new bedroom. Now that Jessie James has gone, she's got Gran's old room. Is that safe, her sleeping downstairs? What if you get burgled? Steve, do you mind? You're going to scare her. Well, make sure there's good bolts on the windows. Oh, would you want to do it? Yes, I will when I've got time. Oh, isn't Daddy brilliant? <laughs> Who's that from? An old flame? Ah, very amusing. Are there any? It's from Becky. She managed to scribble something on the back? It's a very nice missive, actually. I'm surprised she can write her own name. She makes her feelings known where others, far more literate, might fail. And what sort of mischief is she getting up to? Well, she's uh, a fair amount of night clubbing, it would seem. She says the weather's nice. And she wishes Hayley and I were there, although I suspect she doesn't really mean it. But you two, clubbing in Crete. No, I suspect she doesn't. I think we'll put that one down to convention, Roy. Good morning, good morning. And what a divine sight I see before me. Good morning, Mr Tanner. <laughs> one that can only be improved upon by the merest little detail. And what would that be? A full English breakfast carried in your fur hands and delivered to this table. No sooner said than done. Good girl. Right, now then, where are you, lead? Ah, gotcha. Right, I'm, uh, I'm just going to take Eggy Thumb for a walk. Mm -hmm. The uh, under the Baskervilles, I'm just taking her for a walk. Oh, you don't mind, do you? No, no. Oh, I've uh, run you a bath. Thank you. And your books on the chest of drawers in the bedroom and I've put fresh batteries in the waterproof radio. Wonderful. Say bye-bye to Daddy. <laughs> Come. Do you want me to smack him? I mean, I'll do it outside of school hours. <laughs> we know come back. Look, he was wound up and I was his scapegoat. Let's just leave it at that. Sean, come here. Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, can I touch it? Yes, but only lightly, it's still tender. Oh, bet it hurts more on the inside, doesn't it? No. I still think you're a fool not involving the police. Is he's a good friend of mine and I'm very fond of Anna. It's got nothing to do with them. Can I just ask you something? Are you literally walking me to work? I'm looking out for you. Yeah. Being a victim is so embarrassing. Ah, oh, so here he is. We've been running up the town hall steps today. Done that one. Oh. Has anyone heard from Izzy? I think she needs a bit of space. Shall we have a whip round for some flowers? Mm. Oh, what a night by the sound of it. Who told you? Gail. She wasn't even there. Well, for what it's worth, I think Carla should sack Gary with immediate effect. Ben can smack him. So go on, give us a blow-by-blow -blow account. Well, we went into town. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Who's this? Hello? Oh, hi, Gary. We're just talking about you. How's Izzy? Tell him he'll have me to deal with this morning. And me. And me. And Jason. So you're not coming in, then? Either of you? Well, do you know what? That is probably a good idea. Give Izzy our best. Bye. I'm not coming in. Either of them. He says he needs to fix a wheelchair. 
How convenient. Thank God for that. She all right about it? What could she say? She might wonder why you weren't going in. I said that was looking after you. I don't need looking after. I'm not giving you a choice. Oh, come on, Gary, that's lame. Caring is lame. So now that's done, you're going to take my chair in? Oh, chair this, chair that. If you really want to help me, if you really want to that's the only thing I'm bothered about right now. Well, can I not get dressed and have a shave first? Since when were you bothered about shaving before you left the house? Uh, I'll have you know that this takes a decent amount of maintenance. Well, hurry up. Else I'm liable to get vicious. Hmm. Now you're talking. Mwah. Quiet in here today. We should have been in an hour ago. We were rushed off our feet. Becky help out, did she, or is she still upstairs in bed? No and no. Who's been to Cree? Nobody. Who's it from? It's from the mad one. Becky? Well, what's she doing out there? She's attending a symposium on the Minoan civilization. Oh, let me read it. No, it is addressed to Roy and Haley. Oh, come on. Hey, I told you about Haley's sex change. What, you think I'm grateful for that? Look, I just want to have a laugh at her spelling. Well, all right, go on, you can have a quick peek. But the sun is shining, you can rest assured. Who's Clarky? Oh, it's a new fella. What? Did she meet him out there? No, no, they went together. Whirlwind romance. They say she's head over heels. Get away. Oh, the sun shins out of his backside by all accounts. Rumour has it they may not even come home. Is this a wind-up? Oh, I'd be crushed, Tracy. Oh, me too. <laughs> when we're not in bed, we are either lazing around by the pool or larging it in all the banging clubs, what are everywhere? In my day, they taught grammar and punctuation too. You know, my shopping lists are as Shakespearean sonnets compared to that. Oh, Amy can spell better. Oh, oh yeah, give it here. Ah, Tracy. Hi, Roy. Come on. Oh, that water will be cold by now. Ah, uh, hello, you two. What water? Your bath? I forgot. Ah, oh, I got it all ready for you. Put fresh batteries in the waterproof radio. I suppose start the week's finish now. Oh, come on, love. I don't like seeing you like this. I keep forgetting it's happened. He's disowned. Sort of drift into a daydream and then it hits me all over again. I try not to think about it. I feel like one of those old age pensioners on the front page of the Gazette after they've been burgled and attacked. You said yourself it was only a shove. And it's not like there are any bones broken. Come on, you're all right. I feel black and blue. And very, very old. And you're still without your chair. Yeah, Gary's taken it in. I used to have a spur, but it died ages ago. How long will it take him to fix it? They're normally pretty good, so you should do it there and then. And how are you feeling? Yeah, let me stick the kettle on. I bet you're still shaking up, aren't you? I know Sean is, but the good news is I don't think he's going to press charges. Against who? Eh? Why would Sean press charges against a bloke who attacked me? Against Gary. What? <sighs> he hasn't told you, has he? Told me what? I don't believe it. And have you not spoken to Sean? Not this morning, no. Why? What's happened? Last night, Gary charged into the Rovers and belted Sean. <laughs> Shut up! In front of everyone. He's blamed Sean for what happened. You're not joking, are you? I wish I was. I obviously didn't want to admit it. But he knew I'd find out. It was a moment of madness. He'll be embarrassed and ashamed. I better phone Sean. Would you pass us my mobile? Oh, you'll see him soon enough. I'd let it blow over. Blow over? My boyfriend smacked me mate for no good reason and you don't think I should phone him to apologise? Well, it's Gary that wants to be apologising. <laughs> well, that's going to happen. Well, from what I can tell, Sean's prepared to put the whole thing to bed. Extenuating circumstances. 
Sean went through it too, you know. It was very frightening. I'm sure it was. I remember when I got mugged outside Victoria Station. My aunt were pounding for a month. The only reason I didn't tell him where I was going last night was so he didn't pop up out of the blue, wanting to hold me caught, wanting to walk me home. Did you know he'd been screening my calls? No. My mate Will from Fresh Course. Look, he's been through a very traumatic experience. You know, since Quinny, then the crash. Life gets on top of him. But you're the best thing that's ever happened and I'm so frightened you'll abandon him. Finally, Ricky Atten. What's she doing here? I thought you'd have told her. Sean's my mate, he supported me. He just stood there like a muppet. Well, what else could he do? She was dragged from a chair and he did nothing. She could have been killed. Half an hour later, he's in the Rovers knocking back Brandy. Because he was in shock. And I don't need you here stressing her out, OK? She's been attacked. She didn't want to be going through it over and over again. I am absolutely fine. Now, I'm going to crash out because I'm done in. But when I get up, I want her gone. No, I can't take him. I'm working in the Rovers tonight. Why can't you? I thought you said you could pull a sticky whenever you wanted. Okay, okay, okay. I'll phone Steve and ask him if he'll swap shit. No problem, huh? <sighs> Dylan's got this preschool reading thingy Bob tonight at Bessie Street. Only we've both forgotten. Oh, is he going to go to Bessie Street? Well, if he's still there. Have you talked to Violet about this? Not yet. Put his name down. What? No way. Because you've got to apply. It's not going to happen by magic. Steve will give you the night off, surely. Oh, obviously you haven't worked for him. What are you doing ringing? Don't ring. Just speak to him face to face. I'm not. I'm ringing Marcus. He's just given me a right earful for even suggesting that he pulls six. Hello, yes. My eye? Well, it's getting a lot better, thanks for asking. You child. I thought you didn't want to talk about that anymore anyway. I don't. Is it going down? A bit. Good. Oi! You three. Back to your workstations. Oh, but Sally, it's my eye. Oh, your eye, my eye. You must think it was born yesterday. We were just seeing if it needed some medical attention. Reading magazines. You'll need medical attention, Julie, if you don't get back to work right... Who opened my biscuits? What sort of charity work? Well, she didn't really say, which sounds ominous. As little as I can get away with, hopefully. Well, good old Emily, I say. She'll find a use for you, yeah. <laughs> you know what it's like volunteering. You hear the words coming out of your mouth and already you're regretting it. It'll keep you around for a while, though, won't it? How is that with you? That's fine by me. Deirdre! I've uh, come for his paper. Right. How is it today, the old rogue? Oh, not very roguish, I'm afraid. Although, maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> now, I think subdued is more like it. Yeah, I don't wonder. I thought that boy was a saint, Deirdre. A saint. And he took us all for fools. Mm. It was an awful thing, what happened. Awful. Well, Ken feels responsible for losing Kevin's money. Although, from what I've heard, Kevin could have been a bit more sympathetic. Well... Sally did say as much. The shame of it is bad enough, with on top of the physical pain. He is in the wars, isn't he? I've not seen him this bad for a long while, Rita. We'll pop round later and see if we can shake some life into oh. the old dog. <laughs> You'll have to get dressed first. <laughs> well, I'll pop in and say hello. Or I'll draw the line if he's still sat in his underpants. I'll see to it. <laughs> oh, he'll soon rally round, love. It just takes a little longer when you get to our age. <laughs> Give him our best in the meanwhile. I will. Thank you. OK, love. See ya. Hello, sexy. Hello, right, Tracy. Um, glass of lemonade, please. What's that? It's a cable bill. You know, honestly, I swear that they make up some of these charges. Paper bill charge. I mean, they're literally charging me for the paper that the bill is printed on. I mean, are they no shame? No, of course not. What have you been up to? Well, we fed the ducks, kept Dad company for as long as I could bear, which wasn't very long. Oh, and uh, we popped into the cafe, had a read of the Mad One's postcard, Sylvia's words, not mine. Mad One? Becky, she's having a great time over there. Over what? In Creek? Oh, sorry, didn't you know? She's out there with a new boyfriend, Clarky. Apparently, they're in love. Rumour has it she may never come back. They spent the whole week in bed. And you've come to say I told you so. No, actually, I thought you knew. And I just wanted to say 
that I'm here for you, Steve. Yeah, I know you're here for me, Tracy. That's part of the reason why she's gone. Hey, don't have a go at me. I'm the one offering to cook your tea. I'm the one trying to make you spend more time with your daughter. I'm a picture of domestic sanity compared to that drunken old tart. No offence. Do you want your lemonade? Uh, no, it's all right. And, um, give me a shout if you need some TLC or that groin rub I promised you. Well, thanks for breaking it to me so gently. I did try. Steve, may I say you're looking rather dashing today? Nope. But you don't know what I'm going to ask? No. Oh, it's just that Dylan's got this thing. No. What's the capital of Finland? No. Sorry about before. No, well, she's gone now. But you really upset her. I'll call her in a bit. What's going on, Gary? Where's my chair? It won't be ready for a day or two. They said that the electrics were knackered. No, they weren't. That's what they said. Well, did they offer you a replacement? Nope. I haven't got a spare. No, you'll be all right. You'll be staying off work anyway. Why would I? After what you've been through. Why didn't they offer you a replacement? Oh, I don't know. Does it matter? Look, you're staying at home. We can manage. It's just for a few days. Now, is that it? Because I'm nipping out for some food shopping. Mr. Motivator's here. Hello, Ken. Oh, hello, Dennis. Hello, love. Hi, Rita. <laughs> we brought you some sweets. They're months past their sell-by date, but they won't do you any harm. <laughs> Nothing of the kind. Sit yourselves down. I'll go and put the kettle on. How about you open them? Oh, help yourself. <laughs> uh, your young lady says there's no news on James. No, not as yet, no. That was the police again. Oh. Asking if I had any ideas where I might have got to. And Kevin gave you what for? Well, everyone's still a bit raw, and he wants his money back, of course. Ken, nobody could see this coming. Maybe he was such a polite chap. Yeah, well, Tracy took against him immediately. Family, though, yeah. blinded by love, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I think of all the other poor beggars, there are a lot of us grateful for that place, Ken. We relied on their goodwill. It makes me want to wretch to think it was all a facade. Yeah, for once, we should have listened to Tracy. He's still my grandson, though. If the little thug was round here again, I'd see to him myself. Well, you'd be joining the back of the queue, and I'm afraid Kevin Webster would be at the front. Yeah, I think for James's sake, it's better if he keeps out of the way. Why don't we all repair to the rovers? The sooner you face life, the better. Do you know, I think that's a jolly good idea. Yeah. You're right, Dennis. There's victims of this crime a lot worse off than I am. That's the spirit. Thank you. Hiya, it's uh, Izzy Armstrong. My boyfriend brought me chair in this morning, only there seems to be a bit of confusion. He said the electrics are gone and it'll take a few days. Oh, I must have got the wrong end of the stick. No problem. Right, thanks, cheers, bye. One of them swirly ones. Is that for Hayley? Yeah, she just popped in with the baby. Mm. And a, uh, oh, and a Manchester tart, another one for Sally. That's two from the top, one from the bottom. It's like <laughs> Countdown. Well, I nearly went on Countdown once. Oh, John Stapes Granny was on 15 to 1. Go on then, how far did you get? Well, I thought about applying, and then... Oh, I well, we've all thought about applying, haven't we? This is going to be £6.80, please, sure. OK. I can't believe Steve said no. Well, he wouldn't even hear me out. And Eileen can't do it. Why not? Well, do you know, it's funny. She didn't even come up with an excuse, which I thought was rather novel. She just said she didn't want to. No, little Bob Dylan will have to miss out. I'll take him. You? Well, why ever not? Well, you might lose him for a start. Oh, don't be soft. Who do you think I am? Rosie Webster? No! I have a great rapport with the under fives. Plus, I would love to be a school mum for an hour. Well, I was considering a sickie. Oh, no, but you can't do that. You've just asked to swap shifts. Why should I miss out? Well, you'll have plenty of opportunities. This is my one big chance. All right, I'll have a think about it. Yes! I said I'll have a think about it. Where is it? Where's what? I've spoken to the wheelchair shop. What do you have to go and do that for? I told you how long it'd take. And you lied! I'm making you an omelette for tea. Garrett, I don't want an omelette. First you attacked Sean, but now you're hiding me chair from me! Get it back soon! No, no! I didn't need to call the wheelchair shop. You shouldn't have let Mum in, and she shouldn't have told you about Sean. 
We don't need anybody else. You're safe here with me. So all this is about? Oh, what are you doing? Who are you calling now? Calling me dad. No, you're not calling anybody. Give me that. No. I said give me that. What is happening to you? This is the only place that you're safe, okay? I'll protect you. Not Sean, not your dad. Me. I don't need anyone to protect me. I can take care of myself. Like you did when you went to town, you mean? Well, that can happen to anyone. But it happened to you. And it wouldn't have if I'd been there. Maybe not, but you can't wrap me up in cotton wool. Life's full of risk, Gary, in a way. That's what makes it exciting. So you enjoyed getting mugged, yeah? No, but... It's the world we live in. You have to accept that, otherwise you'd never set foot outside the front door. I just want what's best for you. Yeah, and it'll be great for us to spend some time together, just me and you. You want that, do you? Of course I do. Just not because I need protecting. And we'll have a great time, yeah? We've got plenty of beers in the fridge. A pizza in the freezer if you really don't want omelette. We've got everything we need. Right here. This means a lot. It really does. Oh, give over. You're doing me a favour. Oh, I know, but it's just that you're willing to put your son's life in my hands. Julie, you're taking him to a reading group, not operating on him. Oh, hiya, you too. Hey, how's your Izzy doing? Oh, we're all thinking of her. I sent her a text earlier, but she's not got back. Is she resting? I'm not supposed to her myself. She should have done me earlier. Oh, will, will you give her our best regards when you do? Yeah, we'll do. Oh, See ya. Sure. I feel dead guilty now. Maybe we should pop round and make sure she's all right. Well, Gary's with her. She'll be fine. Maybe it's going to make you feel better. Yeah, it will. Mm. Oh, I love a bit of Luther Vandross. Really? Didn't have you pegged as the romantic type? Oh, yeah, there have been moments. Next time he's on at the Emmy and Arena, we'll take our Stella. Did you see Luther Vandross? Yeah, I'd love to see him in the flesh. I wouldn't. He's been dead five years. Maybe more. Hey? No, no, mate, you're mistaken him for someone else. It's Trust me, mate. He's plucking his heart with the choir and visible. I don't believe it. Oh, but I know what happened. I bet you he croaked while I were on holiday, abroad like. That'll be it, mate. Same thing happened to me and Rod Hull. I said to Steve, you don't see much of him on the telly anymore. Then he told me the whole story. Thought he was winding me up at first. See? Forget looking at your passport when you come on. What they want to do is give you a list of everyone who snuffed it while you were away. <laughs> Save a lot of unnecessary grief. Shift. You're right, mate. What do you think? Well, she's not even in the country and she's got me upset. Liz. Becky! She's only going away with some bloke to Crete. Oh, it's meant to be nice there, mate. Sorry. But Steve, it was bound to happen eventually. People move on. Yeah, well, not me and Becky. Honestly, the thought of her with another bloke. What do you want to do? Is get back on the horse. Yeah. We should all go for a drink. Raise a glass to Luther. Luther? <sighs> Don't even go there. I'm serious. Best thing you can do is go into town, hit a few clubs. The only thing I'm going to be eating is a bottle of scotch. Hey, yeah, that's not going to solve anything. But I've just lost the love of my life for good. Have you got any better suggestions? How's your pizza? Good, yeah. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Who first thought about putting ham and pineapple together? I mean, it's mad, isn't it? But it works. I suppose it does. So, what are we going to do tomorrow? Well, you've got to take it easy. I know, but if we're going to spend more time together, I don't want to be dependent on you. It's what I'm here for. It's no bother. But it is to me, Gary. I need my wheelchair. I can't stand not being able to do things myself. I hate it. OK, I'll bring it in tomorrow. It's all the same. I'd rather you brought it in tonight. Right, it'll be safe in the van than anywhere. You don't need to be going anywhere. Gary! It's for your own good. I've told you. You need to rest. But I'm fine. No. No, you just think you're fine. When you've been through a trauma, the worst thing that you can do is rush your recovery. I should know that better than anybody. Now, do you want another beer? Come on, Mr. Slow Coach. Your Auntie Julie's waiting. Oh, thanks for that. What? Auntie Julie. Nobody's ever called me that before. Oh. So, is there anything that I need to be aware of? Well, you know where the school is. Oh, don't... yeah, no, I didn't mean that. I mean, do I need to take nappies and... Nappies? Julie, he's nearly four. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I don't know about these things. Oh, actually, neither did I. But no, you don't need to take nappies. But if he does say he needs a wee or a... then do not hang about. 
Hey. Hiya, love. Don't worry, he's just doing his shy boy routine. Well, it's not like his dad, then. <laughs> You sure he's going to be all right with me on his own? Listen, you just give him two minutes and then you won't be able to get a word in edgeways. <laughs> Hi, Dylan. I've got some sweeties for the journey. Do you want one? Go on, you can. Here you are. What do you say? Thank you. Oh, I'm good, lad. <clears throat> Thank you, Auntie Julie. <sighs> right, well, let's make tracks. Say bye-bye, Daddy. Good right, guess. Okay. Come on, you look after your Auntie Julie. Good luck. So once a night, let me get what I want. Lord knows it will be the first time. Have you never heard of knocking? Yeah, well, you wouldn't have been able to hear me over this racket. Oh, a bottle of scotch and the Smiths, eh? Chucking a length of rope, you've got yourself a DIY suicide kit. All suicides DIY. And if anything was going to tip me over the edge, it wouldn't be the sound of Morrissey. It would be the sound of you gloating. Hey, I haven't come here to gloat. I was actually worried about you. Well, you're all heart. No, listen. I understand how you must be feeling. Well, it must seem like your whole world's collapsed. Oh, no, it's not collapsed. It was demolished and it was you that was swinging the flipping wrecking ball. Hey, I wanted my daughter with me. I'm not going to apologise for that. Especially not to you, because in my shoes, you would have done exactly the same thing. Well, you did do. But you know what, Steve? You sit here blaming other people if that makes you feel better. But you know what? You're not going to get any sympathy from anybody. No, all right, all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You were right. You were right. You did what you had to, same as me. I just wish you hadn't. Yeah, well, believe me, I wish there'd been another way. You know, I'm on your side, Steve. I always have been. Because despite what you think, I am a human being, you know. I can be nice sometimes. Well, maybe I'm not used to people being nice, caring. Not recently, anyway. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, why don't you come round for your tea tomorrow? Amy would love to see you. And nobody reads a bedtime story like Daddy. That's what she says, anyway. Oh, she? Yeah. I can't compete. So, shall I tell her you're coming or what? I don't think it's such a good idea. Look, what is the harm in making your daughter happy? All right, I think about it. And listen, thanks for asking. I appreciate it. Any time. Hey, I mean that. Now, are you absolutely sure that you don't need the loo? Don't blame me for checking, love. I'm a slave to my lad's bladder. Always spring on you at worst times. Yeah. Middle at supermarket, the pictures, during wedding ceremonies, christenings, yeah. funerals, hairdressing appointments, just as you're getting on a plane, just as you're getting off a plane, half without motorway, the amount of times we've been stood on hard shoulder with his trousers around his ankles. Still, we've all been there, haven't we? Oh, as mothers, yes, I see. Got a lovely little blonde hair, yours. Mm. His image of you. Oh, actually, he's so... What's his name? Dylan. Oh, that's nice. Don't worry, we've got a Toby, a Summer and a Nobber Femi, so they'll not stick out. Right. Stay at home, Mum, are you? Oh, no, I work. Part-time, is it? Oh, no, full-time at a factory. He's uh, well looked after, I'm sure. You don't have to justify yourself to me. The very fact that you have come straight here after our day's graft tells me all I need to know. No, I admire you. I didn't catch you. Truly. Lindsay. No, it's merge juggling work and family. I only do two days at Chippy and I feel like walking dead most of the time. So I take my hat off to you, love. I really do. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. Sorry I'm late, ladies. <laughs> there was an incident on the log trail. Poor lad split his difference on the monkey bats. But he's all right. right. Anyway, uh, today we will be reading from the uh, hat in the cat. No, uh, the... Cat in the hat, and from the hat, the cat in the hat comes back. Yes. They must be out. They can't be. Gary's van's here. Well, they could have gone for a walk. What round here? It's not exactly the Lake District, is it? Hey, maybe it's a bad time. 
bad time. A bad time to be disturbed, like the blinds are down. Oh, you mean they might be? Yeah. <laughs> We won't be long, just want to make sure she's all right. Why wouldn't she be? She's with Gary. Yeah, I know, but... Just... <sighs> I'm here. I hope we're not disturbing, yeah? What do you want? Um, just come to check on Izzy. People have been asking after her. She's fine. Great. I was hoping we could have a chat with her. You can't. She's, uh... She's asleep. Unless all that knocking's woken her up. Sorry, mate. Well... Come, come in and wait till she... She just needs to rest. OK, she'll call when she wants visitors. And cat U and cat V and little cats W, X, Y and Z. Though, of course, in this country that should be pronounced Z. Thank you for listening, everyone. <laughs> but my next lesson will be my last. Uh, yes, I should be yes. pleased to hear Mr. Anderson's had his stitches out and we'll be back next week, so thank you. That's a pity. It's very good. They were in the power of his hand. Oh, yes, I would. Yes, they were. <laughs> so, Dylan, what did you think? Are you glad your man brought you? She's not my Oh, mom. here, Dylan, have another sweetie for being a good boy. I could scarcely <laughs> believe my eyes when I saw you sitting there. Oh, oh. I'm a pretty gobbled match as well. <laughs> I think this just started out as an, another Monday, just like any other. <laughs> Little did I realise that Kismet had deigned to join my class. Kismet? Names they give the kids these days. This one's called Dylan. How many times it was nobody? I heard a voice and know my own sister. All I want to do is keep you safe. Why are you making it so hard for me? But this isn't safe. I don't feel safe. But I would never do anything to harm you. This is harming me. It's harming both of us. Please, Gary, just stop this now and lock the door and get me the chair. I can't do that. You don't understand what it's like out there. Not everyone's like you. They're not all good. And if they think you're weak, they'll hurt you. Wherever they can, whenever they can. That's not true. It is. It is, I know, because I've seen it. I see it every night. My best friend's blood running through my hands like water. Over and over. And every time there's more and more until I'm drowning in it. Oh, Gary. And that's what they want to do to you, don't you see, babe? But I'm not going to let it happen. Not this time, because I'm prepared. Stop this, please! I've got good sight lines out this window, babe, so don't be worrying. We'll be fine here. I'm not going to let you down. And I'm not going to lose you. Gary, you're not going to lose me and you've never let me down, Sim, as I've never let you down, so Sim. So you want to stay with me, eh? Of course I do, but not like that. Good, because I've been thinking. I need to be with you. I need to be with you all the time. So it kind of makes sense for us to get married. What do you reckon? Everyone must think I'm such an old fool. They don't think that. They've all got far too much respect for you. They won't doubt anyone's interested. Oh, so I'm an irrelevant old fool. It doesn't matter what other folk think about you. <laughs> I learnt that from one of my old wrestlers, Half Nelson. Half Nelson? Well, they were only four foot eleven. He wore an eye patch in the ring. Any road. One night, he's getting a right paste in from Kendo Nagasaki. Oh, no, I remember him. He always wore a mask. Ernest and I occasionally tuned in on a, a Saturday. Well, you live and learn. So, Nelson's lying there in agony, and there's a woman in the front row, 80 if she's a day, screaming at Nagasaki, stamp on his... Well, I'll not spell it out. Is this going anywhere? If you listen... Anyway, afterwards, my lad's black and blue, he's totally humiliated, but he was smiling because he'd made that old ear very happy. She got a lot of pleasure out of watching him getting beaten up. He reckoned his dignity were a small price to pay. What on earth are you trying to say? That I should be glad if people are laughing at me? No, I'm saying that if they are laughing, well, let them. What difference does it make, especially at our age? And just be glad your grandsons know Kendo Nagasaki. All right, love. What are you doing in here? Looking for you. Well, now you've found me, so what's going on? Well, it's probably nothing. I'll be the judge of that, mate. 
We've just been round to his is. Is he all right? Well, I don't know. Gary won't let us in. He said as he was sleeping. Yeah, but he wouldn't let us wait. I know we can be a bit hyper at times, but we're acting dead weird. I'm worried, Dad. Everything Fizz and John said were a pack of lies to cover their tracks. Well, they certainly neglected to tell me the whole truth, as did you. Well, uh, I didn't want to put the kibosh on things not early on. I mean, some men find a child very off-putting. Some men, yes, but some of us realise you don't get to our, sorry, your age without having a past. Yeah, but kiddies... The present and the future, though, isn't it? Not many men realise that. Not that she needs a man. She's holding down a full-time job as well as going the extra mile for her lad. It's an example to women everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. So, the father, you and him still... Oh, no, no. We, we're just good friends. We, we, we were never cut out for each other romantically. <laughs> So he's not interested anymore? No, he's not. He never was interested. No, he couldn't have been. I, I'm not his type. Still managed to have his fun and then walk away, though, didn't he? It's men all over, that is. Oh, we're not all like that, Mrs Stanton. I just wish he'd had a bit more trust in me. Excuse me. <sighs> what is it? I want a puppy. What now? Well, either Dennis Tanner's been spiking my drinks or she's ironing. Not just any ironing, if my eyes don't deceive me. I believe that's a tablecloth. Oh, he's definitely been spiking them. Yep, well, thank you, Hinge and Bracket. But I've got a guest coming for his tea tomorrow and I don't want him thinking he's come to a soup kitchen. Oh, sorry, Dad, didn't mean to hit a nerve there. Uh, well, it must be somebody very special if you're ironing a tablecloth. Now, let me guess. Um, Prince of Wales? Archbishop of Canterbury? Mm, close. It's Steve. <laughs> Tracy, just just take it one step at a time, love. Yeah, I have been doing from the moment I arrived. But the time for patience is over. Now that Lady Gargoyle's off the scene, it's time to reel Steve in. Hey, he's full of it in there. Gabbing away to Mark. It sounds like he had a great time. He did, yeah. It was brilliant. Right. The words and the expression, well, they're not quite in sync. You're like a bad spaghetti western. Sorry. There was a bit of a curveball. A curveball, how? Oh, it was nothing to do with Dylan. Well, not directly. Brian was teaching the classes as standing. Mr. Darcy in a Littlewoods cardigan, Brian? The one and only. My one and only. Except he isn't. <laughs> and now he never will be. Oh, Leah, have a three-ply, <laughs> quick. What's happened, eh, darling? Has he got somebody else? No. I have a son. You're Dylan. What? Well, I swear, I never set out to mislead anybody. This woman, she just got it into her head that, that Dylan was mine, and I tried to correct her, but she was so nice. and Oh, it felt so nice, just being part of the mother's union, so to speak, after all these years on the outside. What, so you used my son, Dylan, to be a prop in your little domestic fantasy? I'm sorry, Sean, but I have paid a heavy price. Now Brian thinks that Dylan's mine and he thinks that I kept it from him because I didn't trust him. Well, why didn't you just put him right? Oh, because all the other mothers were there and I... I went to go after Brian, but then Dylan needed a puppy and I was caught between two stools and... <laughs> now I've I've ruined my chances with Brian for good. <laughs> oh. Oh. I need more time. It's not an ideal situation. It's the perfect situation. I'm here, you're here, and nobody else. It's all I want. It's all we need. Gary, we have lives outside of each other, as does every other couple. Don't mean they love each other any less. And I know it's not much of a name I'd be giving you, Windass. Are you listening to me? The kids would get so much aggro for it at school, but, you know, it'll toughen them up. It did me. And I could get all the lads to come to our wedding in their dress uniform. Do as a guard of honour. Gary, please listen to me. How are we supposed to get married if we're locked up in here? I mean, where are we going to go on our honeymoon? Spare bedroom? Oh, I'll think of something. But the main thing is, is that once we're married... We can be together forever. I can take proper care of you. You can answer that. Shh. Gary, people are worried about me. They're gonna keep coming. 
Yeah, you're right. We'll have to move out tomorrow. In the wagon. Go somewhere they can't find us. Please, you don't have to know any of this. Just let him in now, and then we can sort things out later, yeah? Don't worry, I'm not going to leave you. What? We're too exposed. We've got to find cover. You Come on. Let go of his We've got to go now! We've got to go now! Dad! Izzy! Izzy, where are you? You right, love? Has he done anything? No. No, I'm fine. It's Gary. It's all right, lad. Just go away and leave us alone. I, I won't let you hurt. I, I'd never do that, mate. You know that. I care about Izzy as well, yeah? So we're on the same side. I'm warning you, you stay away. I can't do that. I'm your friend, Dan. I'm here to help you, Gary. All right? You just have to trust me, Gary. Trying to make it out where it all went wrong. You mustn't blame yourself. Gary used to be such a nice lad, a normal lad. He's the one with demons, love, not you. I feel so bad about it all. What are you going to do today? I don't know. You're going to work. I don't know if I can face it. <laughs> the people who work with me would throw a sickie for far less than this. But on the other hand, actually, I'm not ill. After what he did, you were traumatised. I don't know if I can face sitting here on my own all day. Well, I could throw a sickie in for you, love. Sit with you. Don't be daft. <sighs> Have I come back bad time? I can always come back. No, no, it's fine. How are you, sweetheart? Fine, yeah. I take it Gary's, haven't you? It did, yeah, but I haven't come to plead his case. I've just come to pick up some clothes. How is he? Mortified. How about you? <laughs> no. Still in shock as boss. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> hey, have you seen this? I nearly got the shock of my life when I walked in. I've just got a few bits in, that's all. Well, there's enough here to feed an army. Hey, is that a fresh goat's finest quiche? Ooh, lucky Steve. Yeah, lucky for all of us. We're not going out tonight. Goat's cheese and red peppers. Hey? I was hoping you would be going out, actually. And there's a bacchanalian feast like this. I'll do you a goodie bag. I don't want you here. What? On the only day you've been shopping since you came out of prison? Oh, no way. I got you a pair of jeans, a couple of T-shirts and some pants. You see Izzy? Yeah, I saw Izzy. How was she? She was OK, considering. And, um, did, did, did she ask about me, or...? She did, yeah, but we didn't talk about anything in any detail. That's for you and her to do. So she wants to see me? Not straight away, no. And how did she seem? Was she angry or...? I'd say she seemed more upset and sad. <sighs> what have I done, ma'am? What have I done? Why don't you have a nice bath and put some clean clothes on? I just feel like I'm cracking up. I need help. I'm going to get you some help now. Hey! Why don't you take Mum to the bistro? It's ages since you two had a night out together. Nah, I can't justify the expense. Oh, go on. I'll pay. Seriously, it's on me. How much? Hey? Well, I'm not going out if it's an early bird menu and half a bottle of house wine. Eat and drink... Whatever you like. Oh. And no, I don't fancy it. 
Kind though your offer is, not to mention highly suspicious. Look, I've already told you, I don't want you here when Steve's here. I want it to be just the three of us. So you're getting him here under false pretenses? Uh, I thought you were on particularly bad terms since he tricked you out of your job. Becky's away, he's single, he's highly vulnerable. I need to strike while, while the... While the quiche is hot. Look, yeah. if I leave it much longer, Becky might just come to her senses seriously. I honestly think if he gave me a chance, we just spent some quality time together, then... Three courses... Coffee and liqueurs, my final offer. Done. I'll book a table. You sure you want to do this? Yeah, thanks. But I can manage now. OK, let me just speak to your mates. Dad! Uh, have you got a minute, guys? Guess who? weren't expecting you in today. No, and I'm sure you all know that she's been through a heck of a lot, as are, is he? Uh, and you also know that uh, she's a bit of a stubborn mule. I'm fine. So I'd appreciate it if you could just keep an eye on her. If you know any sign of any struggling, just uh, give me a call, yeah? Of course. Will do. Thank you, Sean. Dad, go. Bye. Well, that was embarrassing. He's bound to be concerned. We all are. Well, Gary just got a bit upset, that's all. That's the understatement of the century. The man's unhinged. No, he ain't. Look, and I'm sorry you got caught up in it all. I'm fine. It's just you I'm worried about. It's no big deal. Now, can we talk about something else? Anyway, I've got to pass out. Me and Carl are going on that night out. Fancy it. Yeah, yeah, might do. Hiya. Hiya, Tracy. I'm just checking you're still on for tonight. Tonight? Well, tea time, really. I invited you round. Oh, um. It's just a certain little lady is really looking forward to it. She'll be heartbroken if you can't make it. And our Amy won't be too chuffed either. Mm hmm. <laughs> What time do you want me round? I don't know, 4.30. Do you want to bring anything? Just a big appetite. I'm not actually cooking out. I'm getting a few things in. Oh, I'll eat out, me. Great. I shall see you later, then. Welcome. So are you blowing us out, then? No, I shall follow you on. Never thought I'd say this, but you make a lovely couple. I am just being civil to my daughter's mother. Yeah, but there is a bit of flirty body language creeping in. Not from my side. Maybe it's just that now you're single. Every woman is a potential conquest. There's more chance of me conquering Everest. She defo fancies you, whatever you say. I'm going for tea with my daughter. There is no hidden agenda. You were in the army, weren't you? Yeah. I've only been back six months, so I'm fit as a flea. Remind me where you served? Afghanistan. Breathe in. Well, you seem OK physically. I gather there was an incident at your girlfriend's place last night. Yeah. I lost my temper. I shouldn't have. Do you often lose your temper? No, never. It was a one-off. Do you often try and stop your girlfriend from leaving her own home? Look, I don't know what to say. OK? I really regret what happened. I'm going to refer you to a psychologist for an assessment. What? We need to find out if there are any underlying psychological problems. I don't like the sound of that. Well, do you have an explanation for what happened? You'll hear from the mental health team in due course. Don't start worrying about shrinks and loony bins, Gary. Lots and lots of people suffer from mental health issues. Right. Ooh. Well said. Yes. Well, I just hope it works for the sake of my waistline. I, mean, I just think that, you know, this opportunity is too good to waste. Oh, that'll be Steve now. Amy, Daddy's here. Come in, Steve. Hey, Tracy. Hello, Stinker. Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. Hi, Steve. Wow. This food for all five of us? Uh, no, all three of you. Yeah, Deirdre and I are going out. Ah. Oh, I was going to have that kebab earlier. I'm glad I didn't now. <laughs> Ooh, are they fondant fancies? Yep. Can we have tea in front of the tower? Uh, Mummy says no. And don't forget your reward chart. You get a star for sitting nicely and eating at the table. Yeah, I'm saving up for a trip to Walton Towers. Mm. Why don't you show Daddy your chart? OK. Right, love, we'll get off. Um, good luck. Oh, it's like a big wiggly worm. Hiya. Hiya. I thought me and you should put our heads together. We couldn't really talk earlier, could we? No, come in. Mm. 
Hey, mate. Look, I'm really sorry about what happened. Well, I'm glad to hear it. We've had the doctor around. He thinks Gary needs a psychological assessment, but Gary's not so keen on going. You are? I honestly don't think I'm mentally ill. Son, I don't take kindly to people scaring the life out of my daughter. I know, and I'm sorry. Okay, I've said I'm sorry. Anybody else would have been hospitalised by now. All right. Luckily for you, I happen to believe that you're a good lad, deep down. And that you need help, but you have to meet me halfway, Gary. Because if you don't, mate, I'm going to look at you in a completely different light. You got that? It's always something that's given me a lot of satisfaction. Reuniting an item of lost property with its rightful owner. <laughs> they used to call me Prince Charming at Keithley High. Dylan's jacket. Ah, we were looking for that. You must be Julie's ex-partner. Julie? <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, who are you? Oh, uh, Brian Packham. Uh, Dylan and his mother came to our preschool reading workshop the other day. Dylan's mother's in London, Julie. Violet. You are Dylan's father? Dylan's father's boyfriend. I help out with the childcare. Uh, Dylan's mother's called Violet. And his father's called Sean. Yes. I looked at the contact details when we found the coat. Uh, S. Tully, 11 Coronation Street. No mention of J. But that is definitely his coat. Thank you very much. Oh, speed on. Incredible spread. Thank you. No, if you don't mind, I'm going to roll off my chair and slide down the street. Can you get a Battenberg hangover? Well, you're not going home yet. I need a very long lie down. Well, I just thought you might like to do bath time. Oh, yeah, of course I would. Then can you have a story? Of course you can. That would be a great help, and I can tidy all this away. Don't forget, you clean your teeth, you get a gold star. Do I? Not you. <laughs> you got a loyalty card. Don't need one. We know where our loyalties lie. Come on, reach upstairs. Look, son, I know what I did, and I, I just want to hide, OK? OK. Besides, the fate can't keep drawing Brian and me together. We will spend the rest of our lives never knowing what might have been. In fact, we'll probably never set eyes on each other ever again. Julie? Brian! Do you make a habit of impersonating children's mothers? I can explain. Good. Dylan is my son, but Julie, she is like a mother to him. Don't, Sean! Yes, we are all part of this extended rainbow family coalition. I just... I got caught up in the moment. Says you let her keep the bedside light uh, flipping, mate. Right? That's a rapid transformation. You going out on the pool? No, I'm uh, in on the pool. Oh, Tracy, look, just because me and Becky are split up doesn't mean I'm going to jump into Steve, bed. Steve, just chill out. I just thought you might fancy a glass of wine, you know, sit. Have a natter. Don't worry, I'm not going to pounce on you. Open this. You're all glammed up. Yeah, well, just because I'm a devoted mum doesn't mean I can't spend time feeling like a woman. But I got chatting to one of the mums, Lindsay, and she assumed that I was Dylan's mum, so I just sort of went along with it. Like you do? Well, I got a bit carried away by the whole idea. I started to believe it was true. So having lied to her, the obvious next step was to lie to me. Well, I, I backed myself into a corner by then. I, di I didn't mean any harm by it. Honestly, I wasn't trying to deceive you. I, I just wanted to join in. Be one of the gang. Can we establish the facts? One, Dylan is not your son. No. Two, he's your friend Sean's son. And three, his real mum lives in London. Yes. This ex-partner you mentioned. There's another fabrication. Oh, yes. There's not been a partner. Proper partner. 
since Kirk. You're young, free and single? Well, I'm not so young anymore. All right. But the other two? Yes, I am free and single. Will you go out with me? Can't believe I've messed up another marriage. I thought my lawyer was going to give me a loyalty card when I went to see her. One more and the fifth one's free. She calls me Henry the Eighth. <laughs> well, I've hardly been lucky with men. True. Can I say something? What? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. What? Well, you'll say I'm biased. Go on. You and Becky never seemed happy. Well, not really happy. Not in the way you and Karen were. I think we were. I think we could have been. But I'm not saying it to stick the boot in. I'm saying it because I believe it. Look, me and you have had a load of other partners since that one night stand that gave us Amy. I don't know about loads. But we've never, you know, actually properly tried making a go of it. You never know, Steve. You might be pleasantly surprised. Can I blow out these candles? They're really off putting. So he's asked you out on a date. But I know. He says he doesn't care about all the lies. He says we're all works in progress. And he used to have an imaginary friend. When he was a little boy? No, when he was deputy head at Keatley High. Thank you, my angel. Oh, tell me this is actually happening now. I don't have to wake up. <laughs> You should have heard the embellishments I've come out with in job interviews. We all bend and twist in the wind. I just wanted to establish that you were available before asking you out. Oh, one hundred percent. Are you available? What about your wife? I, I am now officially as free as a bird. <laughs> Though obviously as a super head, I have a very busy schedule. Oh, when can you fit me in? Oh, Any time at all. I'll cancel anything for you. <laughs> oh, except my holidays. Uh, Two weeks cycling in the Isle of Man with Oh. To think, if you hadn't left Dylan's coat behind, our paths might never have crossed again. I've spoiled things, haven't I? Saying all that stuff. The alarm bell started as soon as I came in from putting Amy to bed. Our daughter, Steve, who we both love. Well, I'm just not ready to get involved with anyone. Especially me. Well, it's not that I'm not flattered, because I am. Look, this isn't just about me getting you into my bed. It's about getting you into my life. Mine and Amy's. We're a great team, Steve. We do the family thing really well. Yeah, well, we're not taking each other to court. Look, the simple day-to-day, -day, it's effortless. And then it just ends. And we go back to our miserable lives. Oh, let's just give it a go, for Amy's sake. Uh, no, that is emotional blackmail. Well, I call it a win-win situation. And I call it a mad, mad suggestion. Look, we're finally on some sort of even keel. Why jeopardise that? Well, because we're both unhappy and lonely. Well, that's no basis for a relationship, is it? Oh, let's just give it a go. Hey, you may never need the services of a divorce lawyer ever again. I turn into the person I want to be when I'm with you. I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, well, I'll get it. Go on, I'll let you in. Tomorrow. I'll definitely play tomorrow. Oh. It's Izzy. Come in. Hiya. Am I disturbing you? No, no. Only I think we need to talk. Yeah, of course. Do you want to go to the pub or...? I'm, I'm fine here. Uh, uh, come on, Faye, it's time for your bed. Oh, Faye. Well, thanks for coming. You haven't heard what I've come to say. You're dumping me. I haven't made any decisions about the future, Gary. So there's hope? That depends on you. Ta, need a hand. Fine. Good holiday. Great. Yeah. Nice resort, good weather. I can tell. I had a great time with Clarky. Clarky? Mm. Big test in your relationship, going all together. Passed with flying colours. 
Why are you doing this? What? Give me all the gory details of your fantastic holiday with your fantastic new fellow. Are you trying to make me jealous? No. Dipping the arrows in poison before you're firing them. What are you playing at? The only reason why I'm telling you that I've moved on is because I've moved on. Good. Great. Please feel. Right. I've been doing a lot of thinking. And I am really, really sorry for what I did. Especially that stupid proposal. I know. And I promise you, I will sort myself out. I heard the doctor came today. I need help. I know that now. Is it true he suggested you have a psychological assessment? Who told you that, your dad? So this behaviour is normal? No. But... You locked me up! I was terrified! I love you, Gary, but I don't know if I can live with you anymore. So here's the deal. I think we need a bit of time apart. OK. I'm not abandoning you. And I'm not saying we won't get back together, but I need space. You need help. If you don't do what that doctor says, then that's it. I'll do it. Do whatever you ask me to. As long as I know that I've still got a chance. That's all I can say. I didn't want to... Amy and... Right. Know. Well, breakfast is ready when you are. Wait. There was this article in my magazine about how feelings are colours. Yeah? What sort of colour would you say you're feeling, darling? Mum. I'm just trying to get you to open up. It's important to be straight with them today. I know. You know, don't go telling him or her what it is that you think they want to wear. OK, OK. Pitch black, blue polka dot, I'm just saying, for your own good, tell it like it is. Well, that's easy enough, isn't it? No Quinny, no Army, no Izzy. Well, you and Izzy are just on a break. And as soon as she thinks I'm strong enough to take it, she'll dump me for real. Oh, will she, Eck? Just don't want to kick me while I'm down. That girl loves the bones of you. Used to. Maybe. Well, she'll be looking for a shrink herself after what I've put her through. What's a shrink? You don't miss a trick, you, do you, madam? It's a doctor for someone who's lost the plot. You see a dentist for your teeth, an optician's for your eyes, and a psychologist for your brain. For what goes on inside your head? Exactly. You're going to see someone about your thoughts and stuff? Yep. What about his broken heart? <laughs> I'm fine. Hello. That is 100% not true. I'm your nearly sister, aren't I? You certainly are. I'm sorry, you said. You'll be all right, Gary. You've got us. 
so pleased that you came back last night. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't prefer a spoon? Or I can chop it up in nickel pieces if you like. Uh, it's due for the wash, anyway. Hey, stay still. That'll do, Ta. No, I felt so flat after you'd gone. Yeah, sorry. Look, I... I don't care what prompted the biggest U-turn in history, Steve. I'm just glad that you saw sense. And I can't believe I still fancy it, even with your dinner medals. <laughs> oh dear. Look, Tracy. Dad! Hey, here's trouble. Oh, I'm going to contaminate <laughs> you with killer tomato juice. <laughs> I don't think so. Actually, you know what? It's not a stain, it's a pattern. Pay an extra for that. Do I look stupid? <laughs> You're wearing that yesterday. That's not very polite. Well, Daddy hasn't been home yet. He, um Slept here on the settee. Did you not hear me snoring? No. No? Well, let me tell you this. That rumbling you heard last night wasn't a tram. It was your poor old Dad. Yeah! Hey, you two. You're coming off the line. Can't you give the Rugrats a tranquilizer or something? I beg your pardon? Well, cute kids, blood sicker than water, etc. But it's like quarter to ten, aka the middle of the night. Oh, what now? <sighs> Look, if you keep the noise down till dinner time, I'll take you into town. Deal? Cool! Whoa, yeah, yeah, whoa, yeah. Hang on a minute. I've got plans for them today. Plans you've just thought of in the last nanosecond. Excuse me? I want to go with Amber. So do I. Sorry, kids. Don't say I didn't offer. It's not fair. Why can't I go with Amber? OK, now, you two, inside. Your sister's going to take you into town tomorrow. Will she now? Any moaning and all treats are off. Now, come on. Ooh. Your wife doesn't trust me with them. <laughs> Maybe it was the mention of the tranquilizers. Oh, you guys are so literal. Darling daughter, could you please get out of your pit, get dressed and get behind the counter, pretty please? Dad! Uh, chop, chop, ka-ching, ka-ching. Thank you, thank you. Well, it's awfully softly. She's a complete freeloader. Well, she's a kid. Hardwired to be selfish. Your kid. Bad influence on our kids. Really? Mm. Wow. You know, I don't differentiate. I'm really disappointed that you do. Well, I've bitten my tongue so many times. She's idle, slack, and cocky, and she's getting on my nerves. Oh, well, at least there's only one of her. Oh, here we go. Yeah, two of your mad aunts I had to endure. Oh, can you change the record? Two. More than enjoy if you cast your mind back. I actively made an effort. So if you could just reciprocate, then maybe we could all just... <sighs> get along. Right, I better make a move. Come and watch me, Skip. What if Stella is in the yard next door? I will be in a heap of trouble. Just for five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> and then Daddy has got to skip back to work. We're not all on summer holiday, you know. <laughs> so, I take it you... Mission Erie accomplished? Oh, Tracy. Oh, Deirdre. Mum, what's the problem? You. You're so... happy. Yep. I batted my especially curled eyelashes and fixed him with my come-to-bed eyes and he, um, came to bed. Oh, <laughs> Tracy, love. Mum, what is the problem? That you had to work so hard to get him. It's not real life, is it? All that effort. He came back, Mum. He had a change of heart. A massive change of heart. I feel like I'm in a spy film. <laughs> I don't mean to be mysterious. I just wanted to get you on your own. Is something wrong? Uh, far from it. Yeah. It's very short notice. I wasn't sure whether or not to invite you. Go on. I'm making a speech tonight. It's a very short one, I promise. I'm patron of this charity. Why, I'm in a fundraising day. Lovely. Black tie, is it? Marcia wouldn't be seen dead in black tie. Oh, uh. Marcia's making a speech, right? Oh, it's a big ask, I know. But you and I seem to have gone up again. Yeah, we are. 
I meant to ask you the other day. I wish I had now. I wish I'd given you more time to get your head around it. Do you mind if I say no? No. No, of course not. I'm not quite there yet, Mark. I'm sorry. Oh, no harm to Truly. Uh, listen, I better get going. I hope it goes well. Thanks. I'd love to hear the speech. Then you shall. I know you'll pitch it just right. He's a lovely bloke. Yeah, he certainly is. How can it be only 10.45 when I've been sat here for, like, three years? There's worse jobs to have. Oh, please. Not the county blessings lecture. Dad's already beaten you to it. Oh, yeah, well, at least your daddy's speaking to you. Not for much longer. What? Nothing. So things still bad at your place? Well, my dad isn't covered by fraud protection because he said he signed the transfer himself. So no compo? No compo? The police can't even trace the money. And, well, he can't even look at me right now. So, you're a girl with a plan. You'll pay him back. Yeah, I know I will. But it will take me years, if not decades. Try three weeks. I'm guessing it's not maths you're doing at college. <sighs> You've just got to show willing. Keep your head down. Don't go out unless someone else is paying. Oh, yeah, become a sponge at a great. Hand over as much dosh as you can to your dad, even coins for dramatic effect. He'll start to feel sorry for you, and then guilty. Plus, your mum will be in his ear the whole time. She's learnt a lesson, Kevin. And he'll soon wipe the slate clean. Show Grandma, Amy. Hey, if you get to 200, without making any mistakes, give you a pound. A pound? Oh, go on. One. Two. Three. Right, uh, day job beckons. Oh, rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> um, can we just keep last night just between ourselves? <laughs> Cheers. It's nobody's business but ours. Exactly. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, uh, see you soon. Uh, Steve? You see me all the time. Taking Amy out of the equation. Can you be more specific? Tracy. Oh, come on, Steve. Last night was perfect. It was great. It's relaxing, being with someone who knows you inside out. I mean, we have seen each other at our worst. You've seen me at my ugliest, and I'm not talking looks. I know, you know. Oh, come on, it means more than just owing it to Amy. But I'm going to have to stop you there. You came back. And it was very selfish of me. No complaints this end, lover. Look, it was, it was. Look, this is going to sound really bad. I don't want you to read too much into it. A simple it. wedding's fine by me, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm a mess. Oh, well, welcome to the whole human race. I don't want to rush into things. Steve, the first one-night stand we had was eight years ago. Look, please, no, let's not get hung up on labels. I propose a whole string of one-night stands. I don't care what we call it, as long as we give ourselves a fighting chance. Do you regret last night? No, of course not. Well, then, stop analysing it and let's just enjoy each uh, other. Uh, look, 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 Tracy. I don't want to hurt you, OK? I don't want to lead you on. It's just... I'm not ready for anything, OK? I'm just, I'm just not ready. So, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll live. Salon to Planet Gran, are you receiving me over? What's that? Oh? Colour advice, Mrs. Emrick. Oh, yes, yes, please. So it's an electric blue Mohican, it is then. All right, thanks for clarifying. Mm. And the Lady Gaga tattoo and toe ring? Lovely. Oh, David, now, uh, Mrs. Emrick needs some colour advice. Uh, silver birch with number 47. Can you set that up, please? Well, where are you going? Early lunch. You are joking me. And I'm taking the full hour. Graham! I, I realise that convention has it. We accentuate the positive when writing postcards. Time, money and effort has been spent on the holiday or, or mini break to... to uh, to admit that the Enterprise was anything less than banging would be to admit failure. The only thing banging was my head. Overindulgence? Uh, I was mortal on the first night, but then, um, no, I barely touched a drop. Did, uh, did Clarkie join you on the wagon? 
like he hitched his wagon somewhere else. Oh. Done with the night well handed. How callous. Said he didn't do emotional wrecks. I should like to put a flea in his ear. I think a lot worse. Hell of a lot worse, actually. Probably one of the nicest insults I've ever had, but um talk got to me. Under my skin. So sorry. It's because I didn't know what I was missing out on before. I'd never had cloud one. Never mind cloud nine. Don't look at me like that, Royston. I'm a survivor. You miss Steve very much. Becky, yay! Oh, oh, my not-so-little Ames. Bestest girl in the whole land. Oh. Miss you. Hey, I've got a present for you upstairs, kid. All the way from Crete, cos I loves ya. Woo! <laughs> it's all right, that, in it. I don't want to start World War Three, you I know, no, it's fine, thanks. Right, two secs, sit there. Dad came for a sleepover last night. Did he? Duh, except he didn't tell me. Well, maybe you told Grandma Deirdre and Granddad Ken. They'd gone out for a meal. Only Mummy knew he was stopping. I did 49 skips. What's my present? Um, it's some two ticks. Really? Really. I just had a bit of a wobble, I'm so sorry. No apology necessary. Like I said, it's a big ass. Oh, it's not though, is it? Come on. Giving a vital organ's a big ask. Attending an event with you, any event. I mean, it's going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's not exactly cheese and wine at the WI. <laughs> you know what I <laughs> I'm so glad you changed your mind. Opened it. About time. I've got to pick Faye up from the sports club. Oh, I'll give you a little look. There's something around the corner. How did Gary get on? Um, he's not back yet. They did warn us it could be a long day. You did the right thing, you know. Yeah, her ultimatum's the only thing that's got him there. Yeah, well. Just to thank you, no strings attached. I'm with that. I would tell her myself, honey, it could look like I'm pressurising her, and that's the last thing she needs. Wow. It's easy when they're babies, isn't it? The only time you tiptoe is for fear of waking them up. Well, if it's any consolation, I walk a minefield with my two every day. It is. Ah. I had Gary's face when I said I'd go with him for his assessment. If Eddie was here, I'd have insisted on going, and Eddie could have seen to Faye. You're missing him. Eddie. Hmm. There was another pair of hands. A listening ear, shoulders to cry on. Right. Just a lot of body parts, really, when you weigh it up. See ya. See ya. Where's mine, then? Sorry, rules and regulations. Rules and regulations. She is the boss's daughter. She can pull strings, make mugs and see happen. I'm also the boss's wife's stepdaughter. She can pull strings. Make my life hell. We've just got off on the wrong foot, that's all. No, there's a whole other side to that woman that you've never seen. Well, it sounds like you need to offload. Rovers, 8 o'clock. But bring your purse, though, because I'm not exactly flush. Oh, no wonder you're so lucky in love. Do you know any good calls I can join? I'm looking to get fleeced. It was not a cult, it was a charity. Oh, well, that makes all the difference. Oi, leave her alone. <laughs> uh, 60p for chewing gum, yeah? And I'll think about it. Cool. So what do they want, babe? Duh. Chewing gum. Okay. Well, you just make sure there's always a counter between you two because he is trouble, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. And listen, a little bit more respect towards Sunita will not go amiss. That's like a two way street, yeah? Yeah. But right now, it's like a no-entry blind alley, so you be the big dignified daughter and just show her just a little bit more respect, OK, mm -hmm. for me. And you'll be surprised at what you get back. Thank you. Well, that seemed reasonable enough. Well, he'll soon drop the Captain Reasonable Act once I break the good news. What good news? Can you keep a secret, yeah? Are you pregnant? As bad as that? But not that. I've been kicked out of uni. At least they're being thorough, love. Root and branch, eh? Yeah. Well, I've saved you some shepherd's pie. 
Okay, darling. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye, love. Oh, I bet you're pooped, aren't you? Volleyball, badminton, rounders. I've been looking forward to a sit-down, put it that way. <laughs> that was Gary. He's just waiting for his final assessment. Oh, the thorough, if nothing else, eh? Mm, that's what I said. He's going to go to the gym after. Good, to take his mind off it. Now, you could sit here worrying, or you and Faye could go and see Harry Potter in 3D. Wicked. You've brought us tickets. Well, that's no big deal. I thought you could lose yourself in plush seats with a big bag of popcorn. <laughs> Are you coming? We'd love you to, won't we, Faye? Can I sit in the middle? Faye! Hey. What happened to you last night? He copped off. I knew it. Well, that's good going, so you didn't even come out. And my nails, it's a free country. Come on, who, what, why, where, when? He's taken the fifth. The Fifth Amendment, you know. Yes, when I know you... what it is, thank you. Do you know, sometimes I think he works for MI5. He's that mysterious. Do you mind if I have a private conversation with my oldest and trusted friend? Well, I've got a bad feeling about this. Stop bigging up your part. No, seriously, mate, I'm getting a strong whiff of rodent here. Go through, sit down and shut up. Thank you for letting me use my own living space. So long as you wash those stumps before you serve food, you can do what you like. How do you feel? Thursday. Boring, underdressed. Worried my shoes don't match my jacket. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Anyway, listen, come on. How do you feel, though, to the point? Accepted. I'm boring, underdressed, worried if these shoes match oh. this jacket. <laughs> listen, I can't tell you how much it means to me that you've made this happen. I thought I should walk a mile in Marcia's Manolis. Metaphorically, of course. <laughs> Shall I bring you some champagne out oh, here? Oh, no. I'm not going to sit out here all night. No, come on. I'm bracing myself for some serious handbag, ain't I? <sighs> I spelt it out for you and me. No way, no how. It ain't going to happen. And then you felt all diddums when Becky failed to prostrate herself on the pavement before you and you went back into the lion's den. Lioness is down. I take it you failed biology. And it happened. It happened. See, Becky. Y you wanted some TLC, fair dues, but there's what? I mean, three and a quarter billion women in the world? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but you know, I've put some damage limitation on it. Oh, why? Yeah, I'm pretty much across it. I put Tracy on the back burner. You know, a very low light, barely a flicker. And I've told her that I'm not ready for a relationship. I'm, um, I'm a mess. Yeah, see, see, you say the word mess, she hears the word challenge, she hears the word project. No, 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 she's okay with it. What, so Tracy's going to carry a torch? Well, like a little one. Like a little match. Great. So far, so disastrous. Pray continue. Amy thinks I slept on the couch. Which is good, as long as Tracy doesn't blab. Aha, uh -huh. you see, this is the best bit. And she's going to keep it to herself. She promised. For a minute there, I thought you were talking about my glamps. I'm just saying, she could punch above her weight. You know, she always makes an effort. Great legs. Mm. Right. Okay, this is getting a bit too weird now. <laughs> Tastes better at home, doesn't it? Not got an home. I meant, you know, blighty. When's Tracy moving in? I'll put that question down to sunstroke. Don't mess about, do you? Our side of the bed's barely cold. Mm-hmm. I know all about your little sleepover at Tracy's, so don't even bother denying it. Oh, it was one night, it meant nothing. You're right. Oh, well, I suppose you stayed in a convent in Crete, did you? The Holy Sisters of Large, innit? You are perfect for each other. No, that's you and Clark. Yeah. She's been dying to get her feet under your table. Look, I slept with a lot. I slept with her last night, it meant nothing. Oh, it's just, it's perfect. It's like a fairy tale ending. Yeah, where well, we all live unhappily ever after. And I never saw it coming. Yeah, well, nor did I. Look, it was a one night stand. It wasn't some big master plan. It meant nothing. How could I be so blind? Stupid. There you go. Of all the people, Tracy, you've got a flipping told. Agreed. But don't go making it ten times worse. Worse, how? This is. Your malice. You're all right. Keep 
your hair on? What do you think you're playing at? You just couldn't wait, could you? Eh? You couldn't wait to open that Mersey tunnel of a gob of yours. Steve, will you calm down? You can't just barge in here like calm this. Calm down? Calm down? I'm livid, Tracy. About what? About you, you dozy mare. I don't stand there looking all innocent. I know you too well. What have I done now? Don't you dare try and deny it. Steve, if you just tell me what I've done and then... You told Becky! I told Becky what? About us two! I haven't seen Becky. Oh, yes, you have. Don't lie. And I certainly wouldn't tell her about us two sleeping together because it's none of her business. Oh, you know, you've got an answer for everything. It's the truth. Who's me? Who's me thinking you'd changed? And you clearly always see the worst in me. Nice one. You know, I must be a complete, utter idiot. Oh, total, Steve. To not realise that you are still the horrible, nasty, manipulative mayor you've always been. And how long has your husband been dressing up? Oh, uh, no, no, it's not my husband. No, we're just pals, really. Well, um, uh, anyway, what about you? Oh, I'm actually a real woman. No! <laughs> I meant your husband. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. That was a joke. <laughs> sorry. Oh, God. Years. Just look at the state of her. Oh, are you not happy with it? I just think Phyllis dress is a bit tarty, Audrey, that's all. She's worth more than that. Yeah, yes, yeah, she is. Well, she's a, a very lovely girl. I'm on. Oh. Wish me luck. Break a leg, but don't ladder your tights. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's doing a speech. Marcia. Sorry. Oh, yes. Marcia. Well, how proud a parent am I that my daughter is studying law? I said law at university. Uh, all I'm going to be studying tonight is a fine art of downing several vodkas. Oh, are you going somewhere nice, honey? I said I'd have a drink without Tommy. Don't quit. Honey, I feel like your brain should be sipping Pinot Grigio with future uh, barristers and lawyers and uh, pharmacists. Went out with a barrister briefly last year. <laughs> really? Yeah. You know, one of them that works in a coffee shop. Really? You know, to add insult to injury, tonight she is sharing wine with a grunting monosyllabic garage worker. Yeah, but he's wild buff, isn't he, so? Mm. Well, those girls like a bit of greasy every now and again. Who oh, can speak for yourself, thank you. <laughs> Everybody needs friends. And when I called the helpline, that's what I found. Someone who understood what I was going through. Someone who listened and didn't judge. Someone who opened a door for me. A door to acceptance. Which is why I was deeply saddened to learn that the services budget had been cut so severely. And why I would implore each and every one of you to dig deep into your pockets, to help cross wires, to keep going. Some of us are lucky enough to have found wonderful, supportive friends who love us for who we truly are. And we them. Others are not so lucky. And it is for their sake that cross wires need to survive. Thanks very much. That was lovely. Yeah. yeah, well, thanks for the lecture and the dodgy character appraisal, but can you get out of my house now, please? Oh, yeah, well, it's not your house, is it? It's your mum and dad's. You're still living at home when you're, what, 33, 34? I'm not actually listening to you anymore, so... I know you, Tracy. I know you better than you know yourself. Great, well, it's getting a bit nippy here. I can see into your mind, and it is dark, man. It is so dark. Man. If I didn't know you were so pathetic, I'd be scared. Oh, get out. You're like a bloke. Well, that's not what you were saying last night, is it, Steve? You don't care who you trample on to get your own way. I swear on Amy's life. Don't you dare drag her into this. I've never said anything to Becky. And if you don't believe me... I don't believe anything that comes out of that twisted mouth because it comes out of that twisted mind. Right. Well, there's nothing more to say then, is there? Get out. Ah, oh, don't worry. I don't want to breathe the same oxygen as you. Hurry up, Mum. You don't need to put makeup on. No one will see you at the pictures. It's dead dark. Yeah, well, I can't go out without this lot on. Yeah, you don't want to scare the horses, do you? Joking. Slap him for me, Faye. <laughs> you do usually. Do usually what? Go out with no makeup on. Yeah, well, this is a night out, isn't it? 
in order to think you were going on a date. Oh, don't be silly. I, I tell you what, why don't you go over to the shops and buy yourself some sweets for the movie? Well, it'd be cheaper than buying a vat of popcorn from the multiplex. How much of a rip-off are they? Oh, I know. It really messes with me, Ed. Are you sure? Oh, sure as eggs, darling. I reckon sure. Uh, they are now. Go and get lost. Tarrowing. You'll spoil her if you carry on like that. Listen, I know you. You're fretting about Gary. I'm trying to be positive for Faye. Yeah, well, he's going to be fine. Yeah? He's a big lad. He doesn't need babysitting. He's not fine. No, but he will be one day. It just takes time, love. Do you think? I know. Oh, to have your confidence. <laughs> no! Oh, I've had a lovely time, sweetheart. Louise and Phyllis were so nice, and those canopies were just heavenly. Phyllis is a hoot. Did you see her nails? I said she could strike her over them. <laughs> Did you see my hand shaking when I did my speech? No, because she came over really, really well. Do you think they've raised enough money to keep the help line going? Well, I don't know. I hope so. Uh, it's meant so much to me, you being here tonight. Well, I've had a wonderful time speaking out. It's just been a perfect night. Yes, I know. Actually, I was thinking, um, well, why don't we go on somewhere else for a nightcap? Right. No, it's, it's all right. It was just a thought. Audrey, that would be lovely. Really? Oh, well, that's settled then, huh? Come on. Let's get your pashmina. Oh, goodness, yes, my pashmina. See, I thought going to uni was all about, you know, nicking traffic cones and shaving your eyebrows off and putting it on Tinternet. Oh, it is. These are falsies. You know what? I've been up by that uni, and all there is is a load of scabby old meat on the ground where people drop the kebabs. Uh, we're a bit classier than that in London. Oh, I love London. I love the pace of the place and the fact that everyone's dead rude. Right, same again, kids. I'll bring them over. Kids? More man, me, babe. Come round the back later. You can show me. <laughs> yes. So, where are we going later? Where do you suggest? I'm so out of the loop with everywhere around here. Oh, I know. Yeah, me and I. Well, where's good to go on a Friday night? Um. Oh, I think the Sharp Boys are playing at Milk. Yo. Are you having a good time, kids? Kids? Mm, home by midnight, please. Come on, mate, she's a grown-up. Well, yeah, it's just maybe, but it's my house and my rules, and I'm not going to have a rolling out at four o'clock in the morning stinking of alka pops and regret. Uh, I am here, you know. Yeah, but in three hours' time, you will be at home, tucked up in bed with a good law book. Yeah, of course. Whatever you say, Daddy Dearest. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny? Oh, we were thinking about going to um, an all-night party in Ibiza. Ibiza? <laughs> you are so easy to wind up. Are <laughs> you like a clockwork toy or something? <laughs> it's your sole purpose on this planet to just go around showing me up all the time. You're an embarrassment, Dad. Midnight. It'll be late. <sighs> yes, Popsicle. What's wrong now? Tracy's told Becky we slept together. Of course she did. What do you expect? You play with fire, you get your fingers burned. You sleep with fire. I'm you... such an idiot, Lord. Why did I think she'd changed? Because she wasn't thinking with your head, mate. And then when I pulled her up on it, she flipping lied, said it wasn't her that blabbed I could kill her. Listen, does it matter what Becky knows? Yes. But you two are history. Yeah, but we're still married on paper. I want to manage what she knows and when, not some scrubber from next door. You didn't think she was a scrubber when you jumped into a bed, kid? Tracy loves messing things up between me and Becky. Well, give the girl a medal because now she's flipping succeeded. <sighs> Hello. Oh. oh, we've had a gorgeous walk. Yeah, we had sausage and chips down by the canal. Battered Savaloy for records. There you go. <laughs> Some people say romance is coming back into fashion. I say it never went out. <laughs> you okay? You know. It's funny in films how everything always works out in the end, always. Is that Betty Davis? Well, it's not Betty Williams. Oh, very good, Ken. Yeah. You know, even when they get their hearts broken, you know eventually everything's going to work out for them. Actually, I don't think it is Betty Davis. Tracy, what's happened? <laughs> what have you done now? I haven't done anything, but you try telling Steve that. He's fuming with me. He reckons that I told Becky about me and him, but I didn't, ma'am. I swear. Well, I know you didn't, because Amy did. Amy? Well, yeah, we were in the cafe, and Amy said something about Steve sleeping over, and Becky just 
got up and left. And, and oh, I, God! Well, I, I didn't get a chance to jump in. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised Steve went jumping in. I mean, it's the sort of thing I can imagine you doing. I know I should have said something, but... You know, the last thing I wanted to do was to mess things up for him, not after all this time. Oh, I know, and now it looks as if I have. Well, look, don't worry, I'll, I'll tell him. I'll go round there and I'll tell him that it was Amy. Yeah, I, or I'll ring him. What's his number? No, because what is the point? Because it's only going to look like I asked you to ring him. Oh, no, it's all right. I'll go round and I, I'll ring him. Hang on a minute. If Steve thinks that you told Becky, then uh, presumably Becky told him that. What a manipulative Mom, little... Mum, I don't know who said what to who, and do you know something else? I don't care. Oh, come on, where's your fighting spirit? Is it Margaret Layton? Oh, Ken! Tracy's having a crisis here. Oh, sorry. You know, all I've thought about since that night is Steve. You know, planning our future. Oh, there isn't a future. Mm. Then there's Mrs. Henry. Books herself in for a cut and colour every four weeks, whether she needs it or not. <laughs> I sometimes say, Moira, if that fringe gets any shorter, you'll look like you're in an asylum. <laughs> she doesn't seem to care. Oh, and Mrs Cornelius, she insists on a victory roll after all these years. Do you think we can go all Well, no, they're not looking at you. They are. No, no. Probably laughing at me. Why on earth would they be doing that? Well, because they probably think what dressed as lamb or something. Come on, Audrey. Even a blind person can tell you look stunning tonight. You ooze class. Well, they're not looking now. And even if they were, so what? It's much better to be talked about than not talked about, isn't it? Who said that? Oscar Wilde. <laughs> All the same, I think we should be going. No, I am not going to stop enjoying myself because of some small-minded people. Same again? Hey. <laughs> Evening, gentlemen. Don't think much of yours, love. When I want your opinion, I'll bob you a text. No. Yes, you paid for everything tonight. I'm giving you some money and that's the end of it. I won't take it. Well, then, I'll just stick it in your pocket. Now, shut up. I'm not taking 20 quid off you. That's way too much. Uh, tickets, drinks, cab fares. You oh. haven't touched the sign. I enjoyed it. It was worth it to see the smile on Faye's face. Well, please take the money, Owen. I'll feel bad if you don't. Well, I'm going to have to live with that. Thank you for a brilliant night. I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. You grabbed Faye's knee and the scary bits. I was not scared. Next time I'm going to have to take you to a really scary movie and you can grab mine instead. <sighs> yeah, better be off then. Please take the money. Mm -mm. Come here, you. Now you go and buy yourself and be nice. Huh? Hey, no! <laughs> no, you yes. don't. Stop it. <laughs> I've cleared my teeth. Do you want to check? Uh, let's have a look. Let me smell your breath. Mm, minty fresh, very good. <laughs> Night, ladies. Night, Owen. What'd you say, Faye? Thanks, Owen. Hey, you're a poet and you don't know it. <laughs> Laters. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Ah, oh, you so fancy you. Bed. <laughs> Don't say anything to me. In my experience, answering back only makes things worse. She said, go. Had the snip yet, love? <laughs> no, he hasn't. Why? Have you had a lobotomy? Audrey. This is a normal bar, you know. Gay village is up the road. Freak. Oh, you're familiar with it, are you? You nip there when your wife's not looking. Uh, not that I expect you to have a wife, because I can't think any woman would want to go near you. He's been married three times. Ooh. Till they found out he was a narrow-minded bigot with a buffoon as a best friend. Go and get your kick somewhere else, love. Look, for your information, this person is a friend of mine. I'm well jealous. Yes, and he stands up for what he believes in. He's brave. He's got something you two will never have. An A-line skirt? Dignity. Right, 
That's that sorted then. What? Guess this for milk. Friends in high places. <laughs> oh. You come in time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to cramp your style. Don't be daft. It'll be a laugh. It's been ages since I've been to a club. And now's the time to break your duck. <laughs> yeah, you don't mind, huh? <laughs> you need to work on your self-esteem. Take a leaf out of this one's book. Hey, I love me. Who do you love? <laughs> Bet you shut your own name out in bed. Find out later, John. Maybe I will. Oh, see? Now I feel like a gooseberry. I thought you had to go home early anyway. Who says I'm going home? I'm going home's for wimps. <laughs> the look on their faces. I'm sorry, I just saw red. <laughs> they just saw red wine. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to waste my own drink on them, was I? Oh, honestly, the hideous specimens. They don't deserve the term, man. You know, sometimes, Audrey, you amaze me. Do you know, amaze you, Marcia. Sometimes I amaze myself. <laughs> I don't know, it's just been such a learning curve for me tonight. It's weird. No, it's not weird. No, no. It's just, I feel I've had a really great night out with my friend Marcia. Well, I guess you have. Oh. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm looking at the website of Dancing on Ice, would you believe? You hate Dancing on Ice. Well, that's the wonder of the internet, isn't it, Deirdre? I mean, you start looking for one thing, which in this case was the formation of cumulus nimbus clouds. Click on the icon, and you're led almost blindfold along the snickleways and ginnels of the information superhighway to places you never dreamed you'd go. My mum used to love Dancing on Ice. She used to sit there and say, ever so gently, go on, fall over, go on. Right, come on, Amy, let's go. Tracy, what are you doing? We're going. Going? Well, where are you going? To London. Tracy? What, with Amy? Have you seen what time it is? Yeah, and if we get a move on, there's two more trains we can catch. Who are you going to stay with? Oh, look, this is ridiculous. My mate Hannah in Islington. Look, it's very hard to take you seriously with a face pack on. But how long are you going for? I don't know. This is ridiculous. But I may never come back. What? You can't be serious. Amy? Ken, stop her. You stop her. Well, I'm sorry, but nobody can stop me because I've made my mind up. Amy! Captain Paul Hayes. Mm -hmm. Keeping you up, honey. Mm -hmm. I'm done in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take Tony Parsons mm -hmm. to bed. Good. Yeah, do you enjoy this book, yeah? Mm -hmm. Are you coming up? No, 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 no. I'll wait for Amber. Oh, well, she won't be back for a few hours yet. <laughs> Is it such a crime for me to be excited about my daughter coming back? No. Is it? No. No, it's just that I know you. You nod off and you miss her. You wake up at three in the morning mm -hmm. not knowing where you are. Hey, I'll get a coffee. Then you won't sleep. Why are you so contrary? I'm not. I am. That's why you love me. I know. Mm. No, no, love. No, no, honey. Stuff it. I'm getting up as well. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of pretending that everything's okay. That I can deal with the knocks. Oh, yeah, I can cope with anything, me. Stand behind that bar, grinning like a court jester. Happy chap it. But nobody knows. I'm not waving, I'm drowning. Hey, look, this'll cheer you up. What is it I found out that lets you go back in time and mend all the stupid things you've done? No, it's a YouTube clip of a woman parking really badly. Not that you're sexy, is Hey, what happens to streetcars stays to streetcars. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad to see you can still laugh, Steve McDonald. Hey? When you've left Tracy devastated. I'm sorry, Deirdre. I think you're confusing me with somebody who gives us stuff. Do you want to live somewhere, Deirdre? No, I don't. I want his guts for garters. Look, I have washed my hands of Tracy, and if you want to know why, I'm sure she'll tell you. She's very good at that, spilling the beans. Oh, will you listen to yourself? It's nice to see you dressed for the occasion. Tracy didn't tell Becky about you and her. Oh, what's this? From, straight from the horse's mouth? I was there when it happened. A horse called Tracy. It was Amy, your daughter. Look, you know what, Deirdre? I'm not bothered what you say anymore because... To be honest, I'm past caring. Oh, well, perhaps you'll care when I tell you that she's doing a midnight flit and taking your daughter with her. Eh? Yeah, oh, interested now, are you? So, 
Maybe you'd better get over there and try and stop her because me and Gen can't. Where's she going? London. Possibly for good. Oh, for crying out loud. Just think about this. I'm sure if you talk to Steve, you'd better sort this misunderstanding out. It's too late, Dad. Hi, Tracy. What do you think you're playing oh, at? Oh, yeah, that's a big help. Steve screaming at her. Lock the doors. I don't want him coming anywhere near me. Oh, you can't take Amy. You can't stop me. Look, hurry up. I've got a train to catch. Look, I know it was Amy that told Becky. And I'm sorry. Don't go begging, Steve. You can't stick her. Stop the car. Look, please don't take Amy. I don't care what you do, but please don't take Amy. I care about her, though. Yeah, exactly. You don't care about me, Steve. There's nothing to keep me here. Say goodbye to your daddy, Amy. Tracy, please. Amy. Bye. I love you, sweetheart. Never forget that. No matter what your mummy says, I do. I do love you. We have got an agreement binding. So sue me. Look, put your foot down. You haven't heard the end of this, Tracy. Do you hear me? You haven't heard the end of it. Mm-hmm.